Okay, great. Oh, shit, I forgot all about that. Damn it. A new selection. I'm gonna have to get that shit ready. Okay. Everything looks good. That all looks good. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. That's all good. Testing that. That's great. Okay. Sound is on just in case somebody gets in here. What's going on? Uh, Frostbite. Um, Luke is back. Guess you like the channel. Um, Xbox owning ponies. You're back. You're a weird one. What, what's going on with the chat? I went on a wrong live stream. Okay. <laughs> How the fuck did YouTube set me up with the wrong live stream? Okay. Ice Queen Gaming. Star uh, does. EDM Gamer with a new profile picture. Nice. Jamar Bates is back. Um, Boca Loca is here. Cedric is here. And that's it. That's who we have right now. 17 people. Now it's boosted to uh, 20. Make sure when you get in here or before you leave, uh, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. Uh, that is what I'm told. And we're going to aim to have this channel grow. I'm going to go plug in the merchandise. Remember, we got t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies. I guess I put the logos on pillows. Everything. Socks. Oh. God damn, I put the I put the lo our logos on basically everything. So I'm gonna go plug that. It's gonna be pinned. Um where are we at with the merchandise? There we go. Okay. Um again, a lot of people are getting the stimulus checks. PS5s are still out of stock. Uh I think I wanna start out with the question um that I wanted to be on the topic. It it's a question about stimulus checks. Obviously, if you're in the United States, um, uh, if you're earning under $80,000 a year, you're qualified, or under $70,000 a year, you're qualified. That means you get $1,400, and each kid, I'm hearing, you would get $3,000. If you're married, I think you and your spouse get $2,000 each. I'm not really sure about that one 100%. But I know that money is coming uh, for people, whether you currently have a job or you're out of work. Uh, and if you're a gamer uh, like myself, I don't really have much to buy. So, you know, I'm just I have things I want to buy, but it's nothing I need to buy. Um so I'll be asking a question to people that live in the United States of America that are qualified. Um, if you're getting a thousand four hundred dollars, what are you expecting to spend it on? Again, there's people that didn't get the PS5, and the PS5 is five hundred dollars. You're getting one thousand four hundred dollars. So the stimulus check is giving you enough money to buy a PS5 <laughs> if you can find it. But yeah, I'm curious. Um, I am going to get a custom made controller. Um in April I'm going to upgrade the TV to the 8K 120 Sony TV. I waited long enough. Um 
but that's in April, not this month. So my custom controller will be red and black. It will have the PSL OG logo going across the touchpad. I talked to Somatic about it. I talked to uh, Yellow about it. That's what I want. Probably be a hundred or so. Um, that's it. I've pre-ordered a lot of games, digital deluxe versions. You know, I'll be able to buy the games, but as far as like stimulus, it's not much. Uh, I talked to Persona, and I've talked to other people about investing more. Uh, so I will be investing more of my money. Um, and just, you know, the rest of it is just going into savings. There's not really a lot that I want to do with this check. Um, so, I'll be saving the majority of it as best I can. Enzo, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the Sunday show. Uh, just a setup I'm working on. A spare at a moment. There's another one that I have in the works. But I haven't finalized it yet, so um, I don't feel it would be nice to edit it live. So I might edit it later and feature it tomorrow. It won't be permanent, uh, but this one I like. Um, this is just overlapping our existing PlayStation Legion um, setups, how it how it normally looks. But I just put the screen over there. So, at least you guys have something nice to look at while we talk about uh, this week's uh, big topics and news. Um, so, yeah. Um, Jamar, I just want to ask you a question. Are you in the United States? Because I just want to know if you're qualified to get the $1,400. If you live in the United States uh, and you make under $70,000 a year... I'm pretty sure you're qualified, meaning you don't have to keep saying that you're going to get the PS5. The government is about to send you enough money to buy the PS5. So we already know it's confirmed that you can get it, but we just want you to get it, <laughs> you know. Now, there's a lot of people that said they wanted to get a PS5 or whatever. You're about to get enough money to pretty much buy whatever you want. You can buy a PS5. You can start building a PC. You can go get an Xbox. But if you qualify for the stimulus check, I don't think money is going to be an issue for uh, the system or platform you want to move towards. Uh, $1,400 is a lot. It really is. Um, so is anybody comfortable in the chat to say what you think you want to spend your money on or what you want to buy? Nobody? Nobody in the chat. Boca Loca, I'm, I'm believe you're qualified to get the check. So, what are you gonna buy? A new cat, cat food, cat post, maybe a cat with an arm. On it. Of course, you could hear me. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I know what a cat sounds like. I'm putting that shit back in stocks. In all honesty, I already knew that. I already fucking knew that. I figured that. Uh oh, wrong one. Um. Did you get yours yet? No. So what my sister said is uh, because I put in the wrong routing number, so all my checks have been paper checks for st for my taxes. Is uh, on tomorrow, the government's gonna have a website where you can change your your banking information, and they had, like streamline it straight to you, um, which is awesome. Maybe I get it before I get paid on Thursday, so that'll be cool. And then um, yeah. That's, that's what I'm waiting for. Other I never that, even got the $600 one, so I'm going to use that as a tax credit on my tax yes, return. Yes, that's, yeah, that's what they're going to tell you. Um, you got the one from the Democrats last time, like the one, one was it 1200 Yeah, it was a 1200 yeah. the first one. Yeah, I think they could have gave Americans 2000 just off the rip. Like, the $600 one made me laugh, man, because uh, I was just like, why are people, like, bro, I get paid more than a week. Like, what is $600 going to do for anybody? You know what, like, Seriously. Bro? I know you're not very political, but I find it weird that the Republican president, which was Trump, said 2000 and he said it multiple times and they did not try to honor that. See, I think if they would have honored that, they would have been in a better position to have Trump win. Not that I wanted Trump to win, but I'm just saying giving away free money. Hey, it's a gesture of goodwill, bro. Some people won't forget that shit. Especially Didn't McConnell just try to stop the 
the twelve or well, whatever. The what's the recent amount going to be? Fifteen hundred, right, or sixteen hundred? No, this one is uh, fourteen hundred. He tried. To, oh, okay. They all said no. And right. All, None of them. They voted. they didn't say no because I don't think they don't care about you, but obviously they don't. Uh they said no because they're they, Trump is they're they're expecting Trump to come back, and if he is telling them no, then they're gonna vote no because they don't want to upset him. Now, there's a lot of people that support him that need that money, which are white people with red hats. And it's weird that they even support the Republicans that said, hey, you motherfuckers don't need additional money. We know you're broken. We know you're hurting. But nah, you don't need this. This is too much for you. See, when I read stimulus, I'm thinking we're going to get this check every at least month. Now, you're literally getting three checks within a year. That's still ridiculous. Like, yeah, what are this, we the, really the, doing? The thing is, they can't work together. Now, I got to agree. The Democrats, they work together for this thing to happen. I don't know how every other decision is going to be, but if they didn't work together, it would have fell through because every Republican was hell-bent on not making it happen. Every last one of them voted no. That was 49 Republicans. I was like, when I looked at it, I was like, bro, I hope you guys know that shit's documented. And you can't say, hey, one didn't. Like, all 49 voted. So if, you, if you're if you going up against somebody and they pull your record, they're like, hey, well, you didn't think Americans deserve this amount of money. You know? It's just a bad look. It just is, man. I mean, I don't necessarily need it, but... I'm going to use it, you know? So, I mean, that's how I look at it. Dude, I owe the IRS three grand, so, I mean, I oh. guess I could use it to pay half of it. Shit. But, um, yeah, man, it sucks. Uh, let's let's go forward, though, bro. Um, is anybody else want to talk us. about what you're going to use the money for if you get it anybody else comfortable talking about it you don't have to talk about personal paying off bills just are you going to use it for any video games like let's say 70 dollars is too much for a game you really want but you don't have the 70 dollars based on your job oh i figured out what i'm going to use it on jay what i'm going to get uh jamar to stop saying i know right i'll give him 150 i should do it 150 no, a dollar and fifty cents. Oh, dollar and fifty cent to say I know right. Okay, uh, but Jamar Bates, I still haven't. Did somebody clarify if he lives in the United States? Because he's about to get enough money to buy a PS Five. He doesn't have to keep saying he's gonna buy a PS Five. Your record. He's not gonna buy it. No, but your his record. He needs to understand people are looking at his record. <laughs> it's not me, Jamar. I just want you to know that when you keep saying you're gonna buy a PS Five, that's now five months old people are questioning if you're actually gonna buy the ps5 he's not gonna buy it because somatic were saying the same thing but somatic was communicating with me every day about his search <sighs> and getting that system so um boca loca can help you get a ps5 you just got to spend i'm not gonna help him extra money on ebay <laughs> well i i help you you're about to get a hundred and four uh one thousand four hundred dollars from joe biden and the democrats and you can use some of that money to buy a PS5 that they're selling on eBay for over $500. So um, if you really wanted a PS5 and you know where it's located, which is eBay, you might want to use some of that stimulus check. I think everybody else got to have the bright idea. They might not want to do it, but it's free money to some people. It's going to take a, a lot of work, Jamar, a lot of reading. Have you, fun with that. Do you think, uh, you think uh, um, what's your thoughts on that, Sam? You think a good amount of people would be smart enough to say, hey, I didn't want to give them my 1000 but if the government's going to give me that 1000 maybe let me get that PS5? I mean, if you look hard on because it helps him out to get his for what, like seven something? So you don't really have to spend that much if you're going to put the work in. But if you want to be lazy and throw a grand, sure, you can just buy one from yeah. StockX or eBay. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I think that there are going to be a lot of idiots that, like nah i ain't doing that and then end up this spring this summer without a ps5 you know it's like i told my friend broker she was like you one of those scalpers I'm like i'm not i only my plan was to move another one basically just one additional one what what the problem is from what i'm saying people don't want to feel left out it's not even about the system it's just such a popular thing at the moment that you don't want to be the person and, left out and that's what i'm talking about that's why i was telling yeah. you and somatic about you know the, the, the game's going to pc it's never going to have a direct effect until like three four years later 
Like when the systems are in a stock and they have great games out and people are actually speaking with their wallet and say, hey, I ain't buying that because I think games are going to another platform. And that person has a personal record of actually falling in line and buying a console for a system seller. But this generation, they make that decision not to. That's when I say the things that are happening now might have an effect. But we won't see it for three to four years. Oh, that's why I asked you about that percentage of Horizon Zero Dawn. It was like 35% of the people that owned it rebought it. See, which is a really interesting thing to me when I've read I it. I need to understand why. Uh, so this is what I, I mean. Wanna, they just wanted to play it again. This is what I'm saying. PlayStation wanted that additional money. They could have did it this way. Listen to this. You upgrade the game for the PS5, right? It's still on sale for $20, $30, $40, right? Don't put it on the PlayStation Plus collection and the hype of the game being enhanced with 60 frames per second and native, four, uh, lock, uh, native 4K, right? will get people to buy the game if they didn't already. There were people that had an increased interest in Days Gone just based on getting the word that it was updated, you know? And I just think that if the people went out and rebrought it on PC, if they saw that update on the consoles, they might have went out and rebrought it on the console. Now, it's nothing like making that 50 or $60 based on a four-year-old game. I, I can't deny that, but... I'm just saying, you know, there are so many fucking slackers on PlayStation that just don't buy games. I don't know what the reason is, but they just don't. You know, so I, I, I can't even dive into that because it's just too many. But, you know, 10 million sounds like a lot. But when you add that up to possibly 70 or 80 million consoles sold at that time, that's pretty fucking sad. Um, oh yeah no ideally i know what you mean yeah. but if you look at it in terms of money made it's oh in terms success. of money made off of 60 dollars yeah. in yeah. two years that's a lot of money they made enough for the fucking trilogy to be honest i mean shit 10 million and, and listen this is not just a 60 dollars standard this is digital deluxe this is merchandise this is collector's edition this is the expansion pack they made i know they made tons of money they made tons of money. I mean, if you want to say, hey, Horizon went to PC because they wanted to expand and get people to come back and buy the PS5 base for the sequel, which you told me last year, and, and Adam told me last year, I accept that excuse for that game. But every game that goes over has a different strategy, and people need to understand that. Days Gone, that goes over there. It's easier. Unreal Engine, make money back. They need to make the money back. We're not saying it didn't make money, but they probably wanted to hit a certain amount that they didn't make. That's all right. Death Stranding, already planned for PC. Again, every game that goes over there is going over there for a completely different reason. I understand that now, and I will discuss that accordingly. Instead of saying, hey, every game is going over there just because they want every game over there. And it's a big undertaking when you, when you look at that, though, Sam. Every game going to PC, every PS4 title, that's a lot of manpower, man. Um, I don't, you know, I, I think they should kind of limit it, like two games a yeah, year, three games you a year. You want to argue that they rushed the Horizon Zero Dawn for, right? Look at all these patches they had to release just to get it to run correctly. So like they... I say one game in, in the beginning of the year, one in the middle, and one at the end. So three PS4 ports each year. And if we're looking at PlayStation 4... You had about, when it comes to triple A, I say over 20 or maybe over 30 triple A uh, PS4 exclusives. But you can't really count that now because the Detroit was already went over there. So that's one Detroit and then you have Death Strand. And this, is, two. this is a really random question, Jason, but do you know at all how Predator did, man? Like, is there I, even, like, some kind of an answer for how that game does? See, that's what I talk to people about all the time. That was a day-and-date game on PC. Yeah. And it did what it did. So, not every game is going to do good over there. And the only statistics we have is the, the, the community. And I believe that I have a connection with the PC community that many PlayStation fans don't have. I've talked to these guys. I've waged war against these guys. They come after me. 
I don't really come after them because they're not worth it. But the fact of the matter is, I know how they think. And they don't want every game. They want every game so they can brag about them not needing a console. But as far as the games that they are willing to give Sony money for, it all depends. Yeah, they don't play traditional games. Yeah. They're, they're, they're well aware of what's going on, what we've talked about. They know that the money that they give to Sony for the PC port goes back into the investment of PlayStation exclusives for the PS5. They don't necessarily want to help the PS5 because in some cases it's more advanced than some of their PCs out now. So they don't want to kind of add to the agenda that consoles are catching up to some PCs. So I can understand they're smart and educated enough to know what's going on. And if they have the resources and they, they have the know-how to pirate games, they will. Just despite PlayStation or their gamers. Now, others that don't want to do that, others that really want to support the game and the developers, they will go out and buy these games. But, like we would say, a four-year-old game being at 60 or $50 might not sell so well. I yeah, think. I feel like they're treating them like shit. Like, I know how you guys are looking at me. And, and I, and I, lo- I love it. I love it, though. Yeah. But for us, we wouldn't stand for it. Like, you know, like the East game, the YS game that I got. Oh, <laughs> that game, right? That game was $40 for a long time. And, yeah. by the way, Tokenin, the Monster Hunter alternative that I supported, well, the sequel was $60 for a long time on a PSN. You think I, I went out and brought that? Hell no. Because it was out for three years. Why would I buy a sequel... For, uh, for $60, it's been out for three years. So if I'm not going to go for it, I definitely know the PC fan's not going to go for it. But I think it's funny because that's what you have to go through. I mean, I feel like it'll help us get games cheaper a lot quicker, man. Exactly. Not like they were doing a bad job with it, but looking at Nintendo, man, their the games are full is, price for years. If you want the game, but you're not going to pay the uh, PlayStation Plus um, online fee, if you're not going to support the PlayStation Store because we don't have a storefront over there, this is the axing price, you know? And it is also a test because they're going to look at the individual numbers sold so they can see if they move seriously towards PC or they continue to use them as stepchildren or rented stepchildren, you know? It's like, we can make this extra money, but do they really care about us enough to but, like... But yeah, take. Yeah. Hello, yeah, take. Uh, like I took, uh, I took up at six pro- broadcasts for, uh, before here. Uh, I told uh, about this uh, engine, engine programmers, you know. So they have, they they have to keep them in house too. They have, you know, they have to pay their salaries too, if they don't do anything. So they they have to keep them in work. And PC is a good way to keep these programmers in work, in house. Uh, look, how, it, I want to tell you something. I don't know because, all about that, but it, I, I can't sit up here and, and and coddle the balls of a company that I don't really care about. No, but but they, they can't make like they have hired programmers. Yeah, they, but they I don't, don't I don't, don't have contractors. I like don't know. Other, other I, just, I understand that, but I don't know what my reaction publicly is supposed to be towards that. Am I gonna say, hey, good job, Sony, for keeping them at but, work? But you, but you see the game engine. Like Sony has. No, no other studios have this fucking engines. They're fucking amazing. Like, look at Ghost of Tsushima. It's like... I, I'm, not doubt, I'm not doubting and, any of that. It's just like... So you're saying you're paying them, right? To yeah, so not work to on the following project that we know they're working on. So we're, they're now continuously paying them because even though they're working on a project and the gamers know they're working on a project... We're supposed to sit up here and say they're not working on the project, but they have to keep paying them because they're going to put no, them on PC. But, but the prog- programmers, the game engine programmers, uh-huh. they, are not, they, they are not artists. They're not drawing anything. They have no concepts. They, they're only creating game engines and, you know, porting games to PC. Either way, they're only working with this, and they are hired for that. Or they can t- take in contractors, but then they lose the talent from the studios. You understand me? So... Either way, they can h- hire in people and keep them in work, like make p- PC ports, or they can hire in contractors and get rid of them. But the talent is not in-house longer. You understand me? So either way, they keep in the programmers, the uh, game engine programmers in the studios 
or they take in contractors like Petesta and just other shit companies or like <laughs> so C-Direct. basically so, you, you got them on a payroll and they're not yeah. doing anything so yeah. you might as well put it on pc is that what you're saying yeah so they work on something that's that's cool i mean i don't want to pay somebody for not working i still just don't agree with it I wish I got paid for not working. So, so it's it, it makes sense. It really does make sense. Hey, we're paying you. Maybe put this on PC and we can still keep making money even though you're not working on a new project. That's yeah, cool. Keep it it's cool, but it's never happened before. You know what I'm saying? No, no. And the no. PS4 generation, I don't feel was st- as stressful on PlayStation as the PS3 where they had to make a complete comeback yeah, where they were fighting it. against a vicious competitor and they still never said, hey, we got people right here that are not working on anything. Hey, you guys, you're on the payroll. Can you put this game here on a PC? Can, like, I'm just but, saying. But take, it's, it's like Monopoly. You, the, Tony Studios want to keep this program as in the house. Listen, in, in I understand studios. what you're they, telling they me about the PS4 generation because... moving to the PS5. But you have to explain to me why they didn't do this with other games in other generations because obviously they had people on a payroll that weren't working for multiple generations until because the get... competition is very high now because the other students want to hire these programmers from Sony. You understand me? So either way, Sony get rid of these programmers and take this, them in like contractors. To Look, the you know what? I'm going to I'm accept, I'm gonna accept so, what you're saying. Okay, so I want everybody to understand this. I'm just going to accept what he's saying because I'm don't. i not going back and forth with a PlayStation fan or gamer anymore about this stuff. I don't know much about it. So this is what you're saying. They're on the payroll. Instead of allowing the talent to go, we're going to keep the talent on and have them work on a PC port. Oh, oh, what else? But only they work and take make money, so... They can't so they're working the on the PC port so they can continue to make money. And the reason why they're working on the PC port is because you don't want to pay them just to sit around. Yeah. So instead exactly. of just sitting around, Sony is paying these guys to work on PC ports. Yeah. Either, either way, or so taking contractors. I, like like will... Jim Ryan said, a slate of PC ports for PlayStation games that used to be exclusive are on the way. And I hope everybody understands this. Don't be upset. Because guess what? There is a lot of PlayStation people that are perfectly fine about this. And if they're fine, I'm guessing the consensus is people like myself need to be fine with it. I will never be fine with it. But people want people to be fine. So I want you to understand when God of War, when Uncharted, when The Last of Us, Remaster and Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima and Spider-Man and Miles Morales go to PC... We should not be upset. We shouldn't be crying. We should just say, hey, okay, and just move on because we're getting new games on the PS5. The following generation, because of the excuse that Jim Ryan and many other people have said, game development is expensive. We need to keep making money. Next generation on the PS6, they're going to port PS5 games to the PC until they get so desperate that they do day and date, which I believe... I be- hold on. I believe Day and Date will not wait until the PS6. I think Day and Date will eventually be at the towards the end of this generation. Cause why yeah, stop? But, why uh, stop now? Right. That's that's the consensus but, but I'm telling you. Guys. You have said this this too. Like PS5, uh, uh, what say architecture? Is it on PC? And this takes like years before this SSD and the IO technology comes to PC. So. It's, it's now they have to make the transition, you know, in growth. The studios have to make the transition because they don't matter if they have two teams in studio. They, they only need one team of engine programmers to these two teams. So the salary coming from PlayStation 5 eventually and PS6 and not PC, but this port, PS4 ports going because this it's hard to describe versions. It's, it's only regular fucking PC architecture. It's meant to. PS4 is nothing like PS5. So they can do that, but it's a transition moment to the PS5. Why they grow up these studios. They have they have to keep this talent in their studios while the transition is going on. Understand me? 
Yeah. It's like here, it's it's a project. They have they have to move this way because they they you know this third party studios they they stand in line to hire these programmers from Sony. I bet you they stand in line to hire these guys. All I'm gonna say from, is from, from every studio. There was so, a, okay. there was a slow year in 2019, and I believe. As far as the rotation teams of the studios, it was kind of slow in 2020 um, because the studios that, like you're saying, that weren't working, that did not put out a game and still have not announced the game, they could just already get announced to putting their games on PC. But obviously they understand there was a competitor factor. You're not going to announce a slate of PlayStation exclusives going to PC in a year before your new generation console comes out. So for anybody to say it's not a good look, it, it's not a good, I mean, it's not a, it's, it's, for anybody saying it's a good look, you're talking about financially, but as far as the image of PlayStation brand and for the, the hardcore fans to know where you can get your games and play your games, you don't need a PlayStation in the future, that's what you're telling me. The developers are on the payroll. Sony is getting bored of paying these guys just to stay on for the sake of calling a game exclusive. And they're going to have these guys working as far as on a rotation. If a new game is out but old games are old, they're going to get these guys to make sure these games can be rotated to the PC so they can make sure the door of the bank is continuously open by rotating the revenue from PC back to uh, console. But, but that's dumb. It's going to get so close that it will look like day and date. That's what I'm saying. It's a dangerous game. But we don't see, we're not going to see it. I talked to Sam about this when he showed in. We won't see it for three to four years. And three to four years, we're going to be at the end of the generation. Where we probably might see yeah. our first day and date game. From a first party. Uh, we have to see how the PC takes this uh, PS5 uh, technology too. So. I understand, but you got to you have to understand we're in the second year of this generation, not the first. This is the second. The console launched yeah. last year. This is the second year. That means we only got four more years until this console is obsolete. Okay, well, technically it's not a full calendar year, just saying. You know, oh, it's not a full yeah, not yet. Yeah, no, it's not day. full. But when we heard about PS5, it was in 2019. We didn't see it until the middle of 2020. Well, wait a minute. Didn't we see it like in 2020 when they did that reveal event? That's what I'm saying. We didn't see it until the middle of 2020 in June. But we didn't hear about it until 2019, the year before, where it was confirmed they were working on the next generation of the console. And they, they said it. So we got four more years of this generation. They had a great 2020, by the way. They really did. Man, yeah, they had I a great want 2020, four, four but years? I want ten more years. if they I if this is what they wanted shit. to do, and I'm not saying they owe us anything. Again, I don't know if any PlayStation fans are gonna be upset about them potentially confirming they're going multiplat in the future. But as of right now, it seems like PlayStation fans and gamers just don't care, and it's cool that games are I'll going. Yeah, I know, you, I know you would, True Witty, and I know I would, but they're. Are a lot of PlayStation fans who are like, hey, bro, this old. I beat it already. It's cool. I would be more comfortable if every game that's going to PC, since you have that additional team, Vedger, that you're talking about, they can go rework these games to make sure they're the best type of that's, game they can be on a PS5. Because other than that, I'm, that's, that's a slap in the fucking face, bro. <clears throat> you're sitting up here that's telling me that they're sitting on their ass and they're getting paid. Well, they can fucking get paid to rework old games to work better on the ps5 and then have the motherfuckers work on the pc ports but th- that's not you know, the you know, that's you know, not extra revenue though the pc you know, is the you know, you know what they could have done instead work on work on work on the re- um, remasters of um of playstation 3 games and bring them over so, um, so all of those games don't go to waste i i understand uh true with you hold on i'm gonna yeah. I'm I'm answer talk to you about what you just said but veger this is what i'm saying you're telling me they have people on a payroll that are not working. But yeah, they, but hold on, hear me out. Didn't Infamous get a patch day one? And it's working at 60 frames. Days Gone got a patch. Working at 60 frames. God of War got a patch. It's working at 60 frames. There are tons of PS4 games that got a patch. And they're working at 60 frames. So 
There are people inside of these individual studios that are not doing stuff that they can release a patch to boost it to 60 frames. It doesn't seem like a big deal. It's not. You're boosting it from 30 to 60. Sometimes you're making the resolution better. And that's it. That's all we ask it for. We're not asking for ray tracing. Most of the yeah, time, but... PlayStation gamers don't even want better textures. We just want the ability. But it also depends if it's doable because they can't only so, patch in 60 frames. A so a port. On every game, so. so I know that. But a port so. is easier than upgrading a game. To like no, but but no, but you, but you don't get some revenue from that. You you don't. You, it you doesn't matter if you don't get the revenue. You get you get the gamers on your no. side going in the future to say, hey, you care enough about us to give us something we want it. I will definitely buy your next game. Those no, are the guys that are going to go out day one and pre-order your game. That That's the no main. That, that pays no salaries. It pays because... salary for your next investment. You, oh. you you have the trust you, of the gamer up, that they understand. You all games. You mean on PS5, uh, PS4? That that's not like making. Okay, so let, really okay, let me like, hold on. Let me understand yeah. this. The, don't the game don't. Gets so you're enough. telling me don't upgrade the game that you're putting on PC before. Don't upgrade the game on PS5 before you put it on PC, and don't up go back and upgrade that game, but put it on PC and have it work better than the original. Cause that's how you make right. money. Is that oh, you what you mean? Uh, yeah, you mean like uh, what's it called? Uh, I have no PS5, but no. But you, you're I, telling I really me, what you you're mean. telling me, upgrading a game to 60 frames doesn't make money, so Sony shouldn't do that. Even if the fans went out and supported the game day one before it went to PC, don't support these guys. Don't upgrade the game because it's not making the money. Put it on PC. It's making the money. Give them the upgrade. It just doesn't sound right. No, that's that's. Uh, I understand it's a business, but we're not in the business. We're gamers. Yeah. So, so how does that how does that affect us? It doesn't. Which uh, big games but, are we missing? Just but, The Last of Us and Horizon, right? Um, we already we already we already know what's going on with uh, The Last of Us. It's either gonna be a remaster, or it, they're gonna we're working on a patch real hard. I already know Naughty Dog. Right. Naughty Dog is not gonna fuck us over. Uh, Horizon is going to be a collection of part one and two. Because even though 10 million is a lot, it wasn't enough to make an excuse to put it on PC. Now, we know why they put it on PC, because they wanted people to buy the sequel. But the excuse Jim Ryan gave in the interview is they put it on PC because they wanted additional revenue. That was the game. I don't know about Naughty Dog. I don't know about Naughty Dog. You don't think they're going to make an um, enhancement? Remaster? They're already no, 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 no that's, that's not what I meant. They're, right. um, they're, they're hired, they were hiring for uh, when it comes to... The multiplayer, multiplayer. They're, 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 they're hiring for a um, PC. Um, what was it? Factions. Oh no, for hiring yeah, for factions. PC port, for um port developer. Yeah, but listen to this. That was that makes sense because okay, I don't like doing this, but we have to talk. We have to do it. Everybody else is doing it. We're gonna talk about the rumor for Naughty Dog. These are the rumors I know for Naughty Dog. Everybody, listen up. If you want to spread them out, spread them out. I see we got 43 people in here. It does not take a lot of energy to click the like button. I'm not even going to allow you guys to just sit in here. I understand yeah, we got... Like button, guys. I, yeah, I know on. we got people to spy on me and want to hear what I say and then twist my words and make me look worse than I already am. I understand you guys <laughs> least, are here. At least like it. Yeah, like and it. I, yeah, I understand I you individuals are <laughs> on that pussy shit. But I know that we have dedicated supporters and people that like to view what the content that we put out. Please hit the like button. It really does help the channel. Okay? We want more people to learn shit. So, this is what's going on with the rumors. The rumors that I've heard. Last year, I was hearing a rumor that Naughty Dog was hiring people and they had some people scheduled for PC. But there were a lot of other studios that were doing this. Now we're finding out that PlayStation is dedicated to putting older games on PC. That's what we see. The generation that we have right now locked down is PS4. The first was Death Stranded, but we can't count it because it was already in the works for PC. The, the first one really was Horizon. The second one is Days Gone. So... What I'm hearing about, as far as the 2021 rumor for Naughty Dog is that Naughty Dog is planning to bring out uh, a whole Uncharted collection. It will go to PC and PS5. It will be enhanced for the PS5 and it, it does what it does on PC, right? So 
PlayStation does have that dedication to, hey, we want you guys to play in the best resolution because why not? You know, that's what I, I have to disagree with Vedger because you still have systems to sell for the next four years, not not including this one, right? It's not over, but let's, okay, let's include 2021 and four years in the future. You have a system to sell. What you're selling the system on is, is a next generation system. You know, the bells and whistles are ray tracing, 4K, and 60 frames per second. It only helps you sell your system to people that won't buy your system if you hype up the features that it's good at. So, yes, it might not be a investment when you release a free update for an old game, but eventually it does become a good investment because once that person is in that ecosystem, once they own a PS5, they're going to buy other games. So it, it helps yeah. them. So um, I believe the Naughty Dog, uh, uh, what is it, um, Uncharted Remaster, I believe that makes sense. Uh, I am hearing that the Golden Abyss PS Vita Uncharted will be a part of this version of the remaster. Finally. So that will be nice. Uh, a lot that of, might be doubtful. I don't even think that's I, made by Naughty Dog. Again, actually. this is not a fact. This is a rumor. So... Anybody? Well, saying, it sounds doubtful because yeah. the game doesn't. It wasn't made by Naughty Dog. I understand. Well, I, I, yeah, I understand, and I believe you. And they all I'm, work together, anyway. Yeah, but I'm just reading off the sure. rumor. That's what the rumor said. I'm not saying that. I don't believe anything until we get the facts. But I'm just telling you the rumor so you can understand that. Yes, it does look like Naughty Dog has people on their payroll that knows how to put games on PC. They're gonna make money off of uh, Uncharted, which was previously released on two prior systems and is going to be released again for its third system which is the ps5 as far as the ps vita one it's a selling point because if you already have the uncharted collection on a ps4 and you play uncharted 4 the only one most console gamers did not play was the vita version which they refused to support that handheld so it's a big big selling point um especially if they can rework it and not make it a sloppy port you know, if the visuals look greatly enhanced, like the the remaster, that would be just really, really dope. Maybe Blue Point's working on that. Maybe they're not. Um, I could see it happening. One of the major rumors last year was that the factions demo, sorry, the factions multiplayer was gonna be PS5 and PC. Uh, it was gonna be kind of like a standalone experience. Uh, my only thing is, I hope we have a dedicated button to disconnect us from the PC community. Because I don't want to play any multiplayer game with those guys. Uh, I don't know how all of them play. But we know they have a uh, you know, a known reputation to hack games and shit. So I don't want to deal with that. When I'm playing Factions, I want to just play it with PlayStation fans that I know don't have the easiest time to cheat. You know, um, It makes sense, though. I mean, if they go on to PC, go, go to PC. You're going all in. At that point in time, that will be day and date. And guarantee, no PlayStation fan will have a uh, problem with that. They won't even understand it as day and date. It's a standalone multiplayer inside the Last of Us universe. And they're planning, as far as the rumor is concerned, for 2020 that I heard, it will be day and date. It will be released on PS5 and the PC at the same time. I didn't hear a word of the PS4. I don't know why they would cut them out. It all depends on what they're trying to achieve with this Uncharted multiplayer. If they want to go above and beyond, they might cut off the PS4. Especially if the multiplayer uh, comes out at the end of this year. We should expect more people to own a PS5 by that time. And so it might be a better investment. Um, yeah, just buy your PS5 off StockX. But I, I want everybody to understand that will be... Yeah, that will be that PlayStation Gamer. That will be the very first day and date PlayStation game. And it is a name brand PlayStation game. It's Last of Us multiplayer. It will be day and date. Um, they're they're oh, testing man. the they're testing the waters of day and date. And if you don't want to believe me, again, I could go back over all these rumors. That was the first rumor I heard about Naughty Dog messing around with PC. 
that the multiplayer experience. Well, you PC the Master Us, Race bear played the best fucking I, single player game out there. I mean, I can only hope. <laughs> I mean, they they <laughs> love the first Last of Us, so I guess if they love it and it's beneficial to PlayStation to make money off an of old ass game, give them the Last of Us remaster. We already played it at sixty frames. You know, I think that game got an automatic boost by the power of the PS5. Um, so, yeah, let them. Hey, they want to play it. Let them play it. Um, we can't stop. At least have a good game eventually. Yeah, you. At least you get a game, good game eventually. It got all the awards it was gonna get. You know, it made all the money it was gonna make. Uh, most people are still playing a multiplayer just because we don't have the sequel multiplayer. But you know, Fucking let, let them do what really they need to tight. do. Um. I didn't want to play with ass PC gamers. <laughs> I don't either, but again, there's too many people saying they don't care, and the executives are seeing that, and they're going forward with the movement that they were afraid to go to, uh, you know, go with. Like, they were afraid that it was going to be so much of an outrage that people would throw away their PlayStations, but obviously, like Sam said last year, and Adam said last year, you're not going to want to miss out on these gaming experiences, so you won't do that. I mean, they had a division right. dedicated to PC games once upon a time, remember? During the PS3 era. Yeah, but they didn't. It's not like this is the first time ever. It's not a first time, but it, it would be the second time if it fails. Like, I'm not saying they were bad with the PC, but it was a... They I mean, those are just mediocre games, let's be honest. Those yeah, games, so they, they shut were. down that so, online division. I'm hoping if the PC fans really get what they want, they prove me wrong. They literally buy the games. Even if they know it benefits the console gamers as far as sequels and advancements to the technology of the console or the next generation console, well, who gives a fuck? You want it the game, right? They're giving it to you. Buy it. You know? I would rather these guys not pirate none of these exclusive. If they're so hell-bent on helping uh, the PlayStation ecosystem, buy these games day one. Buy them for 50 and $60. This it's this is one thing man. people need to understand. The to if they the were to ever go day and date with PS5s, they would be paying $70. So, and we know they don't like paying more than $40 for a game anyway. Look at, um, <laughs> uh, what is that game called, Sam? Helheim? Valheim? Yeah, Valheim. Five yeah. million copies. It's a rinky-dicky it MMO looking because generic Because it was $20. Game. <laughs> It was twenty dollars. It's a welfare game. I swear, I swear to God, PC. But hold on, PC people hold are on. fucking bargain shoppers. I want, hey, PlayStation gamer, hold on, listen to this. Persona Four Golden from the PlayStation Vita got ported to the PC. It was also twenty dollars, but it didn't sell nearly as high as that. But the quality, the replay value, was much much higher than that. PC fans are very okay, well, picky. Let's... They really are very can, picky. Can, can I tap into my uh, inner PC master race for a second? Uh, well, JTech, that's because those are weeaboo games that no one likes, so on. uh, that doesn't count. The, the <laughs> PC community is made up of weeaboo people. I've done the research. Most of the time, they are masking anime profile pictures. So that's not <laughs> even, we can't even use yeah. that anymore. Like, they love anime. JTech. Mm-hmm. Do you know, 275 million pieces were shipped last year. 275 75. pieces? Yeah, was uh, shipped. Well, that's that's awesome. This this <laughs> this is yeah, like five million games. But, 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 but listen, like I, <laughs> it's all right. I want to say one thing, bro. If PlayStation can sell a million within one month of every game they put on PC. I will I will agree with people, hey, that's a success, and they're making that money, especially if every game is going to be top price over there. PlayStation should not waver on the price. 50 to $60, no questions asked. Yeah. Um, of course, 50 to $60, and they were selling a million, and that's, that's a success. So that Exactly. So, But this is the thing. You can have as many PCs sold. You can have as many uh, Steam accounts as you want. It's just they're not buying games like they're right. very, very picky on what they buy. Even if they say they want it, they could do the, the polar opposite, bro. Do you know how many people get excited about games after E3? 
but do you know how many people actually buy the game once it's out? Not, I mean, it's, it's completely different. You can say something, but not do it. People do it all the time. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, I can't wait to buy this. Oh, it's day one. Oh, shit, I can't wait. But then they don't buy it. I've seen that with Anthem. Day one. I'm looking for people on my crew to, like, to play the game. Destruction All-Stars was free. Motherfuckers wasn't even on there day one. And it was free. Like, they wouldn't even download a free game. You know, I need more yep. gamers to shut the fuck up, bro. You know what? You're not gamers. Fans. Fans of a particular game or a company. If you're not going to support this shit, don't put that idea out there. Because sometimes they're looking at these people and they're saying, hey, bro, we got a lot of interest in this game. Oh, this game is going to do good. Then when it does bad, they're fucking sidelined. They're like, bro, how, why did our game not sell? Everybody said they were going to buy it. <laughs> PC port begging. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of people on PC that want Bloodborne. When that game comes over, I hope they put their money where their mouth is. That's all I'm saying. That's the only thing that pisses me off about the PC fans. I would probably have more PC friends, and I would probably be more sympathetic to them getting good games after four or five years if they wouldn't fucking lie so much. But the Chris thinks they, they don't put these games on PS and now either, so... They're putting like, like native on PC. Why? Like that shows how, how it's not beneficial to have these streaming services. Like if Sony had made all the money from PS Now, they had to put these games on PS Now. Yeah, and that's don't. that. See, th listen, that's what I just got finished saying. That's, PC that's fans thing. have been telling Sony that they want these games. Sony yeah. gave them these games. Do you remember yeah, yeah. what happened with Horizon? They put it on PlayStation Now with the ability to play yeah. it on PC via streaming. They didn't. Yeah. I think that Nobody PlayStation Now needs to either be shut down or taken off of PC because if you're going to give them the games, what's the point of having PlayStation Now? Unless you allow, what, and I need people to think about this. True, what do you think about this? What can we do on PlayStation Now that they can't do? Stream PS3 uh, games. Nope. Play online for free. Nope. You can download the games. There you go. We have the ability oh, yeah. to download the games to a PS4 or a PS5. If you're subscribed to PlayStation Now, you can download the game. You can play it offline. You can't do that on PC. You can only stream in uh, 720p. Yeah. Whoa. So if yeah, they really if they really want to go full force on a PC, all they have to do is allow that to happen. However, yeah. we know it's not that easy because the P PC architecture is different. So just allowing them to download the game might not work out. It might be broken. I, who knows? But if they could fix that on PC, they wouldn't have to port individual games. And the subscription to PlayStation now might actually go higher. Yeah, and then they'll end up probably going day and day. And I don't want that. So but I don't I don't want it either, man. but I'm just saying these are things we're looking at. These are things that could happen. I think they're definitely doing well, that on purpose. By the yeah, way. yeah, they're not allowing them to download yeah. those games. Like they're... they end up going dead, dead anyway. So I don't. This... Well, I mean, again, I the Last of Us, do... the Last of Us is gonna be the very first day and day game, and that will be the multiplayer. That will be the oh, very yeah. first day and date. And if PlayStation fans don't have a negative reaction, the company, the executives are going to take that as a go ahead to day and date. You I, know what, Jay? And, 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 and I said this already. Um, a lot. There's a lot of um. There's a lot of PlayStation fans. Well, I wouldn't even say PlayStation fans. There's a lot of people in the PlayStation ecosystem that are either PC or Xbox fans, and they're not going to say anything. Yeah, I mean, you may speak up. You may speak up. There's a lot of people that may speak up. I'm, I will speak up, but the fact is, the, the majority will not speak up. And so is looking at the majority of people. And if they don't speak up, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna change. At this point, I'm wasting my breath speaking. If they don't actually listen to me, they listen to the majority of people that don't give a shit. That's what. That's what. That's why nothing will ever change because Sony's not listening to the hardcore people. They're listening to the, the, the to the casual people who are basically either Xbox fans in disguise or a PC show. 
So either way, you, well, you know, um, my, my thing is, I know they were already listening and you can say you're listening to them and not piss me off because I already knew you were listening to them. Even before they put the first first party title, I know that they were listening. But Jim Ryan in his interview said they did not see any backlash against them putting Horizon on PC. There was a lot of backlash in January when Jason Stryer made the report. So how are you going to sit up there in an interview and say you didn't hear anything or you didn't see anything? But as I said, but but as I said they're not the, listening to us. But so, they put this, uh, what's up, Badger? Uh, but if they put this uh, faction mode, the last of us faction mode on PC, it's more controlled a modern too, so they can't control over that. So you can't only pirate the game and go in and play because they have like you have to have receipt on that game. I I mean you know, yeah, but PC fans right. find ways around that. So yeah, plus that's... you have like microtransaction maybe. I can't believe if it's free to play, so maybe they. I mean, we. I, I hope they can find a way to make sure they get every dime back that they put in a PC. Keeping the game at top price is one way that I actually agree with. That's a cool thing they're doing. Put the PC game over there. Give them the price that it was at over here. Uh, Death Stranded was $60 over here. This edition of Horizon was $50 over here. They put it over there for $60 and $50. Now we got to see what's going on with Days Gone. Days Gone better be $60. They better not charge any yeah. less than sixty dollars. I mean, you know how to make them listen, right, Jay Talk? No. Obviously, it's a rhetorical question. You you literally gotta hit them where it hurts, which is their money, and that's what people are not gonna do. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of like a contradiction, man. You oh, want to oh, make oh, them listen, yeah, but yeah. you have to stop buying the games, which exactly. you're not gonna do because the games are fucking awesome. And that's so. and that's what you told me, and that's what Adam told me, and I know I was blinded by anger and emotion. But you guys are 100% right or were 100% right. Yep. They're not going to listen to us even though they listen to us. They're going to listen to the money that they get from us. And once we stop giving them money, they'll go back. They will never miss oh. that much money from us that they will change their decision of where they're going at right now. Yeah. There's just not enough people saying, oh, I'm going to miss out on this game. I'm stuck at home and that's, with COVID. And that's the problem. Exactly. And that's the problem. So, do, and do, and do and I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie right now, guys. I don't actually have a big emotional investment into Horizon, and I want to let you guys know why. Did I play it? Yes. Did I platinum it? Yes. As JTech, I'm obligated to do that for some of the PlayStation exclusives. Going forward, I'm not. If I don't feel like getting a platinum anymore for a new exclusive, I'm just not. Um, this was a drag my feet game. I liked it. It had a checklist. It was easy. There was one thing I did not like about Aloy. They did not specify if she was gay or straight. And if she was gay... Why does that matter? Uh, hear, hear me out. This is what matters to me as the gamer that's playing the game. I was detached from her as the character. I liked everything else. I liked the story. I liked the additional characters. But when I watch movies, when I watch um, anime or whatever, there's some sort of a love interest that adds a different dynamic for me. This is how I see it. Not anybody else. This is JTEC. This is how I don't see mind it. If, uh, you don't mind if I interrupt. Me. Yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somatic, somatic, somatic. I do mind. Let me finish. Because no, I already. This guy, I, Luke, Luke is in the chat saying. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we can talk about Luke, but let, let me finish this. Okay, so the, I like Aloy, right? She's a beautiful woman, strong. I like the bow and arrow. That was a different touch. Um, I wish that we could craft more weapons. I'm, I'm hoping that we get that ability. Somatic and us, we talked about that. Like, I see an axe or a yeah. hammer um, over there where you're making, like, you, you're going to the forge to upgrade your, your bow. But you see all these other people yeah. using other weapons. I'm like, why can't I use that weapon? So that was the one. She had a lot of potential love interests. She did have different weapons, though. But no, not not a, no. not a hammer or axe. Okay, well she had she a had one shot. mate. She, she had, had yeah yeah. She had a lot of projectiles, of but I'm talking about melee weapons. She had one stick that got upgraded later on in the game. That's hey, go run very, up to um, a thunder jaw. Go run up to a thunder jaw off a fucking spear. See how that works. No, that's that's <laughs> no saying. no no. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying why not give her a hammer? 
Her spear yeah, got upgra- her spear got upgraded at the very end of the game. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You have you had a hammer. I saw uh the guy with the mohawk. He had uh, there was axes. I'm just saying. There's a lot of materials. You can use those materials to make a lot of weapons. You already got a lot of projectile weapons. I don't have a problem there. Melee weapons with my my my, my pet peeves on this I'm game. And I feel like no, I wish the they would have picked a love interest for her. It looks like they have potential love interest, is but you didn't, you weren't able to. I go think down I, there. I, I think I think I know I think I know who that um that dude is. Anyways, it might actually be, it might actually be uh, um someone actually does like I can see that tension. I just don't remember his name. What the was guy, it the prince? The I think it, I I think they wanted the prince to be a love interest, and then yeah. I also wanted the mohawk guy that looked like a potential yeah, one. Yes, yeah, yeah but I don't of. think I'm she. I, if I if I remember correctly, she his never. Name was Elrond, wasn't it? Yeah, he was cool. I liked yeah, his uh, armor and shit. But he she never traveled down. She was so hell bent on knowing her mother that she was like, nah, I don't got time for none of this love shit. It's like people were yeah, throwing. Yeah, what She's you say, single somebody? minded woman. No, I'm saying it's Luke still. He was there yesterday. Same. Okay, same uh, so matter, I'm gonna let you deal with Luke, but I'm just saying I hope that that you know I know the world is in trouble and she has to save the world, but you know you got a lot of story elements. You get to talk to people in different branches of the conversation. I mean, give us an option to fall in love with a character. You know, if that's you know what you want to add in there. So I'm hoping they explore more of that so I could feel like I I I'm a little bit more attached to Aloy. You know, she. She at a certain point she kind of fell dull. It's like, hey, I know that you miss your mom, and I know you want to find out these questions, but come on, you know, give somebody some attention a little bit. You know, that's all I care. Luke has timed out. <laughs> yeah. What's up, fellas? What's up? Fellas? What's going on, bro? Well, uh, Luke. He got timed out. Sky Parker with a P. Uh, what's going on, bro? Uh, Eternity, that's you, man. How you doing? Yeah. All right. So, what's up with Luke again, Somatic? PlayStation has millions of users, few hundred people aren't shit. I'm confused. What? Nobody said we were shit. There's a ton of casuals that just, like Somatic said, they're never Everybody gonna know a game is going multiplayer. So of course I'm saying easy. We're not enjoying. We're mis I'm like nobody's miserable with. What are you people. talking about? I platinum these games. I beat these games. I I mean, come on, man. I love these games. Who's saying who's saying that? Luke. Uh, Luke. Uh, he was he was there yesterday. So, I mean, know, I would say you're miserable you. because you have the superior platform, but you're still yeah, you're in the here chat. Two days in a row, you're still coming here. Yeah, yeah so. two days yeah, in a row. Isn't here that, isn't that weird how it works? I have a superior platform, but I got to sit there on a PlayStation podcast to trash them because I'm superior. Let me talk to you, Luke. But I, think, but I think shows that I think shows that they got no games to play. Exactly, and that's what I want to say about Luke. Luke, there is a game that was broken on PC. It's called Stranded Deep. You're stranded on an island. It's a building type of game. From what I heard, it had all right water. I was interested in buying it because it had video game water. But then they quickly put it on PlayStation Now, where I have the ability to download it with no additional cost or stream it. This is what PlayStation Now is. So you lost the exclusive, but we don't make a big fucking deal about it. If we talked about the amount of exclusives PC fucking loss <laughs> in one fucking month you probably yep. wouldn't be talking shit right now you got horizon you didn't get days gone death stranding was planned and again at this rate you probably might end up with two or three uh playstation 4 exclusives every year at the most so shut the fuck up <laughs> like just shut just up no, I just didn't want to talk. I know you told me to uh, to address me. I just didn't want to talk over you. Nah, you nah, 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 nah. He's a fucking dickwad. Um, He's a troll. Bro, remember, Somatic, remember uh, Warhammer Ver Vermintide, the first one? Yeah. So they put part two exclusively on Xbox for a time, and then they ended up giving us the leftovers, and then they quickly put it on PlayStation Now, where you have the option to download or stream it. I just hope people understand this. Uh, like, there is a pattern here. I mean, they definitely are looking to boost the library, PlayStation Now, and Plus. Um, they're all over the place. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're they're interested in putting older games on PC. They're, they're putting them on their subscription services. It's like, PlayStation doesn't really know where they want to look for their, their second source of revenue. A steady stream of revenue. Um, it will never be PC because these idiots are just too picky. 
you know, like they are. That's why they just need to do PlayStation Pass, where they just put all their games on there. Did you just say that? Illegal. Hmm? <laughs> that's 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 what they're going to be on PlayStation now. PlayStation Pass. I tell you right oh. now, whenever they fucking make that shit, it's definitely every game is going to be day and date like uh, Troy oh, said. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because look at mm-hmm. look at Game Pass right now. All right. Yeah, but they yeah, can look at Game Pass and all those top quality yeah. exclusives. What up? <laughs> oh my God, they got games on here that I remember buying in the beginning of the generation, and they're available for download. You know, PlayStation Now. I continue to come back here and say it. It's not bad. Like you're paying ten dollars a month, and you do have too many games that you don't you don't even know if you can play all this shit. This must nope. this must be half of how it feels Give to have Game month. Pass. I'll try. No, I'm just saying it must be half of how it feels to have Game Pass because they have less games than us. You know. Yep. Like they this. Have to depend on all those Bethesda games now. <laughs> If they didn't play them over the last 7, 10, 15 years, they're not going to play anything. They did not play Bethesda's games. I played more Bethesda games than they did. Yeah. I mean, shit. I was hey, talking... guys, this is Phil Spencer. We spent all this money on Game Pass, so make sure to play these Bethesda games. Only like 10 more people downloaded. <laughs> ah, ah, bitch! Actually, I would, love, I, would love to, I would love to see the financials of um. How many people downloaded a game from um from Bethesda on Game Pass? Because none of them played it before when they play now. And the thing is, none of them are new. So, like exactly. you said, like you had the option to already play these games, you just decided not to. Like, was it not so, your type yeah. of game, or was you just didn't have any reason to cap for the game? No, <laughs> not a kind of reason to cap for the game. So let's see if they actually. Um, put the money to the, um, money to the mouth and actually play Bro, it. there are oh, too many games it. on here, bro. And they're available for download. That's what's killing me. So I have this well, service have, and the they're available is, do for download. Do you have PlayStation Now? Do I do. Pay $10 a month. I do. Well, yeah, I have PlayStation Now. download it, man. No, I'm, that's what I'm oh, oh, you're not looking at the YouTube video. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling through all the games huh. right now. Like, this is, this is a lot of fucking games. I haven't been on, I'm been on PlayStation now to check in um, in a long time. There's so games that know. you're never going to touch, and then there's games that you, you thought about, hey, you know, I wish I had access to that, or I might be want to know if this game is good, but you don't want to spend the money. But price for if a you, year. Huh? What's the price for a year? 60. 60. 60? Yeah. That's not bad. Either. I'd I, say it's worth it for yeah, 60. Yeah, it's definitely worth it for yep. 60. Because yeah, so that's not if, you th- if you think about it, all the PS4 games are old, so why not just add them to PlayStation now before, you know, you, you got to have to before you eventually port them to PC. You know, you know it's funny. If, if, <laughs> if they did some, still, still get a revenue. Why? Because people are still subscribed to PlayStation now, so they're still getting the additional revenue for having all those PlayStation 4 games on PlayStation now. They would have still gotten the revenue. They did not need to port to PC. Yeah, but... I mean, there's I a, there's a, look, there's a reason they're about. doing it, but I still don't I know. know the real reason. Like, they're giving us I a reason, know. but I don't think it's the real reason, you know? No. Uh, I still, there's some there's some stuff I still don't understand about PlayStation. Now, why the hell is certain games not on there? Like, for instance, they got Resistance 3, but they don't have 2 and 1. They got some Ratchet and Clank, but they do not have the rest of them. Like, those are Sony IPs. I don't get why they're not on there. Like I can't tell. Sony's but, weird. Yeah. Sony's weird sometimes. <laughs> I mean, they have Tokyo Jungle on there. Actually, one of one. I think it's one of the most underrated PS3 games ever. And they don't have like, fuck. They don't have the Ratchet Clank collection in there, which is no, really no. weird to me. Like, they exactly. got Sly Cooper, but no Ratchet Clank, no Jack and Daxter. <laughs> and Jack and Daxter is on the Jack and wow, on crazy. the PS4 remastered. So I don't know why it's not in there. Like it's, it's see this game right here, right? This uh Generation Zero. I was very interested in the game, but not interested enough to buy it. If they were to add this to PlayStation now, I would actually download this shit. Uh-huh. 
But again, there is such thing as too many games. And then at that point, you're just subscribing just for the sake of subscribing. And mm -hmm. I won't fucking lie to you guys. I'm on that path with PlayStation now. I don't use it as much. And even with PlayStation, well, you know what, fuck it. With PlayStation Plus, what did I play this month for PlayStation Plus? Um, Destruction All-Stars, I platinum that. Uh, Remnants from the Ashes, didn't like it. Didn't download this. Already had play, uh, Final Fantasy, so... Destruction All-Stars was a plus. We're quickly moving into the next month. Obviously, we're getting a new free game. Uh, what is it? The Play at Home initiative and the PlayStation Plus. Then PlayStation Now also gets updated. I mean, they're giving us a lot. I'm not going to sit up here and they, say they don't give us a lot. We, we're getting a lot from, from them. We got two services, Plus and uh, Now. Uh, I think it might be... A time in the business meetings where they thinking about a, a way to add them together or to you know transform them into something new that you know share the same identity um but i want to move to our next topic and it's uh about how bad xbox sucks uh <laughs> oh boy well they've been sucking since uh, that's a, that's 360 a so that has to change uh, that's the loaded <laughs> question no but since we got my boy somatic here i wanted to uh ask him um when is the last you know what i'm gonna ask everybody when is the last time you played a bethesda game can i answer that question yeah when is the last time you played uh one? fall four hey, it was about three years ago Okay. I actually played. And that's I after I got the Nuka World expansion. I actually played one last week. I was playing Fallout 4. I think I kind of dropped it for the most part for now, though. Okay, so my trophies for the Wolfenstein game before I played it yesterday live, uh, those, uh, that, that, those two trophies were 2017. So, and then I'm looking at Wolfenstein the Old Blood. These trophies are also 2017. I can go years I'm without, huh? I'm saying I'm probably have one of them. <laughs> exactly. I could go years without playing a Bethesda game. I don't really need them for, you know, like when I play my video games. I just don't play those type of games. So I'm cool with the Bethesda deal. Um, but I think it's stupid but, but, to say exclusives matter now when you told your competition that they shouldn't have exclusives. I think that's pretty mm. stupid. Oh, you talking about flip flop and fill there? <laughs> ah, that's a nice name. I'm, 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 I'm gonna steal I'm, that. I'm their fans. I'm their fans. <laughs> Cause their fans are also talking um, exclusive. Their exclusives matter. are bad, by the way. Bethesda games are gonna be exclusive to our platform now. Oh, we got exclusives coming now. I'm like, really? You guys know what's messed up though. We can talk about Phil all we want, but fucking Jim Ryan's damn twin, the, the dynamic duo. Well, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah, I mean, as far as not being honest about his intentions to bring games, like, I, he's a very educated guy. And yeah. I don't think that, like you said, we're not going to miss out on these exclusive experiences coming to the PS5. He knows that. So there won't really be the backlash they're looking for that will hurt their pockets because it won't happen. So what's the harm of saying, hey, we're really putting these games on PC because we want to expand the ecosystem and gaming development is so expensive that we, we're going to really need a third source of revenue outside of the two subscriptions we have, as well as the, the network store and then the, 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 the hardware. We need another one guys hear us out, but he's not going to do that. He's not going to say, Hey, we need PC for this additional money. Like we already got you guys fan, but we need some more people. We need more money. Here's the thing though. It wouldn't be so bad if, we didn't have so many um, of PlayStation fans still on the PS4 because a lot of them are still stuck on the PS4, unable to get a PS5. If they were all, it was easy for them to get a PS5, it wouldn't be so bad because okay. at the end of the day, that system would be obsolete. You're yeah. cut, you're digitizing a lot. Yeah, you're, you're, I'm, yeah, you're, you're, you're breaking up a lot. But I know what you're saying. Feels it's, like it's you're hard. going to a digital world. Yeah, like a Digimon. <laughs> but you're saying that it's hard to get a PS5, and that's definitely true. I'm pretty sure. Uh, my boy Adam Core is lurking around here that has the experience to tell us why. I think Boca Loca knows, and I think I know to a degree. There's there's a part that they. Can you hear me now? Huh? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. 
there's a part they're missing okay. for the PS5 that's hard to come by, and that's why the production is slow. It's not COVID. It's the fact that they just can't produce enough. Um, yeah, so, the okay. chips, right? in a way, yeah, in a way, it looks like even though they didn't intentionally do it, they sabotaged themselves. They shot themselves in the foot. Oh. In a way. They didn't, they didn't want to do it. It's just like, hey, it's just the way it happened. Like, it's a very it's ambitious system. It's an ambitious system, and they just can't produce as many as they want. If they could, then they'd be rolling around in a lot of money for hardware. Um, oh, trust me. It's, 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 it's a better system. The, the thing is, on paper, it may look, it may look that is less powerful than the Series X, but it actually is more powerful than the Series X simply because of the um, of the of the um, of the OS, how Mark Cerny um, implemented it. It is outperforming the Series X in every possible way, like with the, with graphic with graphics and with the um, with the ray tracing. The ray tracing is better. My son said he didn't need to use the ray tracing, but the fact is, when they use ray tracing, it's actually much better on the on the PS5. Am I wrong? No, yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. It's just this great system. I'm not saying it's weak or anything. It's just the parts that they use are not easy to come by. If they were, we would have more PS5s in the hands of gamers. It's people can't keep blaming it on scalpers. Scalpers, they got a lot of stock and they have not sold it because people didn't have money. No. So. We're not we're not looking at a scenario where stockers already are full of stock and then they're gonna buy additional stock. Sony just can't keep they're up not with the demand. One. They're, they're not the only one though. Xbox can't keep up with demand, although they're not making a much. But um, Xbox, AMD can't even keep up with their own stock. Yeah, so um, with their own I mean, stock. Hey, that's not true. true. That's not true. X, that, there's plenty of Series S's out there for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're just the sellers. They're just the sellers. That's a bit less different. <laughs> but AMD can't keep up with their, with their, with their demand. So that's that's the big difference. I'm just not selling shit. That's the that's the problem. But well, yeah. Yeah, well do you want an Xbox or a PlayStation? That's the million dollar question. <laughs> yeah, hey. well no one seems to want an Xbox, so it's just sitting there. Yo, real quick. Except for Xbox, they're just buying like five of them. Yo, yeah, that's how much yeah, what's love. up? Hey man, I just read. I read the chat. I saw something about the whole verification thing. I didn't even realize I wasn't verified. So. Oh no, no, you good, bro? Me. No, I've really did. I'm not good with names, so I don't even know you or you. So <laughs> now I know you or you, and you're you're verified. Like, don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, um. Gotcha. Yeah, but that's just a way to keep out trolls because we've had trolls try to get in here all types of ways. Like they try to pretend oh, yeah. that they are PlayStation fans, and just it's just so weird. Speaking of yeah. trolls, motherfucking <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming back. That is a day one buy. It is from Wait. what I'm hearing. I think it might be online co-op. I'm hoping it's online co-op, man. God, I hope it's not couch. I want split screen co-op so I can bring my cousin over. We can play no, like I we hope it has that. all options, but you know some of these old games are remastered, and it's just not. Um, Hold on, bro. Let me go find you real quick. Yes. I want some Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Okay, so let me get this video ready. And then let me verify you real quick. So, um, I just want to let everybody know if, uh, let me see. If you need, if you want to be on a PlayStation Legion Discord, we, we talk about games, we share pictures and video clips and news. Uh, when we're not on air, I'm perfectly okay with that. We're just not entertaining the trolls. So if you're there to cause trouble, that's just not what it's all about. Uh, we're now sitting at 81 members. At a time, we were like at 30. So we got a lot of people in here. Um, and I'm grateful for the people that we have and all the support we've been getting on YouTube. Um, because this is just all about gaming. That's what we're keeping it. We're keeping it gaming. Uh, we're not doing all that drama, dumb shit, but let me go put a link in there. And then I forgot to hype up the merchandise, uh, which is going to help us all get game pass for the summer. You know, so get that. What happened? What's the matter? What do you say about game pass? By the way, this fucking God of War at 60 frames is too fucking crazy. Man, you never really know how much that shit changes. Oh, 
Okay. Play games though. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm back. Let's um, hear real quick. Yeah, God Can of War just moves completely stick. different now. God, that's a good game. Mm. So, uh, Ninja Turtles Day One for me. Uh, I still want to find out a little bit more about the co-op. I'm hoping it's online co-op. Pray to God it's four-player online co-op. It will just make it so much fun. Um, Oh, sorry if you guys hear that little mechanic going around. That's my fucking coffee maker. Fucking thing. No, that's all right. That's like a good cup of coffee, man. Yep. Not like a uh, yeah. great cup of Single coffee. Single surf. Right. I don't I drink coffee, by the way. Me. Coffee is, uh... Yeah, I don't need that much energy. I need <laughs> all the energy I could get. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I'm trying to prevent myself from going to sleep. Well, Whoa. you can uh, play uh, Sea of Thieves. Uh, oh, no. oh, Lord! <laughs> you trying to put me to sleep now? <laughs> <laughs> I you, know know hey. you know what your game's bad when Axeman makes a video about I wanna, it. I want to ask everybody a question, and I, yes, I am looking at the fucking chat. Uh, would Stop you her. guys be interested in me replaying God of War? It's something yes. I do want to do before Ragnarok gets a real release date. Um, Why not? Yeah. I would say do it closer to when we actually know the date. Yeah. So that's what I'm... I mean, I've already started it, but not. I'm not deep into um, the playthrough, but I am... Um, I'm, I'm very interested in it. It is a really good game. I just finished my playthrough of it. I was like, damn, I forgot how good this was. Yeah, bro. They, they it's just such a. F That's a fucking home run if there ever was one. Like really, they it it took a long time to get here. I just finished watching uh, Raising Kratos, and I have to say, I am um I'm very excited. I watched that. A I've just I watched, watched it this past week, bro. Back. Yeah, I want to say making a new IP. You know, I just I've, wanna. I just want to make a correction. Uh, uh, Usama Mubarak, yeah, say it in the month of uh, say it in the month of January. Just don't say it out sold sold it like it, you know, for its whole lifespan. Just in the month of January, it out sold it in the UK. Put what some context? Into what it. happened? Uh, he's saying the the um the Xbox out sold it in the uh, UK, but it out sold it in the UK. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> Xbox has three. Something million, and then PS5 is over five million. So it's yeah. like, yeah. does it does it really matter if it sold better than PlayStation Five that's out of stock they in got, one month? They got on? less. They got less coming out every single time. So of course it's gonna it's gonna sell out. Exactly. No, that's what I'm saying. He needed he needed to put some context to it. Nah, he doesn't so. care about context. He's just a fan. He just wants What's to make context. Xbox. Is that the thing I put on my toast this morning? Yes, it is. It's the thing you put on your <laughs> toast this morning. Damn. I just can't believe how great this game looks. So, um, Somatic had been telling me a long, long time to watch Raising Kratos, and I didn't. So I finally got bored, and I have extra time at the job now um, because there's well, some renovations. Raising Kratos, I finished watching it this week. Oh, well, you did? Yeah. yeah. We've been told you to watch this. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't have a lot of reasons to watch it, but I had no – I didn't have a lot to do, so I watched it. What I will say – is just amazing. Um, after watching that, I know that the release year that they gave us last year for God of War Ragnarok is bullshit. With all that's going on with uh, COVID, coronavirus, developers are using that as an excuse to delay games all the time, and it is a real excuse. There is no way this game can come out this year. If we're just looking at the development they had a clear year of 2019 without the virus. Unless, unless it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not only PS5 exclusive. Maybe it's caution. That's what I was going to say. That and the, the story will be shorter. It'll be kind of like a Miles Morales. 
That's exactly what I was just going to say. It could be like a Maserati. Now, don't kill me, people. I know you guys want a full experience. (laughs) But if you really think they had a full year, which is 2019, and a a hindered year, which is 2020 with the virus, and they're bringing it out this year where the virus is still hindering development all across the board, (laughs) it's not going to be God of War 2018 Part 2. It's God of War Ragnarok. It could exactly. be just like, like Spider. Be told it can't just be like God of War Part Two oh, God. in Dreams. It's the light skin Batman again. <laughs> What's going on, gentlemen? What's going on, man? What's going just, on, like, Boot man? just like Spider Man did not get Spider Man Two, got Spider Man Miles Morales. God of War may not get God of War Two, may get God of War Ragnarok, which is um, which is, you know, a shorter game. So uh, that's, uh, that's uh, what I that's uh, what I think. Just because it's the name Ragnarok, I, no, I want no, this gotta... to be like kind of the Ragnarok story playing out. Yeah, but you gotta also realize, remember, they actually had a DLC plan for the um for the for God of War, but they didn't actually do it because they said it was too ambitious. So mm. maybe that's what this well, is. And then they're just trying to get Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, I maybe, that's what they're doing. maybe that's what they're doing for this. Maybe. Yeah, that's actually not the first time I've heard about that happening with God of War. Like, I think that would actually be very plausible because it hadn't been that many years since we got the first one, so the PS4 version. So I think that that'll be good either way because that's a pretty quick turnaround, if you ask me. Like, three years for the part two of God of War. So, yeah, I think that does sound more sound, man. For it to be a uh, Uncharted, Lost Legacy, Miles Morales type of game. <clears throat> yeah. Um, what, what up? You said it, you don't think it will be. I think I said I think it would be. Oh yeah. That, yeah. And I, I I wouldn't mind. I mean, you, you're showing us what you can do, uh, and then you still have the team to work on a, a a more legitimate sequel. And I mean, they did the same thing with Miles Morales, and it was still a good lengthy game. Um, I think they can do something good. Um, I mean, yeah, but I saw a that, bunch of fucking reviews say, uh, well, this feels like glorified DLC. I'm like, well, fuck, that's better than most games that come out these days. The same people are saying the same people are saying that and, and complaining about high bosses. <laughs> I know, right? They love doing that. I love that they love doing that. Oh, I actually remember. Yeah, no, it was, it was the Xbox. They were like, oh, well, you guys are hyping up glorified DLC. I'm like, Aren't you guys just hyping up DLC for fucking Sea of Thieves? <laughs> Wait, Sea of Thieves got DLC? Yep. Well, update, whatever. But yeah. Oh, the game is finally updated. I'm going DLC. Okay, I see. Wow. What do you do if it's shit? What's going on, Yellow Man? Welcome. Welcome, Yellow Man. How you doing? Oh, man, playing a little bit of backlog, you know? Yeah. It's a great fucking time to play Backlog, not gonna lie, man. I mean, sometimes it really is good to have a couple months where PlayStation not spitting out fucking exclusives. Um, Facts. You know, I'm, like, I'm, for real. Yeah. Need that time. I'm, I'm curious. You, is, is it me, or when you use the deal, do, um, the deal sense on, on PS4 games on, on Enhanced, right? Mm-hmm. Do you is do you think the deal sense is actually um you being utilized because I feel I feel a difference when I'm using especially when I was using the deal shop before I feel a big difference when I'm when I'm being hit like oh or is that just me I'm no no sure I'm, a yeah I'm pretty feature. sure they changed some stuff yeah it's probably just a better rumble feature are you talking about you're selling, you're yeah. selling haptics also. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably what it is, but, like, I feel a big difference from the controller. Yeah, it's just, I mean, well, it is a more advanced controller, so I guess that's kind of a given. Speaking of advanced, I can't wait to paint my controller, man. Paint, <laughs> paint that shit green and white. Green and white. You PS5 <laughs> owners, can, can I just trade lights with you for a day? Oh, 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 that's right. You don't have a PS5 yet. 
Yeah, yeah dude, I'm fucking like, wait for that stimulus money, man. I'm gonna fucking get my PS5. Well, you know I'm what? Fucking... I'm happy for everybody that's about to get stimulus and put it towards the PS5. Well, I let swear, me tell man. y'all. Let me tell y'all I'm right now. Don't be afraid to go to eBay and get one of these PS5s <laughs> because. <laughs> because... <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hey, hey, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay, hold on. If you're not willing to pay, you ain't willing to play because if you knew, you would have had one. Exactly. Yep. Listen, listen, the prices are going down on eBay too. The prices are going down on eBay. Hold on, 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 hold on. You say you say you didn't have the money then? No. Okay, I okay. Hold on, 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 hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay. You may not have the money then, right? But you knew it was the end of the generation. Right? You knew the PS5 was coming before they even announced that release date. So therefore your subconscious mind should have told you I should have started saving then. If you knew and you took it serious, you would have had it day one. Damn, There's no right, right. right. That, Those are facts, man. Those so, are facts. Look, I look, should have been saving a long time ago. Poor, uh, I want to learn to start saving money. But I, I, want, I want you to understand. I want you to understand <laughs> one thing. Somatic got a PS5 yeah, off of not, Amazon. I'm uh, oh, sorry, I, off no, of eBay for what? Seven? Yeah, yeah, so seven ninety nine. Yeah. So, so it's not it's not gonna be a thousand, but they're giving you a thousand four hundred for stimulus check. I'm telling you, if you feel that you I'm, really want it and you don't I'm have a chance of finding up. one, you gotta you fucking suck it up friend. and get it. Yep. I got my, I, I got mine for six fifty. So it's... that's what I plan on doing. My brother just got one for seven hundred. Uh, no, for six something. Yeah, bro. Of, just uh, no, I would a, say get the physical. Off a, off a get scalper the physical website. Thing. I got the physical for six fifty. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I don't. Right. I don't have a physical. What's that? Six fifty of tax included? But I might. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking hard over the last couple of days with the stimulus check. Do I want to go get that physical? I would suggest if you want it, Jay. Yes, do it. Turn around at the. Uh, but what do I do with the digital? You turn around and sell it. You sell it to yeah. me. <laughs> for, you okay. Get your money back for eight thousand. Okay. That's, that's, that's a good deal. Yeah, I could do no, that. That is serious. When the, when the P, P, listen, listen, listen. When the PS4 Pro got announced, right? Mm -hmm. I pre-ordered it. I paid it off. If you knew back in the PS3 generation, you were able to have multiple consoles with your profile on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the PS4 didn't allow you to do that, so therefore there was no logical reason for, for me to keep a PS4 Pro and a PS4. Right? There's only one of me. So what I did was I basically took the one terabyte internal hard drive swapped it right and then pretty much well anyway i know for a fact i, I swapped my fucking hard drives um and then to turn around and sold my fucking original ps4 i think for two something so really i only paid 150 for uh the pro so same concept that you need to do jay if you really want it, like you said with the, with the stimulus g cash mm -hmm. out for the fucking physical and as the PlayStation 5 is at an all-time high to get in people's hands, turn around and sell it and get your money back. I got you. I know. I got you. Right now, I already, got, already, got, my, right already got my TV. I already got but, the I mean, that's the thing, bro. If, I, if I'm lucky I'm enough to sit on this, this stimulus and then all the other money that comes in, bro, getting a, P a physical PS5 is something I really do want. It's what I want, bro. It's what I want. Yeah, that's why when the uh, digital, I just wasn't going to settle for it, man. I just had to get the one I wanted. You you yeah. got to understand, and, yeah, and Yellow will tell you, bro, understand. it was me clicking left or right and feeling that I had a better chance oh, no, I know, in a couple I know seconds. Your yeah. But I'm just saying for me, I just I would just, just rather, you know, pay for the one I got instead of getting one. Yeah, I know. Knowing that I got to go yes. with the one that I really See that's why I don't plan, that's why I don't want to go, man, and I don't want to buy one on a web a regular official website because I want I don't want to go through that stress of not getting one after well, trying so hard, man. Well, you you can you can like, try so hard. It's either it's, if it's meant for you to it's meant for it to, to happen or it's not because I I got a buddy of mine. far as buying it on eBay, it's no no no. Listen listen listen. <laughs> He's saying just buying it online <clears throat> online in general, right? Oh okay. Well, my, well when the PS5 dropped, obviously you know through history, I basically hooked up a lot of people. To get it because uh right place right time i pre-ordered it day one in store at gamestop by the way so my buddy my buddy uh, boog was over there uh, at the police academy right and he gets out by the time he gets out the ps5 is already dropped he obviously has the money he's just trying to find it trying to find it trying to find it many times he's called me man fuck that goddamn place man fuck i'm done i'm done like, what are you talking about fuck that shit man 
telling me how many times he's been fucked trying to buy online, right? Yeah. Well, he's a police officer, and he was on a call, okay? His girl texts him, right, and says, give me your information. And at that time, right, he's been trying on the PlayStation website, the actual website. And mm-hmm. when, his old, when his girl said, give me your information, as she was trying to get in and pop, buy it for him, right, because she, she's down for him like that, yeah. he's telling me why on his call, right, he got on his fucking phone, went to the fucking website, and secured his PS5. Oh, wow. That sounds like wife material right there. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, even though that she was trying to get it for him, he got in before she did. So there is, you know what I'm saying? Because what they're doing, they're, they're, they're releasing it randomly. They're not saying, hey, this is a scheduled date for bots to come. Come on, Jay. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah they're doing yeah. random like shit, bro. Exactly. So you just you have to be at the they right place, get right, once in right stock, time. They won't tell people. They're like, no, we're not telling you because then we'll have like yeah, because you have people all fucking people out front of the store trying to mm-hmm. get one. And again, like I said, bro, I've been gaming all my life, and it's to the point where I'm now. Now it's a, it's a, it's a hot item. You feel what I'm saying? It's the popular thing to do. But back in my younger generation, it was taboo. So again, <laughs> like I stated before. Was this is the time. first time this this ain't the first time a console has been released. You feel what I'm saying? If you fucking knew, oh, this happens every new generation. Exactly. If you knew, you would have been ready. Oh, oh, that's, okay, really okay, that's, 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 that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not fair to say because I was ready. I was ready. No. I say I said the buy over a thousand dollars waiting, and I still couldn't get one. Oh, I still couldn't get one. I was on I was on the I was on the knew, website. I was on five different. You can be a, a, you can be time. on twenty different websites if you knew, right? As soon as they had that press conference, my intuition told me, bro, they're gonna be dropping that fucking shit. And literally, this is the day before my my second daughter was born. This, as this, soon this, as so. soon <laughs> as I found out it was uh, it was live that same night when the last mm-hmm. was live, I went online. I went to I, fucking GameStop, right? I went After we everywhere. Getting prepped I went my wife's fucking everywhere. I'm I on my everywhere. phone watching the press conference in the GameStop parking lot. Okay? I gave it 20 minutes. 20 minutes <laughs> after that shit went off, I went in there. <laughs> no, no, because again, really <laughs> bro, I, this this is not my first rodeo. And I ain't saying I'm the Dom <laughs> Bishop Juan or fucking Bill Gates of the gaming, but again, you are. I, shut up, Joe. <laughs> um, no, I just fucking know. And then literally, she was saying that, oh, no, we're not doing They'll probably do it the same day as fucking Xbox. I'm just thinking to myself, bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. So I come home, I'm scrolling on my phone on Twitter. I used to work for GameStop. I see a GameStop receipt in the palm of a dude's hand. I literally look at what the fuck I need to look at to identify what it was. I called the GameStop. I asked him. He said, yep. I spoke of the district manager's name. I said, I am on my way. And that's how I secured it. <laughs> so again, uh, if you if you knew, I'm you knew. But, 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 you but, but back to Somatic. Me. Check this out. Somatic. Somatic, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, so I got question, a war. Question. So as you were Love getting it. frustrated and pissed off by not being able to acquire a PS5, right? Love this fucking game. Do you feel as though the purchase of the price rate that you bought that console for was justified? Of course, of course. My point exactly. So, exactly. So come to fruition of what I, we were speaking of earlier. You're getting free money. Okay. It's either you're going to cash a tiny, out. tiny, stinky kid right You're going to cash out on the console that somebody's asking the price for, or you're going to continue to bitch and complain and not experience that yeah, motherfucking yeah, next yeah. generation console. So do you either want to wait, or do you want to cash out? Yeah, Free money too, at the end of the day. Too, uh, Loka helped me out, dude. We spent like almost like uh, almost like hour and a half just like looking through eBay mm-hmm. and see if we can find one at a price point. That's all it came down to, just yep. doing research and... I told when, when I found out we was in uh, we was in Discord. I told fucking Briggs. I said Briggs, you got a car? He's like, yeah. I said, get your fucking ass at the GameStop now. He was gone. Um, Son of Sam, I, I yep. I helped him get his via a, a website. He secured his. And pretty much, I told Jay to go to fucking Best Buy when he was fucking fighting to get his. Yeah. Because I was helping him out. So I mean, like I said, it's it's just a con- a constant grind of you being aware, bro. And I'm like just that. saying, bro, you gotta understand. If you're good right now and you're not on the streets, that means when you get this free money, it is free money. It's up to you how if you, you want to spend go it. To, if you gotta go to eBay, and yeah. find your price point, pull the trigger, man. Oh, yeah. That that's that's what I'm. That's my th- thought right now. If I can do six or even seven hundred dollars for the physical. 
or yeah. even what somatic pay almost an eight i'm cool with it because it's money i didn't have that i have and i'm getting additional money and i'm fucking good that's my sentiment yeah. also you know that's mine too man so, i feel the same way now fuck all that i'm just gonna go ahead and get one because i ain't got time to be stressing over trying yeah, to find yeah, one yeah, yeah, time is money. Position, three months know. later down the line and hoping that these stores will just get just mm-hmm. if you see a way to get it, just go after and get it. Man. I, I told my girlfriend, I was like, I really thank Biden for this free money. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Joe Biden, for your free money. Oh, well, man, if it, if it's not even free, it's your money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, exactly. yeah. it's your money, and you get to use it now. Yeah, JG, <laughs> it's my JG money. Wentworth. I'm JG <laughs> fucking Wentworth. <laughs> JG Wentworth. Fuck out of here. That motherfucker gonna be a guest star on the next podcast. <laughs> so JG, how do we get our money right now? Eight seven seven cash now. There you go. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck that commercial, man. Cringy as hell. To be honest with you, I've seen a lot cringier ones. The new Bethesda fucking Xbox. Oh, 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 God damn it! That, oh. that was a little cringy as well as uh, <laughs> Bill Spencer and his wife. Bro, he that. was so happy about it. Like I understand the fans are gonna be happy, but the way he was smiling, bro, it's like wow, bro. <laughs> Phil, yes. Yeah. Like, we already know how Aaron is, but Phil, it's like, bro. It's like, Let bro. Let him bask in the glory, bro. Hey, I ain't even mad at him. Let him bask hey, in the glory. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? At the end of the day, he did what he did what he had to do. He did what he had to do. He, I know. He, he, secured, he secured a publisher. <laughs> and he got, he, he, hey, let's hope so, it makes sense for him. That's all so, I say. It's... So, Jay. Yeah. Remember the picture I sent you yesterday of the Final Fantasy NES cartridge? Yeah. Okay. So the gentleman that actually was selling all that stuff uh, was talking to one of his, his buddies. And he's an Xbox player. We had a civilized conversation without the fucking emotions behind a goddamn brand. We no had way. a literally... Yeah, seriously. <laughs> rare form, right? But no, civilized people that you interact with. You know, we had a serious gaming talk. And he even stated, at this point, Microsoft does not care about the console. This is coming from no, an Xbox don't. player. Yeah. So again, like I said, let them bask in their glory. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you're going to be able to play all those fucking Bethesda games and all those Xbox games. I promise you on the Nintendo Switch, PC, Apple Watch, iPhone, the fucking Nokia N-Game. Why is Bethesda not in the top, top 10 Apple games? Apple Watch. That'd be interesting. I should got killed dragon. By the way, who the fuck's calling me? <laughs> I can tell you guys are young as fuck because I gave a, a shout out to an old fucking failure of a handheld device, and that was the Nokia Engage. Oh, I fucking well, know about that. Uh, I know about the Engage, <laughs> and I know about the Game Gear. Yep, Game Gear. You want to know why I know about the Game Gear? <laughs> it's not because of how good the games were and how advanced the technology oh, was. Oh, it was oh. um, it was a chaperone that let me use that Game Gear. When I was taking my first trip to New York, many, many years, like, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was years, it was like a year or two after um, 9-11. Um, so we was on the way to New York. Um, he gave me the game gear where we, you know, we're on the uh, coach uh, bus going to New York. I'm playing it. That shit fucking dies before I finish the game. Bro, it's I, I remember, eight batteries. Bro, I remember it eating batteries. It's the battery eater. <laughs> God. No, seriously, it was, bro. You guys, uh, I don't know, you, you guys, huh? Is it like the 360 come? Um, it's the Xbox, it's like the Xbox one. No, no, bro, just look. Uh, I, no, it's no, worse. no. no you're... Yo, 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 check this out. When it came to the Game Gear, yo, Jay, do you remember this yeah. one game called Surf Ninjas, bro? No. You ever, you ever played that? I never had a Game Gear. I was just borrowing it. You know, bro, I was just playing man. it. That was my favorite game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Surf ninjas, man. Hey, Surf game. ninjas. You know what I, I do like remember? The start of a bad movie. In I would watch this it. World, there's Surf Ninja. What, I'll... Dick Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh man, I'll, shit! I'll well, about six, seven years old playing that shit. Man. Classic. Hey, well, so I got some news for you guys. I don't know if this is important news, but uh, Horizon Forbidden West has merchandise. So I think. 
Really sure. have a merchandise they they, no. they want it out this year, but I'm not sure if they will. Again, watch. Well, this... cause I'm on the PlayStation Gear website, and I, I'm seeing Horizon 2 for Ben. Yeah, I mean, they got to hype that shit Special out. Collection. But look, you got to remember what happened. If you watch, um, uh, I'm up here hyping it up like I was the first one to watch it, but if you watch uh, Raising Kratos, you understand game development is, is, is very difficult, and yep. you're never on schedule yep. even if you think you are. Oh. So that's all. That's, that's why, you, you, like you said, Jay, game development is very difficult. So for these people, and not to bring up an old topic, but same thing with Cyberpunk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they tried to force that shit down the fucking the end of the generation, but those consoles weren't capable of running that fucking game. It's obvious, mm-hmm. right? The game was optimized for PC, and truthfully, fucking current gen consoles. It was to the fact that the fan base was already there for fucking last generation, and they tried to capitalize capitalize on it. So, and, and at the end of the day, they were wrong for that. But truthfully, did I ask for my money back for Cyberpunk? No. Why? Because I'm going to patiently wait until that motherfucking update comes out. Regardless of the shenanigans that they got going on to the to the public eye or whatever, I don't give a shit about that. You feel what I'm saying? It comes to the point where patiently wait, and you will get the fuck what you want at the end of the day. Well, I want a, a cheese pizza, and I don't think I'm getting that at the end of today. Well, I'm actually about to eat some uh, Domino's pizza right now. Got it oh, in the microwave. Fuck. Bastard. Sorry, Jay, man. Bastard. Sorry, man. <laughs> Damn it. Um, Meat lovers too. But I agree. But you know, with with Cyberpunk and also God of War, and Days Gone as well. Like it, mm-hmm. both of those get all those getting Last of Us as well. Got deleted multiple times, either two or yep. or more times. I don't see a scenario where Horizon comes out this year. I think it's. It's a best case scenario compared to Ragnarok, um, but I want to know what wrong. that year meant. Like, did that mean twenty twenty one is the year where you're gonna see more, or twenty twenty one is the year it comes out? Like, they could have just been honest and say, "Hey, this is the year where we're gonna share more information, not that the year it's gonna release." You know. But again, you got the, the consumers, brother, impatient. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand. Like, it comes to the point, bro, where. Like I said, I'm 36, so I've been gaming all my life. And I understand, even though I haven't developed a program like when I was in high school, but that was a long fucking time ago, obviously. But I do understand that shit is not fucking easy considering to where we were at with 16-bit to where the Mm -hmm. fuck we're at now. You feel what I'm saying? And these games don't happen fucking overnight. So it comes to with my patience with development and games and tempering my expectations. That's the best way I can say my, my 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 thing is we have a killer virus out this bitch and there's some games I want to play before I die. Like this Attention, virus Negroes below. You all are being monitored by the Anti Negro Living Foundation. Your every move is being watched by What, what the, the hell? hell is that? What the what hell is that? What the fuck was that? Oh shit, there's some yeah, that was there's that was, a new uh, that was actually kind of scary, actually. What the fuck? I don't know. We were just talking. I'm trying well, to figure first out. Off, I I don't know who's. Uh, oh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's <laughs> uh. Okay, hold on, guys. Let's go share the screen. Hold on. Not let's not share the screen. I'm just gonna take a picture of it. Cause I already told you guys I work for the federal government and I got people that I need to turn in. Okay, so let me let me be 100% clear. We have PC fans that are also racist that like to attack me. You guys understand what happened on the Capitol? It's not something cool. Yep. But we have people that support the PC master race that have ties to these white um, supremacist movements, right? I take it very seriously. Um, so... If you want to sit down and talk to me and give me some information so I could turn you into the FBI, I would gladly do it um, because I'm, I'm going to get a cash reward for it. So please help me become richer. Like, do that type please. of stuff again. Please, just please help me. Continue to so do this type of PS5 stuff. His old one. Yeah, please, just like, <laughs> just help me out. Yo, did you say you did it but once before? What? Um, I did it before oh, okay. and then they got scared off. So again, <laughs> when you, it's like, 
I was upset about the games going to PC. Now I'm calmed down. The PC fans want additional content, so they want me to keep being upset about it. At this point in time, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm still going to play my games, and we have another topic to cover. <clears throat> so, let me see. Remember, oh, if, you see, if, you see, if you see individuals that join, they normally try to join during the live stream so they can do shit like that. Be sure to ban them from the Discord. Don't okay. don't block them. Because, see, if you ban them, you delete all their history. It helps you out. It helps the whole community out. So be sure, guys, to ban them for the seven days. It deletes all their history, and then we put them on a block list as well. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Um, let me see. Yeah, so he joined at 350, uh, and it is 355, and that incident just happened. So... Another little racist white kid that aligns himself with the PC Master Race. I know you guys too well. I know Yo, what side you're on. What? What? I was, my mic was popped, but I was listening. What the hell was that? Uh, PC Master Race fanboy uh, comes in here and admits that that portion of the gaming community is racist. So, you know? I mean, it's. A, I already called them out on it. You're just exposing it. Thank you for the evidence, though, because we we actually have that <laughs> on tape now. So that's. Weird. Oh shit! This is new. They put that in the Discord. Yeah, and he, he he seems to have his real profile picture on the Discord as well, and his name is Noah, and I'm pretty sure that's his name because most of these guys are pretty stupid when they come to hiding their identities. Yeah, so his name is Noah. He's white, brown hair, glasses. Seems like he's either smoking weed in the profile picture, and he's outside. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Must wow. be his main that's account. How far, that's, that's, that's how far these people going, man? Damn. Well, I mean, it's pretty stupid. Most of them would, like, not it's have racist. a profile picture or anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it is racist. It definitely is, but, I mean, wow, bro. Wow. No, it's a PC fan because I'm playing God of War and we're not arguing about games going to PC. So he was like, oh, let me jump in here and let me do something stupid because I don't have anything else better to play on my system. Um, just for that, I was going to move into talking more about get your ass banned. spoiling games that have came out after years. And I don't think that was our next topic. There was a quote from a PC gamer that said that they know that console gamers or PlayStation gamers are upset or irritated by PC fans port begging, but we should refrain from spoiling games that previously came out on the PS4. Oh, why should we? Fuck him. Why should we? Why should we? And, <laughs> and my opinion is that's not happening. Because you spoiled, <laughs> you spoiled God of War. You tried to spoil God of War. You spoiled you, you the last of us for actually, us. Actually, so right you you last of us. Let so me really give you the uh, word by word quote, True Witty, because I think you're gonna like this one. This is the word by word quote. Ooh, I don't I get the that. idea of spoiling uh, games for others because an exclusive went to PC. I get. Oh, let me read this. Let me, let me make sure I read the, the whole thing. Okay, sorry. Here we go. I get that port begging is annoying, but it doesn't mean you should spoil the story for them. So they get the port beg, oh. and they wait okay. years to get the game. And even though they spoil games like The Last of Us before they even came out, we should not spoil the game that they waited years to play. You know what's funny? I made a, I made I made a video. It wasn't even um, it was a while ago. And I had to delete the comment off my video, but I made a video. Right, it had nothing to do with the Last of Us. In fact, it had, it had something to do with something completely the opposite. Right, mm -hmm. and just because, um, just because of my name and my profile picture, someone came on there. Simbi told me the ex uh, exactly what's happening in the Last of Us Part Two, and what actually they told me is actually what happened. I'm like, oh my goodness. But they spoiled the game for me. They didn't actually stop me from playing it, but they spoiled the game for me. So the fact of the matter is, why should I give a crap about spoiling anything for them? Like, do you see my point here? Oh, I can say is, I I see your point. 
All I can say is, if they don't want the game spoiled for them, well, sure. they better just they avoid me idea. like a fucking black play. <laughs> like, they need to avoid me like a black play, because I'm going to tell them exactly what happens at the end of Horizon, because oh, there I'm actually has a nice little twist in that game. I'm going on every PC channel as I, as I see, and I'm telling them everything what happens in every game. Get off social media altogether and take a nice, nice, needed <laughs> break because them niggas don't know how to not be on social media. Oh, that's what's Doing funny shit. about it. Yeah. And being annoying. You know what I'm saying? Play some goddamn games. Well, they ain't got none, but, you know, <laughs> I guess they can play Rust. And that's the truth, sir. We have Star Citizen that's been in beta for about ooh, four years. <laughs> <laughs> we got Baldur's Gate coming uh, maybe in a couple of years and that's it <laughs> although that Baldur's Gate do look kind of cool though I, w- I would totally play that oh I did want to just say real quick uh, they just announced there's going to be a Horizon comic and it's supposed to take place after the events of the first game there's a God of War oh, comic too by the, done by um by yeah and the Last of Us one I didn't know this shit I need to fucking pick up some comics <laughs> Yeah, there's a God of War comic um, st- um, stemming from God of War 3 to all the way to God of- 2018 God of War. You know, so they comic. never tell us, though, how Kratos got to where he is. They never tell yeah. us. And that's what the comic is going to do. It's going to tell um, the Dark Horse comic is going to do. Yep. It looks cool, but I, I don't know how to get it because the fact is um, I can't purchase it I from the... I it was the, on the PlayStation the... Store because I swear no. I saw something say... Comic free. No, no, it's 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 from Dark Horse Comics on their website. Mm. You can buy physical or you can buy um digital, but the fact is I can't purchase it for some Dark reason. Horse Comics. Now they actually make some pretty good statues too. Cause I got the Last of Us one with Ellie. Damn, I fucking love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a Last of Us two fanboy. I can I will never hear anyone say, Oh, the game's garbage. Oh, Most garbage Man, listen, face. they don't know what they're talking about. So I don't know that these are these are people who didn't play that and they saw they saw their pressure drove well, down. These are the people who fucking shell out that shell for fucking Star Wars until the end of the moon. If you guys don't mind, uh, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. So, um the thing about the PC community you guys have to understand is when you'd like do stupid stuff like that and kinda expose the racism that I've already exposed uh, you're helping me out. Now we have video evidence, uh, audio evidence of your voice. Uh, and every time you try to join the PlayStation Legion, we now have bots to take a screenshot of who you are. And no matter if we ban or block you, the screenshot stays in the welcome section. So we have a screenshot of the time that you join and the time of the incident. So we know it was you. So I just want to let you know, Noah... We know it was you, and for some reason you decided to be racist live on air. You're white. You have glasses, <laughs> and you have brown hair. You're racist. And it's okay oh. that you're racist. It's just sad that you don't have the balls to do that shit in front of anybody's face. You hide behind the screen because you feel safe doing that shit right there. That's where most racists hide, behind the fucking screen. Especially young ones like yourself. So, you know. Um, again, here we go. Ball Scratcher just joined right then and there. We're going to ban his dumb ass. Uh, ball yeah, Ball Scratcher just joined. Hey, hey, man, hey, man. Guys, Ball Scratcher has joined the chat. So, do you do you guys see yeah. this? So, we, I just caught an yeah. idiot literally trying to join at the time of me calling out Noah. So, I'm pretty sure that's Noah's alternate uh discord account so i'm i'm looking right here and i guess i'll be waiting for the next fake discord account and this is why we are so so on high alert over here on the playstation legion because the shit continues to happen they don't have any games to play so this is the games that they like to play you know you don't want to be a pc fan if you i mean you got all those games but then in, in, in a way you don't have any games you know they're too shitty to play. Um, yes. We they are talk, the masters. Talk, they, they, we, they of course, care about all. So, uh, talk, hey, Jay. Oh, by the way, I took a screenshot, Jay, um, on NVIDIA's, uh, NVIDIA's website. Look at, look at, look at the, um, look at the drama section on the, on the Discord. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's, um, 30, um, 3090 chip. 
Look at the price. Are, are you sure that's a, that's a guy? Cause that 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 looks like a girl with a, uh, really. Weird most hair. of them are very sensitive like that, so you know. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Most well, of them. Well, they can kiss the hairiest part of my butt. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> they can do whatever they want to do, but they most of them look very sensitive, or they act very sensitive. Uh, what was <laughs> I, I saw the picture, True Witty. I saw it today before we went live, and I saw that they said they have prices from that. So where would I where mm -hmm. would I be going? Let me let me go back and take it back to um over here so let's go take it back you said nvidia.com we would be going to nvidia yeah. mm -hmm. their their own website tells you that they, um their, their 3090 chips is like 1900 okay so I mean, 3090 oh wait up we're not talking about 39 we're talking about 3080 that's the one that the one uh luke said yesterday right so nvidia let me see let me go to nvidia how do you go to a website? I keep getting all these other websites, but not the NVIDIA website. It was NVIDIA.com. Fuck it. <laughs> it was just NVIDIA.com. Dot com. Right. There we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, see all buying options. The ultimate play, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We got the NVIDIA, blah, blah. What's the, what's the buying options? The buying options start at $600.99. Uh, this is the price that Luke tried to tell us, but it wasn't the actual price. It's where it started at, but that's not how much mm -hmm. you really have to pay for it. So then when you click that page, they take you somewhere else, right? So if I was to go over here and check this availability... They have it on New Egg, which is where we were. This is what they have: the MSI GeForce RTX 3080 Venus 3 times 10 G. This is the one that they have for $699, and then um, just a standard. Let me go see what the availability is for this one. Best Buy has one. Can I get it? Oh yeah. The fuck? Kenny? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You guys are really weird, but hey, guess what? I got a, I got something for you, buddy. Bye. Um. Yeah. Who was that? Oh, it's just another troll. It's just another PC troll. This one has a The Last of Us. Oh, not The Last of Us. The Walking Dead. The Tall Tales game. Again, PC fan. PC fans don't really have exclusives. So when they have these little profile pictures, and of course they're joining after we call them out for racism, we kind of know who you are. So. So that's the one that was uh, acting so weird a minute ago? Well, yeah, that and the fact that oh, I'm wow. trying to be more open with our community, and I opened up the podcast. See, the broadcasting oh, is still locked, but the podcasting isn't. So I'm going to talk to Sick about how to have a verification system for when you join the voice chat. But as of right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to edit it locked right now, you know. Um, yo, yo, guys, the the PC um community is so messed up. You guys probably didn't notice about PC some PC games like in Steam and all that. There's actually some games that's actually dedicated to racism. Oh yeah, we are. But, know but about it's, that. it's oh okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like, I know. Under, like educational yeah. and shit, man. I'm like fuck out of here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the funny the funny thing is it's just so, so heavy. So uh, because either the first or Three different individuals joined the PlayStation Legion Discord community while we were on live. Now, all you guys will be able to do is join and stay in the welcome section. You won't be able to join the podcast because now we just locked it. So, it is what it is. Let's see. It is what it is. So, yellow... Uh, Truity's in here. Let me see. 
True Ready, True Ready is here. Rolls for him. Uh, True Ready, you still in here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, and PlayStation. PlayStation. Let me see what you're doing over here. Okay, PlayStation. Uh, gamers in here. Games for Eternity. For some reason, you're in here. You might have to join and leave back out. Okay. No, 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 no. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. I was just making sure the voices are good uh, and the roles are good. So, actually, everybody that's in here uh, has been verified except Acute Perspective. And I think he was an Xbox fan. We're going to kick you up out of here. Uh, Mon yeah, that's that, that's that, Monkey that's, that's just wild, joined. <laughs> There we go. So made another account and then they tried to join. Wow, sure. man. You guys like, and I was just looking yeah, at the people I, that I, were verified hey. and I just saw another one. Huh? Hey, that's dedicated. That's I, dedicated. Hey, bro. Dedicated to me, man. I mind fucked them <laughs> for years now. Did you like, say it was called Monkey? Yeah. Uh, Yo, that's, that's a, racist, bro. Hey, I know. <laughs> I know it's racist, but Fuck. hey, the good thing is. The bot we have is taking a screenshot of everybody that joins. They don't understand it, but it's taking the screenshot of them. And it's also taking a screenshot of what our tolerance is. We don't allow trolling. We're not allowing any racism. We're not allowing any uh, not safe for uh, work content. And we're definitely not allowing any port begging. Uh, those are the rules of the PlayStation Legion Discord community. So they're already violating the racism thing. It's just crazy. And then we got another one to try to join. Sorry, buddy. You get banned too. Um. Anybody else while I'm looking at the screen, you want to join and get banned? You know I can do this all day. Like, hey, like, like my boy Steve Rogers. I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as the two people that have not been verified, you guys are getting banned because we don't know where it's really coming from. So we just gotta go ban the two people that are not verified and not actually contributing to the PlayStation Legion Discord. But everybody else has been verified, so you're all good. Everybody else that's online right now, they have been verified. There are a few individuals that are just basic members, but we'll see what that uh, comes up to a little bit later. Um, PlayStation Gamer 51. Who's that? Yeah, we got to have to figure out what's going on with PlayStation. Gamer 51. Um, I know you guys are not as fast as me when it comes to blocking or banning, but you guys are going to have to speed it up, okay? You guys have the ability okay. to ban people. Not you guys, but I'm just saying the people that don't lend their voice to the chat and not preoccupied with gaming and gaming news, the other people, the 80, oh, sorry, the 70-something people, do your part, man. You're a part of the Discord. It's because of you that I made it, you know? If you see somebody doing some stupid really shit, get them up the out of here. Time. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. So, uh, uh, yeah, I talked to Sick Humor and I talked to Thrash about, um, you know, how how the verification. I think I still got VV. I think I think we still got V in here. And V helped me set up the bot. So, let me see if she's still in here. Yeah, she's still like in here. So, posted in the chat. So we, we got the V one. in here, so V will help us add another bot for verification of voice chat. Yep. <clears throat> also, That's before that that. we continue with the discussion, I do want to change a couple more things when it comes to not privacy, but server settings. And that would be the unverified the unverified shouldn't be allowed to to do anything unless they're in a welcome chat uh, yeah. so we're gonna take 
a couple more abilities away from the unverified. So they don't have any power when they join. They'll just be stuck in the welcome section. Well, they get to just argue with themselves. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, making it more like the round table. <laughs> yeah. They don't need shit on there, man. Oh, I know. I mean, that's who I contracted. The person that uh, helped them with theirs. That's who yeah, I got the, uh, the the verify ours. That's that's why we have the screenshot system and as well as the level up system. Um, if it wasn't for V, big shout out to her. If it was not for her uh, securing this shit, we'd probably be dealing with this shit almost all the time. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get a nice brown color for unverified, like a shitty color. <laughs> gotta get that nice that, that, that shade of brown right nice, there. a nice good shade of dirty brown no not 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 that maybe diarrhea brown <laughs> oh god there we go uh, hey I'm, I'm, I'm eating here <laughs> okay go, nah man. we 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 keep the unverified yellow for the PC master race cause most of you most of the piss. Are. uh view server as roll no, nah, I think I'm good on that. I'm just trying to make sure we took away every ability for unverified, so like they really don't have any power. It looks Maybe like I took away everything. Let me see. You can do red for danger. No, Fucking nah. GameStop playing my getting my hopes up. <laughs> Few channels, yeah. I was, I'm sorry, I'm browsing the GameStop app right now, and the PS5 digital kept showing up. I was like, okay, normally when they show up, they it means they're in stock, especially when you're just browsing. Nope. Out of stock. Best Bro, Buy and Walmart are your best choice. Stupid. Yeah, that's from Stranger Things. Yeah, look at it. Dude, their fucking app is laggy as hell. Like, I, I just swiped down, and it took like, it took it like a minute to go down. Yeah, the no, it's not even just that, man. It's their, well, it's their layout. Sadly, man. if you join the PlayStation Legion Discord and you are unverified, you now have no fucking privileges. And you will have to be verified. The the easiest way to get verified, I will show you. It's the easiest way in the fucking world, right? Um, where's my fucking controller? So this is what you do. I was just I'm playing God of War, but obviously, you know I can't. Got distracted. Yeah, I can't right now, and I I don't like disrespecting good games. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So that's why you're not at Xbox. Let me save this real quick. Let me go on over oh, here. Betrayous. This is easy. This is all you have to do to get verified in the PlayStation Legion Discord uh, to get a status outside of verified, unverified. You would go to your PlayStation Network account and take a screenshot. Uh, if you can't take a screenshot, use your phone to take a picture of the TV or your monitor. Uh, we're just trying to make sure that you're real. And you actually have a modern day PlayStation console. There have been a couple of PC fans that wanted to join the PlayStation Legion because they claim they have a PS2. I lie to you not. <laughs> and I was like, well, we can't really check your progress and see if you actually play games. You know, PSL OG stands for PlayStation Legion of Gamers. So we do play games here. We do want to make sure that people that join play games. Um, again, racist people are not welcome. PC Master race people are not welcome because of the strong ties to racist groups that I found out on Twitter. Um, it's just really extreme, the shit that I've seen. A lot of pedophiles, a lot of perverts, a lot of individuals that like to have sex with animals. The PC Master race... Have you seen Have you seen this game on, on PC like called PC um, called Burger Shower Race. with Your Dad or something like that? Yes, Shower with Your Dad is a real game. <laughs> I'm not so That's an actual yeah, exactly, game. Exactly. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with these niggas, bro? In this game, you're rubbing down old men in the shower as a boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, is wrong do you with guys not people? believe in the power of the cloud? I'll show you if you you know if you want to see. Wait, what happened? Oh, what happened? Jay, there's some things in my life I didn't even know that were a lot it's of a game that a PC exclusive is called Shower with Your Dad. 
Hey, no. hey, hey, hey. Let us think no. he's exclusive, bro. <laughs> Um, the game is, the official name of the game is Shower With Your Dad Simulator 2015. Um, it is locked behind a age. It comes out every year. I know. I mean, it's locked behind an age restriction. And the, the game only costs 99 cents. It has an overwhelmingly positive review score. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. This is the power of the PC Master <laughs> Race. <laughs> Let me uh no, I need to show you guys this. You guys need to see what the PC Master Race is all about. Man, now I know why. Hey guys, just so you know, I'll sell a pills just in case yes. you feel desperate. <laughs> yes. What's up? It's a it's a it's a platform of options, bro. Too many. Bad That's all I'm going to say. Too many options. Oh, my God. And by the way, oh God, the game real. looks like this it was real. made for the Atari. Oh, God. Like, PC no, fans are weird. The dicks. It was probably made by one person, you know? Yeah. <laughs> one very hey. lonely person. Hey, it, just, it just shows what, what Dave um, allows on his platform. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. This is... uh. You know, y'all want to move on over to PC. Possibly you get ports of PS4 exclusives, but you got a lot of weird shit. So, you know, that's all I'm going to say. Hey, 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 I understand. Hey, I I I yeah, <laughs> oh, by the way, hey, Giant hey, Bomb hey. gave it Game of the Year 2015. GiantBomb.com. Oh, oh, no, they're perfect. They're perfect. So, you know. I'm done. I'm done. There you go. You know. A lot of the PC community gave it awards, like recommended. And, and and again, like one of the people that's recommended has an anime picture. You know how that is. Um, You know, you got a guy with a dirty American flag. Or you know what that's all about. I, it's not I'm just making educated guesses about who the PC Master Race support, I know you guys better than you know yourself. And you think I don't really pay attention to that shit, but you guys are some fucking weird people. Um, you really are just weird. Toxic weird individuals. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy, bro. What's worse than weird? So, yeah, this is what's going on. So, these are the individuals that joined after Noah. After Noah joined, um, we had... Ball Scratcher join. Oh, jeez. And then you had Kenny join, which was whispering sweet nothings in my ear, like the weirdo that he I is. Know. Uh, and the then you had saying. the person with the racist uh, name, which is Monkey. Uh, and then we didn't really have anybody else because I changed the fucking shit around. So, but again, I, I do appreciate you guys joining because every time you join, you get a screenshot. So it doesn't matter who you are. Every time you join, you get a screenshot. <laughs> That's just how it is. So, just know what kind of person they are, though. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, that's that's see? weird people. Man, weird, weird people. Hilarious. Hey, you gotta expose yeah. them, bro. If you don't expose them, who else is gonna do it? You know, who else is gonna do it? Um, <laughs> can we talk about some more topics? Sure. Okay. Go for what's Let's topic. do it. Um, the topic is we have no topics. Um, <laughs> no, we have topics. It's just they got pushed up because y'all motherfuckers was trolling Jamar Bates in the topic section. And now I have to scroll all the way up to see what the fuck we were talking about this week. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is a nice one. Um, <laughs> the PS5 currently holds 65.05 market share over the entire globe. Uh and Xbox only holds thirty four point uh ninety four percent of the market share. Um again not surprising. the Xbox is the most powerful system, then they also have the most cheapest system and it's just not enough to keep people's attention. Uh, plus they just bought plus they just bought Bethesda, so they got a lot more a lot more to um to offer, but yeah, they still got no no they still got no move in the industry. That's the that's the um that's the problem. They got no pull, no move in this gaming industry. They the thing is um Xbox is they simply just buy their way through the industry. They have not created anything so far. 
Yeah, Halo, that, that's my game for you. Halo, they bought. Gears, they bought. Forza, they and transformed. It was a different game, and then they transformed it into into Forza. They have yeah, not I mean, made anything for themselves. Every other game has been bought. So except for except for um, Blue Dragon, I think it was. I'm not even sure what that freaking anime game is called from Square Enix, but that's the only one, and that was from the Dom Matrix days. So yeah. I want to ask I want to ask one simple question: Is Phil Spencer the man for the job, though? He may have bought all these students, but what have they produced so far? Yeah, they don't have any management or creativity, so. That's what I'm saying. Is Phil it's Spencer gonna... actually is Phil Spencer the man for the job? That's what that's all I'm asking. Is he the man for the job? He's supposed to be managing all these studios. He couldn't manage the ones they had, the small amount he had before. Can he manage even more? See, I think the thing is, he's not really necessarily meant to manage them. He's just meant to get them in place and let them do what they do, regardless of the outcome. Mm-hmm. Oh no, he's a he's, he, oh, no, he's a lot of to do what he, um they're doing, but what about all the others? He's but he's supposed to be managing them. He's yeah, he sh- probably should be, but uh, hey, early access, put it in Game Pass. There you go. Have it, guys. <laughs> we'll fix. We'll, we'll quote unquote fix it later. So, that's the that's the pattern I'm seeing. The defense is the only one that they purchased so far. That they've said that we're gonna allow you to do what you want, what you do, what you do best. That's the only thing I've heard they've said about any other developer is is from Bethesda. Them telling them they can do what they um, what they do best. Mm-hmm. Every other developer, they have not said anything about them. They're doing whatever they're supposed to do. But the fact of the matter is, they're not coming out with any games anytime soon. So, what is the point of the Xbox right now? Right. What the thing like is, the game- it's oh, no man. point of the Xbox, but the fans are so diehard that they don't <laughs> notice. You, you understand? They worship in every little announcement, every little word, every little anything. And it's it, it's enough. To us, it's not. But that, to them, they survive off of that. Crumbs. <laughs> they do. Any that little makes, piece of news, they that make a podcast about it. Man, I said, bro, if there's no news, I'm taking a fucking day away from YouTube, bro. I started doing that last week. It's like, hey, bro, what's the point? If it's something to talk about, it's something to talk about. Other than that, you're going to see me gaming on Twitch. Um, yeah. These motherfuckers... They need something to talk about because they have no games. So they cool with the Bethesda acquisition confirmation, just like they were cool with the announcement of the conf- uh, of the acquisition last year. It's enough for them to talk about, so they can ignore the fact that they ha- have nothing to play. Did you see King? Did you see King Thrash? Um, King Thrash debating um someone on um Next Gen Seven um Next Gen Seven Twenty Twenty Twenties channel. No, I I tried to suffer through the crap gamer debate with uh post up, but of course post up, post up he, is, he destroyed he did destroy post up. up I'm gonna that. tell you right now, <laughs> I understand people are doing this for entertainment value. I you yeah. know I ended up arguing, I say arguing uh with uh what's his name Porter Rock. I don't have ill will against anybody because that's too stressful. Um, no. but I'm a gamer first. So when I get in an argument with you, I'm going to bring up gaming facts. So if you, you can't beat me on that shit, you probably just probably shouldn't talk to me. Post up is easy target. We know he don't play games <laughs> and he don't know where he wants to sit now. I noticed that he tried to weasel his way over to the PlayStation community uh, when the PS5 came out. Um, so, yeah, you, yeah, you don't know where these motherfuckers sit at. You know, yeah. you really don't. I well, if he has a PS5. Um, I, yeah, he I'm got one. Good. Oh. You got one? Mm-hmm. Post up, yeah. He, he, he said he said he didn't have one on um when he was when Clark Gamer was debating him. Well, maybe maybe he doesn't, but I know he has Miles Morales, so maybe maybe he doesn't have a PS. Maybe it's a P, maybe it's a PS4 one. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's a PS4 one. Nah, I refuse to play that game on PS4. I am not doing that to myself. No, no, I didn't I'm do that. I try I, honestly. I tried and I just say I, I started. I'm like, uh, no, nah, I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. And then I ended up, ended up getting the PS5, so I'm like, oh, yep. It's better. <laughs> it's better. It's better. It's better. It well, functions so much better. Oh, my goodness. It makes such a difference. Man, I'm, I can't wait for uh, the Justice League movie. Um, 
on March 18th, and then we got the Falcon and Winter actually, Soldier. So fucking hype. Actually, I'm, actually I want to ask, I wanna ask Yo, you, actually. That's uh, any of, is, right there, man. is any of y'all actually interested in this Gotham Knight game? That's actually I, I am, actually, as a Batman fan. But I'm starting to think that it will get a delay until the following year. It has been yep. nothing on it. And I know this game is supposed to have a release date by now, and it has been radio silent. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be coming out this year. That's what yeah. the trailer had said last last time. So yeah, it was supposed to be an early 2021 title, just like Kenna, just like Ratchet mm-hmm. and Clank. Like everything hey, has hey. been pushed back to either half of the year or next year. You know, it's, Yo, y'all, it's going to y'all come out late. Hmm? Y'all remember last year? We all thought that this year was going to be the best gaming year. Man, then that shit fall on his face. Like, oh, yeah, man. yeah. I mean, I I gotta be honest. Before we get into it's April, but yeah, before we get into April, we don't got shit. Destruction All Stars. I loved it. Everybody knows I loved it. Um, but not everybody else loved it. So we can't count Destruction All Stars for February. We had good PlayStation Plus uh, additions, but we can't really count that as new games that we received. And that's what I talked to uh, Boca Loca about, and uh, I also talked to um, um, Somatic about. We Our first official first-party exclusive game from a first-party studio is in the middle of the year. It's called Ratchet & Clank. You can't even talk about Returnal because it's a first-party IP, but Sony does not currently own House Marquee. So, yeah. It's a pretty low year if you look at it that way we do have games to play lots of oh, them definitely. but mm-hmm. um when you talk about first party studios first party ip made only for the ps5 you got to look at ratchet and clank and they put that in the middle of the year for a reason now you sliding on the half of the, uh, the other half of the year don't talk about god of war the question now is can you deliver on horizon forbidden west Right. And I'm starting to think I, no. They might not, Me yeah. Too. But I'm just not even talking about just the first no, you know, maybe, maybe maybe they will because here's the thing, God of War, it didn't even get a full proper trailer. Horizon Zero Dawn actually did. So I'm not I am I'm, I'm not one hundred percent sure that it won't come. I'm out glad it got a trailer, but I wanted to see a gameplay demonstration. Again, we still have E three. And because Ratchet and Clank comes out in the month of E3. It's okay to get a game confirmation and release date in the middle of the year and see what they're going to do. They place okay, it in the rest it. of this year or they put it to next year. The only game I care about is Horizon because if you don't get Horizon this year, you don't have another first party PlayStation exclusive. And that doesn't look good. It doesn't look like you're making that progress that you were able to make last year. You still. 2019 was bad. 2018 was really good. 2017 was really good. I like 2016 uh, also, and I, I, me personally, I like 2015. We got, I believe, we got demons, Bloodborne, right? Yeah, we got Bloodborne 2015. So, 2015 to 2020 was good, except for 2019. 2019 was the lackluster year. We got Days Gone in 2019. We got Death Stranding. It wasn't the best. Hold on. Can I ask something? Yeah. Apart from Returnal, do you think we're gonna get any 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 more new IPs this um this generation? Because it, yes. it does seem as if we're gonna get a lot of like um sequels, let's say. Sequels and Okay, we got we got her, and and that's why I think they're doing it, True Witty. I think they're gonna knock out the sequels first. And then in the rest of the year we get a new IPs. Look at what happened when it came to last generation. We started getting new IPs later on throughout the generation. Yep, 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 yep. We got a successor yep. to Kill Zone, which was Shadowfall. We 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 got a new IP, which was Drive Club. We got a new IP, which was Bloodborne. I wish they didn't, I wish they didn't get rid of that game. Yeah, I I, w- I wish they didn't either. We got um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which was a new IP. We got Ghost yep. of Tsushima, which was a new IP. Knack, which was a new IP. We got a ton of new IPs last gen. I just think that That's this gen, they're going to like, hey, let's sweep some of this shit up. Give you this Ratchet and Clank. We're going to give you this new God of War so we can work on a new IP, uh, which 
by the way, we have to confirm that that is in the fucking topics. This one is really important because it just happened before I restart the topics. This is by yeah. Sony Santa Monica. Hot job, lead writer. We're looking for a master of storytelling to join our team on a new unannounced title as a lead writer. This was posted today. Oh, that's 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 nice. This was posted mm-hmm. today. Um, See, that's big. Yeah, we already know that we're gonna definitely get a new IP from Naughty Dog and Santa Monica. It's obvious. Like they've been too many smoking, you know, it's too much smoke out there regarding that. Okay, okay, so, okay. That was our two studios. Sure. What about um? What about Sucker Punch? Apart Sucker from Punch, going, I um... highly doubt it. If we do, it'd be at the very end of the generation, or, or early twenty. You know, the next PS6, if that happens. <laughs> If that happens, because <laughs> the way things are looking now, I, don't know. I, honestly, I honestly think they should expand um, Suck Punch Studio because I think Suck Punch has a lot of potential and a lot of talent in there. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I want to see what they can. I want to see what they can do when they actually have no limitations on them. Because mm. because um, Ghost of Tsushima was was to me was a was almost almost near almost near perfect game. Yeah, it was I, a, it was a, it was a, it was a better um, Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. It was a wonderful RPG. It was a great RPG mechanics. I just think they need to have their chains taken off mm-hmm. and Maybe. be unrestricted. Man, yo, speaking of um, Assassin's Creed, it made me think about another game. This game called Hood. I'm know y'all heard about it. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. What y'all think about yeah. that? I, I, I'm gonna tell you idea. right now. There are some thirty dollar games. Are we lo- are, are we looking at the screen? There are some thirty dollar games. Those are my accolades, by the way. I got all of them from Destruction All Stars, which means I'm yeah. a good gamer online. <laughs> Fifteen uh, accolades. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that very good at Destruction All Stars. I ain't. I ain't even going. I will. I will join it. you, and we will <laughs> shit on some stuff. Trust me. Wow, that, that, that's nice. That's nice. You help him shit on people, but I don't get nothing. I will not assist a light skinned Batman. These are the things I will not do. So, <laughs> there are games I don't want to spend my money on, but the stimulus check is coming in. So, there are some thirty dollars games oh, I want yeah. to get out the way. Hood is one of them. I want to get the hood out the way. I want to get knocked that out. That's a thirty dollar game. Uh, oh, okay. The Legend of Mana. That's thirty dollar. Want to knock that shit out? Oh, that's nice. That and looks nice. that's oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it right now. But yeah, the thing is, there's not. I've already got everything I want. There's not much except for the um. Few that's games why I need these motherfuckers to announce release dates. I don't give a fuck if it's next year. Just give me something <laughs> so I could put this money down, man. At least I don't gotta hey. worry about it later. You know that's the I, 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 that's how you pre-order. I don't. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think you know that you know that Final Fantasy remake the um integrate. I don't think that DLC is um is. I don't think that DLC is is um is purchasable. I can't yeah. find that DLC anywhere. Do you own the original? The yeah, yeah, yeah. I own the. I, I beat yeah, the original. That's why. That's saying. why it's not available to you. You already own yeah. it. You already have it. It's an update for us. If yep. you own Final Fantasy VII on a PS4, especially digital, you can't get this because you already own it. It's going to be a free update for us. I'm, not, I'm talking about the DLC. It's not available to be purchased. Because they're going to give it to us for free. We already own the original. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm showing you the same thing. I, I got the same problem. Yeah, it's only okay. available for the PS5 though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone's every, everyone's pissed about that. But I'm like, I'm I'm looking at them and I'm I'm saying simple. Do you want another side pump or do you want a finished product? Right. Like Man, they cool. simply they simply said that the um the DLC has been they've made it around the PS5 architecture. So the fact of the matter is if you don't want a side pump, what do you what what do you want? Like we don't want another side pump on this. Exactly. Square Enix like, is smart. Like we got our game, man. PS4 got their game. Now they need the time to move on. People are being stupid when it comes to that because we got to move on to the next gen, man. You can't keep having these developers not do that because that's just it's pointless. Exactly. You know I mean? Like let these niggas move on to the next console, man. I'm tired of y'all bitching and moaning. <laughs> God. <that's crazy. laughs> 
I'm like, I, no, don't get it twisted. I understand why they're upset. It's, it's still, it's, it's, they already got the game already. Yeah. I understand um, their problem, but yeah, bro, they it. said they made it for around the architecture of the PS5. So the fact of the matter is that DLC wouldn't be played, it wouldn't be available to be played on the last gen. Unless they, you want them to take time out of their, out of their, um, out of the game, the development. And, and this is what I want to say. If you have the architecture, it's easier for you to get a PS5 game and not have to worry about the PS4 version anymore. But that's based off of the PS4 architecture of the game itself. The PS5 is already going to boost whatever you're doing. You're not going to have to worry about frames dropping. You're not going to have to worry about, you know, the resolution being low because the frame rate's high. And I, I can see that happening with Ragnarok when we go back to it. So Ragnarok... The what the only way they can bring that shit out this year, let alone next year, is if it's more of a Miles Morales style game, uh, where it's not the sequel, I think it is. but it's is is something to tie us over until the sequel is ready, and yeah. it will take advantage of the PS5, uh, but it will also be on the PS4 because you yep. can't ignore the PS4. Look yep. at Horizon. Horizon sold a. Uh, 10 million on ps4 so they're not gonna cut them off same thing with god of war so 10 million on a ps4 they didn't cut them off spider-man 10 million on a ps4 did they cut them off no so i'm not upset at that me either not at all because what we up here no. what are other playstation fans talking about hey gotta make the revenue uh, gotta make the revenue well you want to make that revenue you can't cut off 100 million gamers like Xbox guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just serious. It's just like, hey, you can't cut off 100 million gamers. Other than that, you put it on PS5, you're going to have to put it on PC day and date. Because you're going to try to make up that loss. But they're not going to make up that loss because they're not 100 million dedicated gamers or even a fraction of that. You know, they're not they're not going to buy a game 10 million times. It doesn't fucking yeah, matter. Oh, people probably, that think, probably people probably that, think that God of War Ragnarok is not going to be on PS4, they got another thing coming. Because oh, it's definitely Ryan, gonna be on there. Yeah. Jim Ryan definitely pretty much gave us the answer without really giving us the answer when he said, when they asked him if it's gonna be on PS4 and PS5, he said he can't comment on that. But when he talked about Ratchet and Clank, he said that's definitely gonna be on PS5 because it's taking you know advantage of the hardware. So there you go, that's your answer. Mm -hmm. PS, it's gonna be on PS4, guys. Get just take out, you know, get ready. Which, which game are you talking about? Ragnarok. Rock or whatever. Oh yeah, Rock. yeah, it is. Yeah. Cause I it, it might not even end up being called React and Rock at all. But, you know, that's just the the placeholder name right now. Mm -hmm. I'm Which perfectly I'm okay with it, man. That name came from. Like, who started that shit? The Rack and Rock thing, anyways. <laughs> who? <laughs> I don't even know where Rack and Rock even came from. Oh, Everybody it came from it you know because Thor. uh Thor. Yeah, because you see Thor at the end yeah. of the God of War. And he okay. brings up, yeah, he's he's a part of the Ragnarok storyline in uh, Norse mythology. So that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and then because there were some things that some of the fans had found out about Ragnarok, and they looked into all these clues and shit, uh, or it was some writing on Thor's hammer and God of War at the very last scene, and they saw that it said Ragnarok, and that's who they are. They were like the fans were already calling it Ragnarok before Naughty Dog came out and gave us the official name. So it's like it it it, it was obvious. The only thing I didn't really like about God of War is that we were in this land after the war. It would have been a little bit interesting to see Kratos um, interact with more villagers. But because everything, you know, this is after the war of Ragnarok. That's what I'm hearing. Um, you know, there was nobody really talked to. <laughs> you were talking to Ghost, literally. Um, but I liked it. I loved it, bro. I still wouldn't change it, you know. But I, I'm so curious where he's going next. You know, obviously in a sequel, you go to a new area. That's why I think Ragnarok is not a true sequel. It's more of a middle uh, game. Uh, so I can't wait for the real God of War 2. That will be nice, you know. Yeah, that will, that, will be, that will be exclusive PS5. Yeah. Just like, just like the next Spider-Man. Uh-huh. 
But it takes game. It takes a long time to make these ambitious sequels. So people got to understand mm-hmm. they're in the works. It's just these are not the games you're seeing right now. Miles Morales is not Spider Man Two. God of War Ragnarok mm-hmm. is not God of War Two. It's just a game it's to hold us over until the development is done. It's the in between. It's the in between. Exactly. Yep. And then you know it's so crazy. It's so funny because now these developers and publishers got the perfect excuse to postpone their games. COVID. <laughs> so now we won't have a Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. oh, geez. <laughs> See, oh, I see a cyberpunk gave them so many excuses to delay their game. <laughs> and it's not even that I even hate cyberpunk, it's just wow. Man, the greatest game played this year is delayed. Delayed. <laughs> the greatest game, man. Sad I know, fact. bro. Like, you know, I'm I'm bent out of shape That's about the Harry Potter. I don't like the Harry bro. Potter got pushed back. I know Crimson bro, Desert real. is getting pushed back also. They when is, when has it been pushed back to? Next year. Completely. Yep. Harry Yo, Potter bro. got fucking delayed out of the year last month. Like, they had the whole year to bring it out, and they said, fuck yeah. no. We're going to put it back to next year. Yo, guys. Were they, were they for games, full year? Yeah, Third full party year. games I'm really looking forward to. But like you said, Harry Potter. Yo. Dying Light 2. Yo. Uh, what's the other one? What happened uh, with Dying Light? Lines. I think they gave an update this week. Ah. Uh, I might have missed that update. I'm not sure. Yeah, the developer has said something. Hold on, man. Let me go check out. All those games I mentioned is supposed to be coming out this year, though. That's the crazy part. Like, and I doubt we'll see any of them. Like, uh, Bloodlines, Masquerade 2. Like, that's been delayed. Um, like, what the hell happened to Beyond? What's that game called? Oh, like, they're going to give us an update this week on the 17th about the development of Dying Light 2. Again, uh, this is what I wanted. Uh, this is what I was telling people this week that just passed with the Bethesda stuff. Allow Microsoft to brag about it. Allow them to talk about it. You know, mm-hmm. you might w- not want to expect PlayStation to really talk at all this month. Uh, they take an L. Uh, yeah, they take an L Good. because they should have had their own announcement of studios and they had two months to do that before the finalization of the the acquisition of Bethesda and they still decided not to confirm the studios they acquired or they currently are attempting to acquire. So the only way to make up this L on, on Jim Ryan's side is to come out after this month you know, with a good Returnal, make sure Returnal doesn't have a lot of bugs and glitches. Make sure all that fast action is still fast at a lock 60 frames per second or the best you can do. And then also you give an update on what you're doing with the studios. You can make April a good month. It's not much you have to fucking do. Make sure Returnal is good and give us an update on the studios you're trying to acquire. That's it. Yeah, so, you, PlayStation you, you, Plus you, is going to be good, and the free games with the Play at Home initiative is going to be good. Y- you're good. That's it. That's wait, it. Do we, do we have a li- do we have a list of the Play at Home initiative games? No, they giving uh, them out no. case by case. So we're getting to the end of this month, so we might learn about that next game this week. You know. We could. Yo, I hope it's something I haven't bought yet. Me That's too, true. man. Man, <laughs> like God, it's and it's so a lot of games that I have. So I don't know. Like PlayStation Plus, is the same way. It's like I own so yeah, many I, games. It's not really beneficial I, to me I, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm um, Ratchet and Clank already had so that pair of hand mission it didn't even matter to me. Like, oh shit, I forgot, bro. Don't we get um, we get Odd World in April, and we get Returnal. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, Oddworld, yeah. Yeah, that's a free PlayStation Plus title. Okay, not bad. At least we know what we hey, get. Question, question, is the Play at Home initiative only going to be uh, first-party exclusives? I don't know. Uh, I don't I'm know. Sure. I mean, last last year was like that. We got the Nathan Drake collection, I uh, think. Um, and it, So it was yeah. a first-party game, and Dang. then Ratchet and & Clank is a first-party game. So I, I could say that, yeah, it'll probably be first-party so titles. So far? Yeah. So far? So far, it's been first party. So yeah. So um, maybe maybe they'll put maybe they'll put some um maybe they'll put two, second and um second and first part. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think they're gonna keep second party to PlayStation Plus like they did with Final Fantasy VII just now. So I, I think they're gonna do more to, like games that's more than five, four or five years old. 
Yeah. I think that's what they're probably doing. So, everybody's golf. You could give that away for PlayStation Plus. Knack 1 and 2, you need to find a way to give that game away. Because a lot of people say it's bad, but they didn't get to play it. And if you get to play it for free, there's no way you can keep saying it's bad. Because you have hands-on with that. I, uh, I can guarantee you the next game... Late. The next game's gonna be probably Infamous Second Son. That's what I'm guessing. That's my prediction. But it's so old. Oh, they should have exactly. already given it away for free on Plus. Well, they have wait. They have not given it away on Plus. I don't no, think so. No, I think I'm they gave away the First Light. Oh, you I'm talking, talking about, about a Play at Home initiative. initiative? If they yeah. give away First Light, they have to give away another game. I know they said one game a month, but that game's so old. Even though it's such a great game, you got to give another one away. And they can't just get they can't just give away the DLC. They gotta give away the um the main games first. Like that doesn't yeah. make no sense. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Let me see. So, I wish I had a, like a library of my exclusives right here. I have to keep scrolling down. Um, they found a way to give away Uncharted Four. That was a PlayStation Plus collection. I think it was on PlayStation Plus before. Yeah. But that but that was something um good though because PlayStation um the Uncharted collection contains three games. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so they got three through. games last year. People got three games last year. They did a good job with that. I had a blast with that collection, man. I, I love the collection. I they need the. You year. know what? Since they talk about ah, it's already out of circulation. They making their money on PC. They, even though they did not do it, they need to add Horizon to the PlayStation Plus collection. You up there talking about you got made all the money you can make. Well, if you made all the money you can make, you can add that motherfucker to the PlayStation Plus collection. I already know why well, they're not. Uh, well, Horizon Zero Dawn? Yep. You want to know why they're not? It's, a, it's, a, it's already on the PlayStation Plus collection, isn't no, it? No, it's not. No, it's on PlayStation yeah. now. Nope. It's not. Wait, isn't it? Horizon Zero Dawn is not on the PlayStation Plus collection. No, it's not. It's on PlayStation now, but not, not oh, on PlayStation clear, yeah. Plus. Do you, see what, do you see what happened, Truity? You, it, it's supposed to be there. God of War is there. Bloodborne's there. Horizon's not. This is the surprise. Let me tell you guys what the fuck's huh. going on with it. It's gonna be remastered. Yep, there it is. Ding ding ding. I was about to say that because they're getting ready to get that game ready for the next one. It's gonna probably do like a oh wow type of thing remastered. And I guarantee you, the remastered <laughs> yep. is gonna be more optimized than the PC port ever was. Yeah. Yep. Oh, see, I don't, I don't, I didn't get anything from the PlayStation Plus collection because I already have all of these games, so I didn't know. Well, no, no, you I don't already... have to know. You can go and view it anytime you want just to see the list. It's twenty games, but yeah. Horizon is not there. It's an empty spot. Horizon could have been there. They could have been talking about twenty one yeah. games, but they didn't do that. Like, yo, guys, I'll bet my black card that that's what they're doing when it comes to Horizon. Said, bet they my are... black card. God damn it. <laughs> they are, they are... It's, fun to see, it's fun to see Fallout there. <laughs> yeah, Fallout 4, a game I don't really care about. They put that shit on there. It's funny, though, because I think they really were going to go... Look, oh, that's another topic, right? Did we talk? We didn't talk about it. PlayStation was going to contract Starfield as an exclusive. Or I know. A, yeah, but they don't know. And it seems like Bethesda and PlayStation was in bed. And Microsoft yeah, caught wind of that. Microsoft caught wind of that. And they was like, bro, we're not going to be able to beat them when it comes to it's trying to get exclusive content. But if we go behind their back and buy their parent, well, they can't do shit. People need Bethesda to understand never... they did not buy Bethesda. They brought Zenimax. But that, I know. Oh. Yeah, and, and that's this is what like a fans on PlayStation and Xbox don't understand. Microsoft have found out about the going ons at PlayStation when it comes to timed exclusives from coming from Bethesda. They knew Bethesda didn't fuck with them because their games don't sell over there. So they Bethesda was not gonna be acquired by Xbox because it's not up to Bethesda to be acquired by Xbox. And Xbox don't really got no say in such a big fucking purchase. And, so then they go to Big and, Daddy Microsoft, and Microsoft buys their parent studio, uh, their parent um, company, which is Zenimax. And that's how the deal went down. They saw what was going on. It was like, we're going to lose if PlayStation keeps making these timed exclusives from Bethesda. We already got two we got Deathloop and we got Ghostwire Tokyo. We were going to have Starfield. We would have had three time what? exclusives from Bethesda, bro. That would have really killed Xbox. And that's why they that's why they purchased them that's for such a high price because yep. they, they weren't going to sell to um, Microsoft. 
I'm not <laughs> telling you guys not to buy Deathloop or Ghostwire Tokyo. Just know. I mean, that... I might, I might be, I might be interested in Deathloop and Ghostwire. I yeah. think, I think, I'm, I'm. The thing is with, um, that Ghostwire. What's Deathloop? I'm, I'm still on a little bit unsure about that game. I'm, I'm not, but. I'm, Ghostwire, I'm gonna wait one. until they drop in price. That's just me. I'm not telling anybody else to do that. That don't do that. Okay, I'm doing it. You do, you guys don't have to do that. I'm just no. I'm not not comfortable. No, but I, no, but I was talking to my all about myself. Oh, I, mean, I, know. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm a I'm a little unsure about um, Deathloop, but I want Ghostwire Tokyo. That game looks fun. Shit, this is weird. So yeah. Wolfenstein New Colossus. That's a, such a you know, Wolfenstein is a crazy game. Still looking through all these games they claim that are in my library. Like the Mean Greens, uh, the little Army Man game. This is dope. I got way too many fucking games. Well, how many I got? Five hundred and eighty eight games? Damn, I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, I think they gave this away for PlayStation Plus as well, right? Let me see if they give a sim symbol for this one. Well, I brought it, but I thought I think they had given that away for PlayStation Plus at a certain time to wipe out collection. That wouldn't be a bad game if they could give that away for the Play at Home initiative. Um, I'm trying to think what else could they give away they got a lot of games but a lot of them are on plus or were on plus yeah infamous second son i mean i mean just give it away for the fuck of it you're giving away free games anyway just uh give that shit away um i think we got the nathan drake collection and lost legacy for stay at home to play at home i think last year Shit, man, we got three games they gonna give out like one each month. I have no clue. Mac. Yeah, I think it was meant to be a three month thing. This um, this collection, mm -hmm. stay at home thing. I just don't know what the other two would be. Got no fucking clue. It could be anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't want them to be, be bad games could... though. <laughs> like I want them to be no, good games. Oh, no, no, uh, So um, someone's gonna give good games just. It's just random right now. Yeah. Like Ratchet and Clank is just like, well, actually, and no, Ratchet That was strategic. Because, yeah, that was strategic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank makes sense. They might actually, they, hmm, they, might give, they might give a um, Horizon, actually, if they, if they actually truly believe that Horizon Zero Dawn is coming out this year. I mean, not Zero Dawn, Forbidden West. They might give away um, Horizon. That would be... I'm going to tell you right now. That's a bad idea. You want to know why? When you give that game away and you're trying to sell a PS5 and you refuse to update people on giving it a patch, the questions will continue to arise. Hey, you gave us this game. Why haven't you patched it for the PS5? So that game would present more questions than satisfy you. Um, I think That they, is true, but then again, Ratchet and Clank has not been um, upgraded. Has yeah, it? It hasn't, but, and it should, but it didn't sell as much as Horizon, you know? I thought Ratchet and Clank sold well. I'm, it I'm did, it but again. it didn't sell 10 million copies. Like, mm. yeah. It sold good, but I, I don't know the number, but it didn't sell like 10 million copies. <laughs> and it's well known, too. And I'm hoping Ratchet and Clank can mm. start climbing that ladder in the the game copies it sold. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want that game to drop off because yeah. I actually love Ratchet and Clank. I do too, man. But you notice that they always have a side piece to Ratchet, and it's always a new IP. So Ratchet oh. last, the generation before last, you know, you had, uh, what was it, Resistance. That was a side piece to Ratchet, but mm -hmm. they ended up making more Ratchet and Clank games than Resistance games. But they, but they, got, they got a side piece to um, Ratchet this gen. No, no, it's called Spider-Man. Spider-Man, so. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I I think what would be really nice if you wanted to like smack Microsoft 
it could be a play at home initiative or it could end up being a playstation plus title like just the, the good publicity is announced that sunset overdrive is coming to playstation and announced that it's coming to playstation this year and it will be 4k 60 you you really want to make people look in your direction before you announce acquisitions of studios do that <laughs> do that i actually, I actually like that game I actually that's the one whole reason i bought an xbox one and i just after that i just tried tried all the other games but that's the only reason i bought an xbox one because i love insomnia games so i that's bought it. i bought an xbox one how so cheap can, can you get an xbox that. one because i might actually get one with the stimulus check it won't be me it's... buying it it'll be fucking government buying it <laughs> <laughs> um and X, I, I, I bought a xbox one s it's can I get one for five dollars? Hell no. <laughs> okay, I try to find one for a dollar. Then hold on, let me see Bro. what I got. Xbox One. You got Game Pass for that? <laughs> yeah, hey, I, not, I already know about Gamecast. <laughs> but yeah, so, guys, I I think that they're going to um like you said, Jay. I think they're going to do that remaster on Horizon, and mm-hmm. I'm predicting it, I'm predicting it coming out about a month or two before the actual. You know, part two comes out. Or be bundled. Or be bundled. Yeah, they might do that too. Oh, that ooh, yeah, because they did, they did do that for Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Because Horizon's a special game, and they can't not upgrade that game. You know what I'm saying? But this the, have, this the thing, add... bro. They haven't even gave an update if they even considering up. Like, they, 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 I'm t- I, I was talking about this yesterday with Somatic and everybody else that was here. Yeah, they, bro, yeah, they, they should, don't they even run. talk about the game on PS4 at all. It's like it don't exist. They are only posting on Twitter fan art and PC patches. That's it. It's it's literally a slap in the face to your original fans, bro. It really, that's what pissed me off the most. It's yeah. not the fact that other games are going over. It's the fact that you're trying to ignore the fact that you had original fans. And it's like, hey, bro, it's, it's, y'all don't fucking exist fact, no more. It's the fact that they don't uh, acknowledge the the number of PlayStation fans that actually supported you and actually brought you back from almost losing the PlayStation brand. There you go. The PS3. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, Shadowfall did not do good, bro. It could have been a different situation if we did not support but, Horizon. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yep, yep. All all their exclusives this um, last gen was um, was supported. Even even it may not have been supported well in some games, but the fact of the matter is it was it was supported and all of them did well. The fact of the matter is Sony needs to acknowledge that and actually realize that we brought them back before um from um from the PS3, mm-hmm. not to the point where they are not successful. And you know we only if they, 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 they would be they would be a PS5. Think about that. They need to think about that. Yeah, I mean, I know sometimes we see a lot of things that Sony is doing looks like kind of crazy to us because we're on the outside looking in. But actually, I feel like Sony, their silence is really something. They're getting more like Nintendo when it comes to that too because Nintendo is just like that. And then they just drop a banger on you. You're like, oh shit. But when they're not putting out bullshit. But <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I know kinda, that I know it's fail. possible. For them to do that, I really do. I know it's possible yeah. to, for them to keep their mouth shut and come out with some bangers. I, I don't, I'm not saying they don't do that and they can't do that. I know they will, but everybody else has told the consumers, hey, we have plans for upgrading your, your game. Horizon went to PC before the PS5 came out. There's no reason why you have not talked about the PS4 version or of updating sorry the ps5 version of updating the the base model of horizon like it's a lot of time that's went by bro yeah and it's not like they completely it's not like they don't care about us having that game the ps4 people that or anyone because for one part two is going to be on ps4 and ps5 so of course they got to do something about that game man it just because it would nothing else would make sense if they don't remaster it and add all the bells and whistles of next gen. Ray tracing and all, man, that would be nice. <laughs> on Horizon Zero Dawn, oh yes, because it's all it's all machines. Yep, <laughs> it's all machines. So it'll be, it'll be dope. All, um, all of that, all of that, um, shine off the metal. That's yep. that's nice. 
did you guys watch that um Horizon history Horizon uh Zero Dawn documentary, the history of it? Wait up, I didn't know they had a documentary. God Wait, damn it. What? It's on YouTube. I watched it like a couple months ago, man. Fuck. Wait, what? I gotta watch that. Yeah. Hold what on. is it called? Let me let me see real quick. Let me go there. I didn't know they had that. I didn't know they had something like that. Yep. Give me a second. Looking for it. I'm still up here watching the trailer. Fucking shower with my dad. I don't know why this shit's still on my fucking laptop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? These guys are weird. But yeah, bro, I'm looking at that those NVIDIA um, um, options and. All I'm gonna say, bro, that's still pretty expensive. They only have two options at seven ninety nine, and then everything else goes to uh, sorry six ninety nine. Then everything else goes to seven ninety nine. Two options for seven ninety nine, and then everything else is just going to eight, and then above. You know, even at the six ninety nine price, it's it's a it's a graphics card, bro. It's not a complete system like the PS five. Like, you can't compare a graphics card to a fucking complete system. Because you have to build around that graphics card, and that shit's going to be expensive. Exactly. Listen, did you, um, Stick had, um, did a, a video. It wasn't even a video. It was play, he was playing, um, what was the freaking name of the game? It was that demo, Outriders, right? He expressed that his, um, his PC is way, way more expensive than any of um anything I'm w- willing to even push out for a PC, right? And it the um his PC was not performing to how well the PS4 um PS5 was performing on our riders. So it's not it's not that this these PC systems are any any better than um consoles. It's just that you gotta spend a hell of a lot more than three thousand or even four thousand dollars to get it to that. To that exactly. level of quality. And that's what... See, look, I'm not saying and, I wanted to do that with the laptop. I just wanted to have a capable laptop to do good live stream quality that I wouldn't be upset and, and other people wouldn't be upset as well. Well, this is the thing. I still can't live stream in 60 frames. It's not my internet connection. It's the laptop. The laptop is passing through the gameplay from my PS5 onto the screen. And it can't pass it back through YouTube in 60 frames. Wait, so only, so only post about Ratchet and Clank? What happened? So only tweet about Ratchet and Clank two hours ago. What was this about? Oh, fuck. Jay, I posted it in the chat room on the Discord, so. Why are they talking about this again? Uh... No, no, they didn't, man. They, they're just talking about the freaking free game. Okay. Oh, they're talking about a free game. Yeah, because they're about to, yeah. they're probably about to announce a new uh, another game this week. Yeah, they're probably gonna announce another game this week. I don't. I'm I'm not getting a feeling that this is gonna be an eventful week. I do feel that PlayStation understands that it is a bad look that Microsoft was able to acquire Bethesda, and it can potentially hurt their prospect to attract casual gamers to your system because casual gamers. They play games that are multiplat, but when those multiplat games that they known all their life become exclusives, it will make them stay somewhere else and prevent them from coming over here. You can combat that with great quality exclusives and partnerships with second and third party. But I feel like this year is is similar to last year. You allow Microsoft to kind of go first and they blow their load. Even though it is not much, yeah. Even though it's not much, it looks like a lot, and people start to wonder, like, what's going on with PlayStation? Why y'all quiet? Why are you not fighting back? Why are you not snapping back? And I do seen them think, doing that same shit this year, bro. Do you think? Do you think Sony can actually do Western RPGs though? Just um, like I like how Fallout is and um, Elder Scrolls. Look at fucking um, Ghost of Tsushima. No. Look oh, no, at I'm fucking Horizon. Like these are games that are are, are have RPG elements made in the West. I believe a lot of their studios are capable of doing Western RPGs. Yeah, 
Better than yeah. Bethesda. But will, but will Sony do it though? That's the that's the um, question. Because well, I mean, all they, I can say is they did something with Horizon. And they did something with Ghost, and they 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 have massive RPG elements. Not as like the yep. same as a uh, uh, Elder Scrolls game, but look at the polish. Look at the quality that you're getting with oh, PlayStation. Yeah, the, quality is, yeah. the quality is way better. I'm just saying that the fact that the matter is they are lo- they, they are possibly losing. Like even Jim Ryan was asking Phil, like, oh, is Elder Scrolls Six gonna be um gonna come to PlayStation? Because he was technically concerned. Like you gotta you gotta realize, even though you may not like the um the Elder Scrolls or Fallout, you got to acknowledge that there are people on PlayStation that actually like those IPs, and they are huge IPs. They're probably Bethesda's biggest IP. They have um, in fact. Microsoft having those exclusive is probably one of the biggest things they've ever done in, in their entire career of being of Xbox. My, um, Bethesda, Bethesda, them, them acquiring, not acquiring, acquiring Zenimax and owning Fallout and um and um uh, and Elder Scrolls, even though they are all always buggy to the point where I can't even get a platinum in Fallout anymore. Like, like um. People enjoy enjoy that game, and the fact is, my, what I'm saying is, will Sony even consider making any form of games like that? Because the fact is, they're no longer coming to PlayStation, and PlayStation needs to be aware of this. Because the fact is, here's the thing: if Max, Microsoft also said that they're not done acquiring um, publishers, if they decide they're gonna go after not not say Square, I ain't gonna say Square because the fact is, Square is as strong as it's Sony. What if they went after, let's say, Sega, right? Let's say they go after Sega. Sega's cheap right now. What if they went after Sega and, and bought Sega? Sega, Sega on um, Yakuza, all those games will be tied let me, to um, let me put it. Again. Let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. I just want every all PlayStation fans and gamers, yourself included, to think of it this way. Uh, as a long-time PlayStation fan and gamer, I don't want PlayStation to go back and forth throwing money with Microsoft. Microsoft will win. Microsoft has the money, more money than Sony, right? Yeah, We're talking about that. Xbox versus PlayStation. But Xbox is not playing fair because they're really not fighting a the fight. They no, dress they're, they're dressing up their parent aka Microsoft as themselves and having a grown ass parent fight the kid which is PlayStation. It's unfair. <laughs> You see what I'm like saying? It's else. very unfair. But yeah. um, I don't want yeah, PlayStation not- to buy Sega because Sega made their decision. They want to put games on Xbox. They want to be desperate. Let them do that shit. Don't buy Sega. Sega think they can make fucking oh, no. their bank I- back by putting games on PC and Xbox. Let them fucking die out the way they want to die out. Microsoft Here's acquires the them. You still have to acquire all that debt and all them fucking problems. PlayStation fans buy the b- majority of Yakuza games and Persona games. Those games will never sell on Xbox. So it's all they're dead even, investment. They're not, even, they're not even trending in Game Pass right now. That's the pro- that's Exactly. The it's a dead investment. Never- would I have PlayStation buy Sega? No, because you, you Sega still made the decision to put games on Xbox. That means if you buy Sega, you, you're just buying another third-party studio that might have obligations to keep putting games on Xbox. You know, I mean, this is the thing. If I got Bethesda, I would take all my games off of PlayStation, not future games, current games. Exactly. I would would too. So I need to understand why they haven't done it yet, why they didn't announce it yet. Because because Microsoft, listen, Microsoft is a different breed. They don't care. Listen, this is the same. I don't think you watched it. Right? Bottom, bro. What group, yeah, your mic, your mic is, yeah, the mic is messing up, bro. Is it all right now? Well, I mean, yeah, just keep talking. We'll, we'll let you know. What they said when um when on the round on the round table is that the only reason they made that acquisition is for Game Pass. Yeah, look, I understand that. But then they made these statements that future games will be exclusive. If you want to go down an exclusive route, just make take your current games off. You can start selling more of your systems right now. But again, I keep saying nothing matters right now. Your systems are just selling because they're they're new. They're not selling because any exclusives are attached to them. 
uh, you might want to think about taking your games off of PlayStation next year or the year before, uh, the year after, when your system ain't selling so hot, you know. Um, look, with PlayStation, I want them to buy, a, a, um, um, you know, I want them to buy studios that they can grow with. I want them to buy studios that don't currently have an interest in Xbox. Um, Square Enix would be the choice, but... Square Enix, I probably. Square Enix. Huh? I would love them to buy. Yeah, me too. Ooh, but ooh. it probably costs a lot. So I would say make a very, you know, strong bond, a, a strong um, partnership with them, you know. And I think they already have. I think they've shown us that they already have that. They've had a long, long history with Square make, Enix. Make a big investment in Square Enix before anything else. So you actually have a massive stake. They already did it. They already did it. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they did it, but they sold the stocks back. Like, yeah, that was but a, over, that was a over the last seven years, they, they've shown that they have a big investment in Square. You know, we got Final Fantasy 16. We were able to lock down 14. Yes, we understand that. Xbox didn't want to play fair, and that's one of the reasons why 14, the MMO, didn't go to Xbox. But, hey, if you look at it this way, I mean, hey. they, they made sure you updated the PS5 version. The beta is coming out next month. I mean, oh, they're doing out? good. They're doing good. Project Athena is also going to be, a, you know. And that's two years exclusive. Yeah. Two years exclusive. So that's big. You can see that they invested enough to keep these games exclusive because no developer is making a game exclusive just for the, for the sake of it. You have to get paid by PlayStation and Sony to do that. So I, I think that's an investment in itself. Uh, we we don't know the extent of this uh, investment or this newfound partnership with Square. But, I'll yes, I, 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 will, I won't lie. It looks like Microsoft is buying up everybody. But what can Sony do? Like, Sony's not going to go no, fight Sony, Microsoft Sony, studio for studio. Like, Sony can't Sony can fight them, but Sony can at least per, um, purchase news that makes sense. Like, Sony can um, continue to do what they've been doing for the past 20-something years. Yeah, they, they I, I don't, I, again, I know how okay. PlayStation okay. fans see it, and I agree. Yeah, fight Microsoft, buy, buy studios. Hey, I don't want them to have us. But it's not, it's not going to go that way, bro. I'm telling you, like, Look how calm I, I, Sony is. Look at them not talking. Like, if I was PlayStation, I'd be fucking saying, hey, I got this, I got this. Bro, they allowed Microsoft to dominate a week. You could have fucking easily... <laughs> that, per- actually, actually, that is actually scary to think about because every single time, every single time last gen, when Microsoft wants to go, Sony came and actually, uh, man actually put a stop to it every single time. Exactly. So I took the since, so since, since last now? year, since last year, that Sony's been this way. Like right before the PS5 came out, they just they allow Microsoft to blow their load, talk about and this, put, talk about that, and then they wait and, and wait. They the spotlight. And then they they do steal the spotlight, but it only gets to happen so often before. People were like, okay, well, no, nah, I'm not doing this shit again. So PlayStation could do this one more fucking time where they allow Xbox to just dominate the first half of the year and they better make sure they have something that can change the focus in their direction, you know? I don't want them to allow this week to be lackluster, but that's like, just me uh, as a fan. Like, I, I want them to say something. I don't care what it is. <laughs> Give us an See, update thing, on a game or something. Like, just don't keep being quiet, bro. See, the thing the thing is, right, Sony has IPs, just like Microsoft has IPs, and not a one of them are deciding to go back to the catalog. Like, I, I know you keep saying that Sony's scared of PS3, but PS3 is one of the, one of, it may not be one of their successful console, but it's one of their successful gaming generations. Like they got so much IP from that generation alone. New IPs are on top of that. They need to in the, the IP that they left behind, they need to go back to some of those IPs. You wanna know why because, they won't? True Witty? Just, I know, just, I just know, gamer, I know just gamer won't. to gamer, J Tech versus True Witty. I spent time in that generation more than most of the PlayStation fans that I met during the PS4. And there's a lot of motherfuckers. Just like I'm talking about right now, they did not buy games. 
They were great. People are looking back on these games and saying, hey, I wish we had this. Why won't they go back? And some of those people are the same people that did not go out and buy these games. That's what I'm saying. They're looking at you speaking with your wallet. And there was definitely not enough PlayStation fans speaking with their wallet during a PS3 generation to bring back even 80% of the shit. Killzone barely came back. Ratchet and Clank barely came back. Why am I saying that? You had six or seven Ratchet and Clank games on a PS3, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. had one on a PS4. Killzone, you had three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had three, including a remaster of one on a PS3. You had one I'm, on a I'm, PS4. I'm, I'm, and you had one. And you had one on the. VR. Look at look no, at I'm Uncharted, bro. Look at Uncharted. You had three Uncharted. You only had one and a half uh, on a PS4 generation. It's not mm -hmm. only because gaming is expensive. They didn't know if you guys, people were going to buy it because these games didn't sell good. But they put their heart and soul into these games and people just did not buy them. So, I agree with you, True Witty. I want these games to come back, but there are a lot of gamers that were playing nothing but multiplots on a PS3, and they don't even know what these games are. The only reason why they know about these games is because classic veteran PlayStation gamers keep talking about them. But them, they don't know them. And if they bring them out right now, there's no real guarantee that they're going to go out and buy it. And that is a chance PlayStation's not willing to take again. That's why they're scared. Because we fucked up the first time. How do we know if these gamers are going to support it the second time? I'll be acting just like them, bro. Do 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 polls on um on on the PlayStation Store. I'm not PlayStation Store, sorry. On the PlayStation community. Let me tell you something right now. I did polls. Literally, we saw polls, right? We saw PC port begging for games. Well, when Yakuza went to PC, did it chart? No. No. Nope. When Crash Bandicoot went to PC, did it chart? No. Nope. Listen, when listen, the East went are, over there, are, no, there are tons of games that went over to PC that didn't chart, but they all act like PC. they wanted. No, but hear me out. They all act like they wanted the game. That's a type of poll. They're looking at that response and they 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 reacted to that response and they gave the game to that community, believing that the response they was getting, the port begging that they were seeing was going to be enough to support the game. And they found out the hard way just because people say they want a game don't mean they go buy the game. So, you can do polls all you want, but it's not going to translate into sales. If somebody, you know, like, they people change their mind all the fucking time, bro. I'm so, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. People change, change their mind all the fucking time. So, what? I don't know how they're going to find out. And because I'm saying all of this, obviously, there's no way for them to find out. That's why they haven't brought some, some of these games back. There have been tons of gamers saying they didn't want Resistance back. They've been talking to uh, Insomniac. Every... Insomniac and Insomniac's been tweeting it. Yes, they have. They don't, they, don't stop, they don't stop tweeting the game. They haven't. And the same with Sunset. But we haven't gotten nope. any update. I'm hoping by June of this year, Sony can feel like they trust us enough to tell us what the fuck is going on. I hope so. Because... because this scattered burst of news ain't cute anymore because we have the system that you were bragging about last year. At this point in time, you can just tell us what's going on. You know? Either we accept it or we fucking leave. But you can't keep being afraid. You got balls enough to put games on PC and tell us what we care about and what we don't care about, but you're not going to tell us what's going on with the games we're waiting for like bro nobody's getting rid of their ps5 because they delay god of war or horizon you still should be able to give us some fucking content between now and the end of the year and we'll survive you know we'll survive we're gamers um but i i again i don't i don't know why playstation won't bring back some of these games socom resistance warhawk these are great games you don't have to like bring out new iterations or evolve them like just remaster them motherfuckers and bring them out oh, but they won't that, even do that, that. It, as i said new point can do that stuff I Blue know can, uh, what can happen true Woody and I know Blue point can do it but why won't Sony allow it to happen they're scared the games didn't do good on a ps3 and they are afraid that gamers won't accept them on a ps4 or ps5 they're scared. Sony is scared to bring out a game that did not financially 
meet their expectations. They're scared. It's okay. Then why, then why not put it on, play, on PlayStation now? See, people even have any interest in it. They have some that of them a, on PlayStation now. Yeah, but not all. They should. They should. They should. They should. They should see the um the, the numbers from that. If that's the case. That's look, right. This is what I was talking about with Vegger. Vegger talk about people on the payroll that can do this and do that. Well, those motherfuckers on the payroll have them motherfuckers remaster PS3 titles, but no, they not. They are putting game. They put PS4 games on PC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not going forward in that way, right? Like you're putting games uh -huh. that were already successful on another platform. You're not trying to give another franchise a second chance. I'd rather see older games come back than old games go to PC. Because as a PlayStation gamer, a game going to PC does not immediately, um, you know, I don't see any, I don't see any benefit. That's what I'm trying no, to say. No, there is no benefit. There's no benefit to you me as a console gamer to a game going to PC next month. Like, that. What what do I get out of it? I don't get a, a a new game immediately. I would have to wait for them to get the revenue. And as we know, PC fans are very stubborn. They could start getting the bulk of their revenue back within the next year. Definitely and get it back the first month. And then it starts trickling down from there. 700,000 in a month is low. It, it's not going to it's not going to meet any type of burst, by the way. Horizon was not going to meet any burst after that one month. It's just dead after that. So, hey, the game's dead. Do you put it on the next platform, which is cell phones? <laughs> like, the logic behind oh. some people. The game is old. It's dead. It's not making any money. Like, wh what do you do now with Horizon? It's, it's dead on two platforms, officially. It's dead on PC. <laughs> and it's dead on PS4. So, how now how do you make your money back? You know? I don't know. I, I agree with you, True Witty. I'm there with you all the way. There is a list of games on PS3. They could bring back. They could have brought back on a PS4. They could have got a huge fucking community what? to fall okay. in love with these games. But for some reason, Sony, not me, Sony is afraid of bringing back these games that did not meet their financial expectations. They're looking at these games. They didn't sell well. They didn't chart well. Gamer said this. Gamer said that. Motherfucker. Me, I would bring back uh, God of War Ascensions. That multiplayer was fire. Like, you got all I these studios. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't actually get into the multiplayer. I, I well, got into multiplayer. I didn't get into single player. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I think the single player was not the God of War that I wanted. But as far as something new, the multiplayer and the crew that I was hanging around with, that multiplayer was fire, bro. I would, hey, I would, I would bring maybe that back. They could bring them you know, maybe it, they can bring, them, bring back a multiplayer. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. Book. It's like, you know, PlayStation fans on the PS4 side, last gen, they, they bitching about multiplayer games. But then Sony gave you multiplayer games for the whole generation mm -hmm. of the PS3, but motherfuckers ignored it. It's like, they try to listen to motherfuckers, but then when you listen to motherfuckers, they, it's like, they don't want it. It's like, hey, we don't want to pay $70 for Destruction All-Stars. They give it to you for free on PlayStation Plus. You still bitch about it being seventy dollars. Then they drop it down to twenty dollars. Then you quiet, and you quiet because you know you're not even gonna pay seventy dollars because you didn't even play the game for free. They're, They're trying to listen to They're these not... people, True Witty, and it's not benefiting them, bro. It's like they don't know how to fucking communicate with us, and it's not us. It's the consume. It's the the mass market of casual consumers that. Nobody really knows how to please because their their minds can't be made up. Do you think Jim Ron just doesn't have the um, doesn't have the capability to communicate with the um, with, with the with the community, or is it just that PlayStation General is just afraid to actually um uh, try and inspire? Super chat by my boy Frost uh, Frostbite slash. You said Jay open up the Discord chat so Adam can join. Okay, Adam. We had a group of racist people that joined uh, the Discord and tried to invade the voice chat, so we had to lock everything down. It's not against any PlayStation fan or anything. It's just we had to secure our shit. So let me go open it back up. Um, everybody, do their part. Make sure you can. You know, you can keep your, uh, let me keep, keep, uh, keep current per permission, private channel. How do I change my, I changed my headset. Is it coming in clear now? Yeah, yeah, it's coming in, it's coming in clear. Uh, manage channel, allow members. 
to view this channel by default, blah, 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 blah. manage channels, allow me to change this channel name, nope. Mm -hmm. Allow members to change the channel's permission. No. Create an invite. Nope. Connect. Allow members to join this voice channel and hear out of the channel. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Allow members to talk on this channel. Great. 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 Yep, members. Definitely allow members. Mm -hmm. One sec, I'm just going to change a couple more rules when it comes to the voice chats. Kind of protect us from the future bullshit. Disconnect. Nope. Not definite. Nope. Great, manage permission, view, okay. Man, I wish this, uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this little sandbox on Judgment was bigger that you're in, in Japan. Judgment, Judgment. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. I mean, my problem with Yakuza games is... But it's I, a fun game, though. I know if they took advantage of the PlayStation 4 and 5, they could make the game they really want. But maybe they're just limited, or they, they, they're just they don't think they can, or they don't want to go bigger. But I, I always thought that they could do a lot more, and I'm, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick up next. I think Judgment, I might end up actually picking that up. I might just say I might bite the bullet and just pick that up for the PS5 because I really like that game. I really, really did like that game, and I just have to play it all over again then. But, yeah. Um, when when is Judgment coming back for the PS5? This summer or something like that. Some. Either. I didn't this, finish. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. I didn't either. And what I hate about it is I can't transfer my save, even though I purchased the PS4 version. I mean, this is the shit I hate about some developers. Like you yeah. go out and support the fucking original, and they don't fucking, they don't give you any yeah, perks but, for that shit. Yeah, but even if they even if they trans even if they transfer like the saves, your all your trophies Adam, don't transfer. You're in like, here, right? I, okay. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here now. Yeah, I was wondering what the fuck was going on. So like, the <laughs> before you joined, we had a racist guy, and he put some racist voice tone on, and then four other PC racist idiots uh, tried to join the Discord. So I had to lock a lot of shit down. Um, yeah, it's kind yeah, of fucked up. Just really. Really, so tired of those guys. It's, it's pathetic how far they'll go just to troll on somebody. Like, it's... yeah. <laughs> is this why? Is this why? Is this, is this where? I, I mean, I I saw Somatic and Sa Sam like troll. I don't. They were trolling Jamal Bates, or if he let someone in and they just didn't like it. I have no clue. But like, like, no, no. Oh. I don't know. Nobody can was. let nobody in. So that that right there is a false statement. No one can let anyone in. Our 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 link is out there. Anybody can join, but they just don't have the ability to get permissions. Jamar himself doesn't have any permissions to give anybody permissions. Yeah, so anybody can join. What's up, Adam? Um, I wanted to ask you a question since we since me and Truity are talking about it. Do you think a uh, PlayStation is afraid of failure? Like, the, okay, so why don't they bring back? Why don't they bring back games from the PS3 that? Could get so it. obviously you mentioned Ratchet and Clank, right? Well, that like that's rough the the tip of the iceberg. Obviously, you know you you kind of just you know described it as it was, right, from the last generation, right? X, you know what what's called again? Um, obviously, PlayStation Three, you got you got two games, which was well, actually no, you got more than that, but like mainline games, I'm talking about Ratchet and Clank, you got. Um, actually, you know what, three, well, one, two, three, four, I'd say, well, it's, it's a bit it's of a mixed almost like read. seven, Again, seven you, got, you had tools of, you had tools of structure, you had crack in time, you had Nexus, all for one, and then you had the collection quest of for the booty. Quest for booty, quest for booty, yeah. Yeah, and quest for booty as well, you got all them things. Uh, so obviously, place three, it was booming. Obviously, when you go into PS4, the reason why they didn't do a Ratchet and Clank wasn't because they, again, didn't want to make a Ratchet and Clank. They were always wanted to make a Ratchet and Clank game, and they did. They probably was 
it was more in the sense of, you know, when you look back at it, um, they made the Ratchet and Clank reboot for a couple of reasons. That being, again, there was two teams that insult. Well, you got to think about well, a few things, right? They just came off of Sunset Overdrive. They also got split into two teams to make uh, Spider-Man as well as Ratchet and Clank uh, 2016, which, again, was mainlined to be with the um, film, which, which Sony tried, like, do goodbye which again th that game was really good for what it was and especially when there was a, there's a lot of people that never played the first Russian clan game there, there was a lot of people that didn't and obviously it was a good way to sort of introduce people to those characters especially when I'm one like of them. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly i mean like I, it, wait wait what the fuck wait was that sam no it was with sam i mean to be honest, like sam sam was even talking about this funny enough you mentioned that like Sam talked to, you know, he's recently been playing it. And it's like, I asked him, I was quite surprised when he told me he didn't play Roger and Clank. I saw he was a person that played Ra Ra Jack and Dexter. And that's the thing. You had people, you had, it was that, it was that thing of like, you were either a Ratchet and Clank person or a Jack and Dexter person. And unfortunately for me, I've never played it. I've never really played the whole, like, I've never played all the Jack and Dexter games. I played like bits and pieces of them. But I was more of a Ratchet and Clank fan because I kind of like. Yeah, the I'm, a, I'm a Ratchet and Clank fan too. Exactly. So. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, that's the thing. Like for me, Ratchet and Clank, I like them more because they had more personality. But that doesn't mean that I hate Jack and Dexter. I think like recently Bruce Stray talked about how like they basically peaked too early with Jack and Dexter. That's why we kind of not seeing another Jack did, and Dexter game. But I think we'll eventually see one. Did you see? Did you see those um those screenshots of um of what they wanted to do with Jack and Dax in um yeah on a higher res a higher res and high quality yeah like new game yeah they could they can bring it back it's just the way they wanted to do it is just but you also, it was you more also realistic got, I think the other thing as well with, with uh, Jack and Dexter is that again and this is like you we kind of saw you kind of saw it with the Jack and Dexter games they kind of went down this route of like they try to be those games got more and more serious, so they had like a more serious tone. Whereas Russian Clank kept its same tone throughout the whole of the series. You knew what you're getting, and yeah, like I'm kind of like you know going off like I was talking about Jack and Dexter. So like going back to Russian Clank, you had Sunset Overdrive this generation that they made. Then they went on to then make Jack and sorry, um, Russian Clank for the film. Again, that's not like. Not say it's a smaller team, but it's like the people that are making uh, Spider-Man were a bigger team. And then obviously you got that in 2018, all right? And then obviously don't forget you had Miles Morales. You then had uh, Ratchet and Clank, which they were making Ratchet and Clank back in what? 20... End of 2018, they probably started talking about it? No, actually, no, wrong. No. They started talking about it actually after Ratchet and Clank. I was wrong. They used to, yeah, so I make they started talking about making another Ratchet and Clank game because they've always wanted to make Ratchet and Clank games. And obviously, once I would probably say that they had ideas of the story because again, like we haven't had a mainline Ratchet and Clank game for a long time. So as soon as they got that, they're like, "Oh yeah, this is it." And now you're getting uh, Rift Apart, and also in the sense that you know, you you, you know, I've mentioned a few times now. Um, when it comes to like studio acquisitions, and if Sony needs to buy this and that and this and that. My stance is, right, and again, I was on Twitter this week talking about, I put out tweets talking about how, like, you know, Phil, Jim, uh, Jim Ryan, and uh, Bowser don't step any further in the situation of, um, I'm not saying that they are right now, because I don't think they are, I don't think they are, but in future, like, I'm basically talking that sort of uh, premise, don't keep buying all these things because you know you have the ability to and stuff like that because again there is countless i mean again there's been countless journalists developers and other aspects right where including like this mainly if i'm being honest the smaller developers where they're they're basically very vocal in the situation of like they don't want to see the industry go down this route of like you know xbox has these things playstation has these things nintendo has these things like you know I, I stick by the situation of, like, I, I see a lot of people talk about, like, Capcom, Square Enix, yeah, about how PlayStation should acquire them. In my mind, I don't think they should. Like, I'm sorry, like, 
Okay, I okay. No, I've never, I've never. Just stick okay. to like allow, like stick to that level playing field. Because again, like I said to some Xbox fan, how would you feel if Capcom got bought by Sony? And the answer was simple. They'll be fucking pissed because you can just think of the IP yeah. that PlayStation would get. It would yeah, but you gotta, oh, you gotta, oh, you gotta understand. It's not what we. It's not what we think. You gotta look at it this way. Microsoft doesn't. Oh, I know it from a business standpoint. I know that. I know that. Max, yeah. Microsoft doesn't give a con. They already said that oh, they're, I, they're willing well, to purchase I've, another I've, publisher. I've, I've been saying this for a long, long time. When it comes to Microsoft, I don't see Microsoft. I'm oh, sorry, not uh, Microsoft. Well, I mean Microsoft, but Xbox. I don't see Xbox staying around this situation of being a console for much longer. Like. As we can, as from what we've seen with the Bethesda deal, and also you know interviews as well as articles and statements, right? We have heard from Nadella, we've heard from Phil that again, the reason why they went for the Bethesda deal isn't because again they're looking to bolster the sales of their you know their their consoles, even though it no, they're will, not. no, they're not, even though no, it would help to some degree, it will help to some degree because it will, but the thing is, yeah, that's not the case. Their main, their main goal of that is again like Netflix or uh, Disney Plus or Hulu or H think about HBO Plus think about HBO Max sorry look at all the shit HBO Max is going to be getting within the next few months or even the year and how enticing that is to, for people to go I want to get into that it's content that's literally it's no longer about for them anyway selling consoles or you know making the best of the best games. It's about, the like, and this is the one, I, I don't, I, to me personally, I hate the factor of this, but it's now the sense of video games are not what, the way they talk about video games is just like the sense of, we just want to make content. We just want to give you content. It doesn't have to be good, bad, any of that. It just has to be content for them to play. If it's there, then Xbox are happy with it. That's it. So, so like... Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you something. You did you did you watch did you watch the um round table, the yeah, Xbox round table with? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you something now, because Microsoft said something very telling. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, Phil Spencer actually did. He said that this acquisition was basically not to take games off of other platforms, but to for you for Xbox players and whoever. <coughs> I'm sorry. To play. Okay, games on Game Pass exclusively for wherever Game Pass is available. Now, do you think they're trying to back Sony into a corner to um with all these with all these publisher acquisitions um to um back Sony into a corner to allow Game Pass on um on PlayStation or do you think it's just a way for them to get um to get um to get Game Pass on every other device apart from PlayStation? You know, they've already stayed they already stayed they want it on on, on all devices, all platforms. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the thing, right? I mean, again, like going into that situation, like I mean, re like when I heard that, I recent well, I would say beforehand, I was one of those people that was thinking about the situation of like how Phil is looking at Xbox as a thing, and it's clear that it's obviously it's now a service. It's a, it's a service. It's, it's an a app. Service. It's an app. That's what Xbox is going towards. It's an app. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. That's what I mean. I'm talking about the service model. That's that's what it is. It's okay. becoming a service model. It's a sense of if Phil, theoretically, if Phil could basically sell you a dongle that like you can plug into your TV or pre-built stuff within your TVs that you can stream via xCloud, and again, you can enter into Game Pass, that sort of thing, through like, for instance, the Samsung uh, partnership that they've been doing with them, right? That Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, within the next few years, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Game Pass and Xbox, you're able to play that stuff without anything. Now, literally, all you've got to do is get a Samsung TV and you can jump into Game Pass with your you know, your, um, your login. And you can play any Xbox, you can play whatever it is on Game Pass, right? There and then. On that TV. I can say that much. It definitely will happen. But I can go back to it. Um, I think Phil, if he could, and I think he is, I think he's definitely trying to do this. If he could put that, like, basically format all that stuff into a dongle, he will do that shit easy. Like an Amazon Fire Stick, he will do that. You will be seeing that, like, within the next few years. I don't know when. I already, 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 already can get Game Pass on my phone. I could, uh, I could get um, yeah, exactly. Game Pass on my TV already. Yeah. 
I mean, going to, so obviously you mentioned that this is of like trying to get Sony into like, you know, get them to get, you know, get into, uh, what's it, getting Game Pass onto other systems. And obviously when you say that, I mean, I've, I've talked to a few people about this. Like I've asked questions about, you know, have I, I've asked developers, I've asked other people, um, no journalists, like the situation, the question of like, do you think that like that is their play? That they are wanting Sony to, because they know, and again, uh, whether Xbox fans want to deny this shit, whatever. This generation, Sony is still going to outsell the Xbox by a massive, it's like by a good margin. I was say I was a massive margin, but like a good fucking margin. And I mm-hmm. do, I've said this before. I like when it comes to PlayStation Five, will it outsell the PlayStation Four? Well, it's currently already outselling it right now. And again, it's during the fucking pandemic. So what's going to happen when they get out of this situation, when they start, you know, manufacturing these things at like a crazy rate? Those things will be flying off the shelf, especially when you're looking at, you know, games that are coming up, you know, are coming up the pipeline for PlayStation. I mean, if I've got Horizon, you know, Forbidden West, which, you know, knowing Sony, they want to make sure that they have PS5s like there side by side with that console. You've got God of War, Ragnarok, the sequel to God of War. And it is the sequel, by the way. That is a true sequel to God of War. I heard you guys talk about that. That is not a side-off project. That is a true sequel. Because going back to the Raising Kratos documentary, he was already right in the second game. And also to the sense that, you know, going to what you guys are, I heard you, I heard you guys talking about, like, studio aspects. I've mentioned this numerous times. Insomniac have three, three teams looking to try and expand that to four to five teams. You then have Gorilla. Currently at three teams, looking to expand to four teams. Santa Monica, they recently popped their head up with a brand new IP, let alone the fact that they have also not mentioned that there's another team smaller than that that are also doing stuff as well. So they've got roughly nearly three teams as well. Then you've got Naughty Dog and also Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch has got uh, looking to build three teams. And again, Sony are basically, it kind of goes back to what I'm saying with like acquisitions. I... Like, because somebody asked me, right, an Xbox fan, or I don't know, asked me, right, so what would you say Sony should do? And I was going to write a tweet afterwards, but if I did that, it kind of makes me look like a fucking hypocrite, if I'm being honest, because of what I said. But then, again, what I was going to speak about was not PlayStation theoretically buying up studios, but more in the sense of organically growing the existing ones, because the way I look at this situation, right, and I, I, I explained it to uh, Briggs the other day because he asked me like why I would do this, basically. And I said, think, here's how you any person should think of this, right? And it's as simple as this. Think of PlayStation Studios names, right? Like any of them. Gorilla, you know, Sucker Punch, Santa Monica. When you see those logos, right, you know what they are. You know what you're getting, right? Just like when you see the Marvel Studios logo, when that shit pops up on a fucking trailer, you know what the fuck you're looking at. So when you see Naughty Dog, when they pop their little logo up and like it's a black screen, right? You see that poor sign with the Naughty Dog, right? And you don't know what that game was going to be next. Like it's like, again, like, oh, upcoming game that's going to be coming out next year, right? Here it is. And it's a black screen. You see the Naughty Dog symbol. You instantly feel yourself, fuck. I'm paying attention. Because I know what the fuck they've made in the past. Okay. Same thing goes with all those other studios. So it's a case of, like I'm trying to say, they could buy this, these, like, whatever studios you're thinking of. Yes. And again, there are a few of them, like Housemark, Bluepoint, Sumo, and maybe a couple others. But again, those those studios are like Insomniac, Sucker Punch, uh, Gorilla. They've been working on those studios for such a long time partnering with them such a long time they've got, they got it's huge. Like, like like for instance insomniac right they have been working with insomniac since ps1 and that was uh what was it called again disruptor they've been working with them since fucking ps1 and everyone asked them every year when are you going to acquire these guys because when they made ratchet and clank when they made resistance and obviously spider-man or you know all they all these other games like you're thinking when are you guys going to buy these guys? When are you going to acquire them? And it took them until 2019, basically four generations, to actually go, let's buy them now. Yeah, but that's not, that's, not, that's not good when it, when it comes to someone like Microsoft. I'll, I'll hear now, 
this time no. they're going to buy up everything. It, it, they well, got the, the money thing, to right? do it. But the, but the thing is, right, when we talk about this, this is the catalyst to how Sony buy things to what Microsoft buy things. Because obviously prior to the Xbox One era, right, um, you know, Xbox, the first Xbox, right, it was a good, it was a good beginning point for Xbox, right? You had your Bungie, you had obviously um, Team Ninja making Ninja Garden games. You also had Bethesda that made uh, Morrowind for him, right? That was exclusive. Some other things. That, was, that, was, that was Xbox. That was X for Xbox. Yeah, that's what, no, that's what, no, that's what I'm talking about, right? That's what I'm okay. talking about with Xbox, right? They had those exclusive titles, right, to start them off, like right, to get into the industry, like to get into that industry, right? Because again, it was easier back then. Whereas now, like I remember seeing uh, Sean Layden recently talking, you know, with about, you know, kind of throw a jab at Google saying, see, it's not easy to get in the industry, is it now? No, it's not. It's it's not easy, especially when you're looking at Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo. They are covering all three of those companies are covering different bases right now. And if Google come in here and Amazon come in here, they need a full fledged plan to basically get themselves in that door. And again, Google tried to do it and they've been shot. The door's been shot on their face and that they're, they're knocking the door, waiting to see if they can get back in. Amazon, they've done it. And I don't know how they're going to go and approach it, but I would like to see them try. And then you've got people like Tencent. You've got people like, well, I mean, to be honest, just, I feel like just Tencent will be the next, if I'm being honest, I think Tencent or Facebook will be the next two that will try to get into the console. I mean, they're already in the gaming space, but I'm talking about console. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Because Tencent are a company that I can definitely see happen. 100%. Uh, they bought loads I, of things. I don't want them to join in. Yeah. Uh. But when you look at, yeah. Okay, so, Adam, let me, let me interrupt since so, I've been sitting back listening to you all this time. Yeah. Um, we can't stop Microsoft from buying studios, but they okay, seem well. to want to buy bigger studios that will impact yeah. the industry compared to Sony. Like Sony buying Insomniac yeah, and is never gonna be on the level of Bethesda. The same, yeah, you're right. I know another mm -hmm. analogy of this, right, with the Bethesda thing, right? You look at how how many studios they bought, right? The, from from the from cause they bought studios for what the past what four or five years on that, right? Or I say mm -hmm. four years, right? They started off small, right? They started off, you know, just buying individual studios, which, you know, a lot, people didn't, give a, a lot of people didn't give a fuck about, right? You're buying up single stu studios, studios that need it, by the way, like studios that I'm like, okay, cool. Those studios need it. But when you go ahead and you buy Bethesda, that was when like a lot of people in the industry, right? When that announcement happened, there were a lot of people that were like, their eyes opened to that and went, fuck, that thing can be a possibility to like the industry, like that. I mean, even though Xbox have got a shit ton of money or Microsoft got a lot of money, people didn't think that, that would, they would actually do that. And they did. And again, after that happened, you saw every Xbox fan known to man start clucking like chicken saying, all right, we can get fucking Capcom. We can get uh, Square Enix. We can get EA. They're Ubisoft. talking about they're, they're talking about Ubisoft. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And again, like... That's the scary, if you're a PlayStation fan, if you're a Nintendo fan, that's a scary thing. And going back to your your initial question, which I haven't asked, answered really, is this a case of trying to get PlayStation to get put Game Pass? It's like, I mean, if Phil is, I mean, I, I don't know what Phil's mentality of it is, if he wants that to happen, but I would, I mean, a lot of people have seen that he, he's just, based on his personality, right? He's the guy that says, oh, gaming should be for everybody, right? Sort of thing. Get, like these games should be on. That's like, a lot of should be, given op should be given options, yeah. And obviously, he does give the Xbox fans options in based on how many consoles they can get, as well as put on PC and X Cloud. But when it comes to PlayStation, Nintendo, that's not the case, obviously. So you you're not covering all those things. But is he wanting? Is he willing to put that stuff on Game Pass or put Game Pass on X on PlayStation? Yes, he is. I think he's, he's already yes. stated he wants um, If if um and if how do I put this? I think he I think he wants to put Game Pass on Nintendo and and, and PlayStation because he knows that those consoles those two platforms are they will outsell Xbox platforms they just will. Sorry they they will they will outsell them every fucking time. 
So, again. so this is what I want to ask. I asked this to you before. I'm sorry to interrupt, but obviously we gotta get this shit out of the way eventually. They spent 7.5 billion dollars on Bethesda Xbox. Do they see an immediate in, uh, return? And what is going on with them trying to obviously get more money right after they acquire or were trying to acquire Bethesda? So they tried to boost Xbox Live Gold. And this happened right after we learned about the acquisition. The acquisition is now finalized. That is their baggage. Everything that they had to deal with is now them. How do they make that money back? How do they make seven point five billion dollars to try to cover that cost of that acquisition? It's not free money, bro. People need to stop acting like Microsoft is money bags, yo. Because they not, bro. They go want that investment back. How do they get it back? Hey man, it's, uh, it's, hey one man. These, it's one of these things, like you know, this situation of, oh, you know, Xbox. Who's it owned by Microsoft? Microsoft are a trillion dollar company. They can do anything. They, 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 they're backed by a trillion. But basically, Xbox fans bring up that analogy of they are backed by a trillion dollar company. Yes, they are. But if I was to, if you were to go to Microsoft and say, do you do you give them like is Xbox given trillions of dollars or hundreds of billions of dollars? The answer is fuck no. Then not. Every, like that is a brand, a part of Microsoft that gets given a budget, a revenue budget, which they spend every year or whatever it may be every financial year. It's like Sony and PlayStation. Sony get Sony give PlayStation if well, if PlayStation whoever it is like where it's Herman Jim, go to Sony and be like, hey, we want to have X amount of funds. Could you give it to us? Then Sony give it to them. And again, like when it comes to like you know the whole the thing of like you know Sony can't buy this, they haven't got the money, and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. I can tell you right now that, and again, this is all to do with the situation of how Japan J- Japan operates just in general. They they if they wanted to, which again is like the far up the the hierarchy, place they if they wanted to, theoretically speaking, they could get thirty five billion dollars right now. If they wanted to, PlayStation could get that amount of money right now and start going crazy. But is that safe? Is that sensible? The answer is no, it is not. Because like I was going to say earlier on with Bethesda, they started slow buying studios. That's fine. No one was batting an eyelid, right? You're doing good. You're buying studios that wanted to get bought. Like Ninja Fury was going, you know, I think places were looking at them and they took too long. And guess what happened? Xbox went for them. You've got mm-hmm. Double Fine. That's another one. You've got Compulsion, very good studio, and Obsidian, and all, you know, all these other ones. Well, but decent. Bethesda, right? Bethesda got bought, and that is basically like Xbox going into Costco's and buying in bulk. They literally bulked up in a single purchase. And again, that was to do with, like we said, Game Pass. That is how they looked at it. They're like, okay, Game Pass is now this, this is our, our thing. This is this is our focus, right? People love Game Pass. We want to be getting to, like, what was it? Recently with Disney Plus, they reached, like, 100 million people, right, recently. Xbox want that to happen to them. But obviously, with that being said, right, everyone says about Game Pass. And again, when I experience it, I'm like, you know, even though they don't really deliver on a lot of games, like, that I personally would go back to and play all the time or keep like subscribe to game pass like keep me just you know scrub that service like when you've added bethesda's games now right you know you've got all those games that recently got added you then start to wonder like you know everyone says oh the price is too good to be true yeah that's because it is if you don't if you don't think that that thing's not going up you're fucking crazy that thing is going up and i you know a lot of people talk about the 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 gold membership right when that went up and it's like, I said it for a long, long time. I think Xbox should get the, I think they should get rid of that fucking live sh- membership bull crap. Stick it with Game Pass. Just make Game Pass Ultimate. Stick it in there. Increase the price to like, you know, if it's a yearly thing, maybe a hundred, a hundred and thirty, hundred forty dollars a year. And again, that seems fair because based on what, if you're, if they're able to deliver on new release games that go day and day to that service, right? You're making that money. 
that you're paying for 100 percent and even though you're you know they are being given 140 dollars a year by individual people however however many there are they're still not making that money back by the way they're still that again game pass I'm, I, I've been told this by numerous people, the journalists that I've talked, I've talked to on Twitter, but in public, and also devs, that service is burning a hole in their fucking pockets. But the thing that's is, what want, that, that's, that's what I wanted to. That's, that's what I wanted what to ask you. That's not their problem, mm-hmm. though. That's not their problem. Xbox don't give a fuck. Microsoft don't give a fuck because it's it's given it's given their 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 brand, Microsoft, that 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 corporation fucking good publicity every time that every time you see microsoft right in a positive standpoint it's to do with xbox xbox give them that good 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 benefit because everyone's like oh you know you know if, if xbox didn't exist no one would like microsoft apart from some things here and there no one gives a fuck about it. but because xbox are there they're the they're the hip new kid they're the guy that they're the they're the kid that you want to know about they're like, oh, you know, before Xbox was a thing, Microsoft, people were like, oh, Microsoft. Oh, okay, cool, you make Windows. But then you put Xbox like, oh, right, you're the people that make Game Pass, right? Yeah, I've subscribed to that. You, 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 you're killing it right now. And I love your service. And it's like, yeah, of course. You know, that gives them that sort of situation. Man. But So, so I, need, yeah. I need to understand. Uh, I, me personally, I wouldn't mind if PlayStation buy smaller studios. Um, yeah. for five billion dollars, you can get Blue Point if it's not already confirmed. House Marquee, Ember Labs. Um, you can yeah. get smaller studios, and I think that's all right. Yeah. I I know people yeah. want Kenna, but the thing is, you just picked up Bethesda. Nobody should be bitching if Sony was to pick up Ember Labs because we know what happened with Media Molecule. Sony can help them. Oh, grow. I would love it. I would love Ember Labs. Yeah, too. they can help them grow, and I, so I'm okay. And I agree with uh, Adam. Smaller studios are all fair game. They're gonna keep their strong existing it's relationships a, with a, big studios, and I'm cool with that. Yeah, it's a bet. That's the thing with small studios. Going back to the because again, this is I've had numerous conversations with Xbox fans because they think that because they're buying up these studios. It's going to be hunky dory, like you know, when it comes to what games they deliver down the line, right? Uh, we don't, you don't. Well, I said to them, you don't know that. Let alone Xbox don't know that. Because I said this again, I've said this on your podcast before. How many studios did they have uh, during the Xbox One era compared to now? Like what, eight, very, nine, very ten? Good. Mm-hmm. So that right there, they had like yep. rough, I think it's like ten studios, something like that, right? At the beginning of the generation, yep. right? Or last and generation. Phil Spen- and Phil Spencer got rid of them all. Well, again, well, I mean, he didn't get rid of all of them, but again, like you know, again, they didn't have as much studios as PlayStation. Let alone the factor of, um, you know, what I'm about to say. That being, they again. So they start off last generation with like I'm gonna say ten, right? I, I I'm it's, it's roughly around like the ten eight something like that mark. I don't know, but anyway, like I'm trying to say, um, they had that many studios back in the generation, you know, when that generation first started off. And you look, they had eight. All right, thanks, man. Uh, so um, yeah, thanks for saying that. So, so it was eight, right? So again, they had eight studios, right, throughout their generation. How many of those games delivered on their promise of a video game? Not, I'm not saying quality or a bit, but just a promise of a video game. I would say four or three. That being like Forza, Forza Horizon, God of War. It's not God of War, sorry. But Gears of War and um, maybe Halo. I, I don't know. I mean, that's a hit. Maybe I'll say Ori. Fuck it. I'll say Ori, even though they don't own them. Actually, no, I can't see already. Actually, no, I'll go back to Halo. So they delivered on those ones. Then you look at, like, Crackdown, State of K1 and 2. You look at Rome. Oh, you look goodness. at Quantum Break. Right, you know, Quantum Break, they didn't own Remedy. Um, and again, they weren't, they weren't up to scratch. They, the, those games were a bit rough around the edges, right? So now you look at them now. They've got 25 studios around so right now. So you now go to the situation, if they couldn't manage, or again, they couldn't, like, you know, handle that mainstream back then, what makes you think they can do it now? 
And I've said yes. this so many times. And it's what, the, hold on. Again, this is this is not saying Xbox can't do it. Of course not. They can. It's not. They it's not Xbox. Part. It's Phil. Phil is the one managing the studios. But the here's the thing. The plot. The plus side of um, owning um, Zenimax is that Zenimax is going to operate as usual. That's the difference. They're not. Um, they're not being operated by my, uh, by Phil Spencer. They're operating themselves. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's why. That's why I think Zenimax will operate as normal and they'll be fine. But can Phil Spencer still manage these the rest of these studios though? That's that. That's the issue. I and mean, bro, you got you got you got to you got to realize one thing. Um, Microsoft just acquired like what two thousand more employees on top, two thousand oh, yeah. employees oh, or yeah. more. Yeah. They have just acquired so many more employees. They just they just spent two point five um seven point five billion dollars. They yeah. um they not 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 along that. Um, Bethesda just got sued. What? Yeah. Just got sued. Like. Yeah, they got sued. Yeah, they always do. They always get sued though. They're always getting sued. So like the point the point is like. Can, uh, is is Max up willing to take on all all all, all of these um? They problems? are they Going are forward? because the PR looks be- good for them, and that's why they were yeah, exactly. willing the to PR, the PR, to do yeah. this. Yeah, they're like, hey, uh, we all Bethesda yeah, now. Let's right. brag about it. Hey, yeah. we're the winners, and it's and that's, that's enough the for them. Right? That's enough. You know, for them. you look at uh, again. This is not this is not the situation. You know, if there's any Xbox fans who listen to us, like. It's not a sense of like hating on this, you know, the, the situation that's currently going on. Like, no, it, no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's, no, I'm it's not good. hating on it. It's yeah. good. It's good to have from um, first party um content. That's not the that's not the point. Yeah, yeah I know the point that. is, will they? The point is, will 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 they treat Bethesda like they've treated many other um studios um before them? Well, that's why that's why Bethesda said they want to say as their own like you know, they want to say like a separate thing of what. To Xbox and, Game and, Studios. I mean, that's not and, saying that they are going to make exclusive games and whatever. No, they're a part of Xbox. And again, this week, even though it wasn't flat out like every was, game after Deathloop and Ghostwire, they didn't say this, right? They didn't say after no. every game after Ghostwire and Deathloop, nope. every Which game is, was exclusive to us. They didn't say that okay. out. Okay. Okay. Can again, I ask you? Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Go ahead. What do you what do you think they mean by legacy legacy leg, legacy future titles? What what do they mean by that? Legacy so legacy titles is in the sense of pre existing no. ones that you already have right now, online ones like Fallout seventy six and Elder Scrolls Online, and then also there are some others which are yet to be announced. A lot of people okay. in the industry which is have- which 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 I would say which I would say would um on those legacy would be the the original Fallout. And Elder Scrolls series that are currently ongoing on on consoles, on every platform. To be quite fair, so I think you know going to what Phil said. What was it last? I think going off to what I think going off of what Phil said last year, a case by case basis. I yeah. think that is an interesting aspect to that because it's like I wonder if he's like okay, case by case basis, right? So Fallout, Fallout is Fallout is, Fallout is too big for just one. One, 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 one platform. Put it well, everywhere. Is that what you're trying to say? More, I think what he's doing, he's playing this game of. If you think about it, right now, currently, Game Pass has 18, 18 million uh, subscribers. Right? If they don't reach a certain amount of subscribers, right? By oh, when the scrolls I come out, I, I think that he may consider the situation of putting those games out on PlayStation for seventy dollars to again. Get that seventy dollars. I mean, why wouldn't you? Again, yeah, they I, they they have flexibility there. They own Bethesda. They can either make them exclusive or they can put them on other platforms if they want to. Again, that's their decision, not ours, not Xbox fans. Theirs. They can do it. And again, like you know, because obviously, you no, know, because we're kind of like going different questions here. Like you know, I kind of want to go back to the. Um, Studio thing, but like, yeah, I mean, going back, you know, saying what you mentioned with the legacy thing, I think that there is more, there is way, more, I think there's definitely more that Sony were trying to wrap up. And I think, I don't know if Microsoft are willing to wiggle their way out of their, out of those contracts because they can. 
if they want to, they can try and get out of those con get Bethesda out of those contracts so that they can make them exclusive yeah. to their platform. Deathloop and, and Ghostwire Tokyo, they could they could they could, they could have gotten out gotten out of those contracts with um for them going on to PlayStation. They they didn't have to allow it to go on to go to PlayStation. Yeah, I mean again the rumors were that again they had Ghostwire Tokyo and Deathloop, which you already know about. There was obviously Starfield, there was Elder Scrolls Six, there was Wolfenstein Three, and I think that was it. Those are the games Star that Sony wanted Starfield. Were, those are the games that PlayStation were making deals with with Bethesda in late 2019. And that's public. Well, that's not. I don't know. It's pub. Well, people, no, it, 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 it is public. It is public. I see a lot of people talking about that actually on Twitter, and it was a thing. And again, I wouldn't. That I think you know, going into that, like that probably was a factor to why Bethesda went. Uh, not Bethesda. Xbox went to them and said. We gotta buy these guys fucking quick because we don't wanna be like, you know, having to wait a year after PlayStation fans get you know Elder Scrolls sick. Could you imagine if that happened? Oh I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, and again it goes back to what I'm saying with like how PlayStation are currently operating with like studios, right? And it kind of goes back to what I wanted to say. That being again like, when it comes to how play Xbox are buying studios and getting studios, it's fine because that's how they do it. That's how they're doing it, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to work. It doesn't. I don't think it'll work, um, work like that down the line anyway. Again, like, like, the way they're buying studios is that they're buying those studios and they're basically saying, throwing money at the thing and going, here, it will work. No. No, no, no. No, when that's all money. When it comes to when it comes to video game studios, studios in video games, the best way, and it has been known for years upon years through PlayStation and Nintendo, that organically growing them, right, building a partnership, that sort of factor, is one of the best ways you can do it. And again, you even though it took them. Since, Took, like it took them like three generations or four generations to get Insomniac. You look at them now in their partnership it, with PlayStation. It is just, it is not. It's like it's perfect because you can see that with their games. Same thing with Gorilla, Sucker, Sucker Punch. Um, it's Santa having, Marcos, it's having, a, it's having a relationship. And you know what's funny? It's a slow pace build. Microsoft does have a relationship with Bethesda. That's why this 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 deal is actually good for them. But will it work out? That I think they over overpaid for Bethesda, though. Or is that just me? So I say again. I think I I said I know Microsoft has a um had a great partnership with Bethesda. They always have, but I think they overpaid for Zenimax. Or is that or is that just me? Um, in some aspects, maybe they might have overpaid it, but then again, they paid that money. It's like WB. WB wanted four billion. That's that's way too much for WB. Way too much. That's why no one went for it because just too much, you know. Um, but you know, um, yeah. Sorry, one sec. Uh, what's the call again? Insomniac did not want to. Uh, no, they again. Like th th there was again. Just to, just to, just to go off that comment there. Um, I get like when it comes to the Insomniac thing, there was times and there it was an on and off situation with Insomniac where they did want to get bought and they didn't. There were times where they did want to get bought because of their situation, and there were times that they weren't. For instance, when they were making EA, it was an EA game, Fuse, that was, after that game went down that certain route, they wanted to get bought them, but Sony didn't go for them because they were looking into other studios at that time, which kind of led Insomniac to make Sunset Overdrive for Xbox. Not out of spite from that, but again, it was just like they were getting tired of waiting sort of thing. Um, and then obviously, again, they eventually, you know, went back to PlayStation and started making Ratchet and Clank. They then made Spider Man, and then now we're where we are right now. But yeah, again, they were, it was an on off situation with Insomnia. They did and didn't want to get bought. So it's a, it's a tip for tap situation with that. Let me ask you a question, Adam. Go ahead. You don't want to, let's just, the scenario PlayStation doesn't want to announce any acquisitions. 
But they have this game on the back burner that's old. They want to put it out. It's good PR. They be ready for acquisition announcements in June. That means we wait April, May. We wait two more months, not including this one. That game will be Sunset. It's a game that we know we can port to the PS4. It's ready right there. We pull the trigger. We make the announcement. Yeah. It busts the internet wide open. Is it an old game? Yes. But it is a game the PlayStation community always said we wanted. Yeah. Do you, so do, you do it? Do you do it? Do you announce it? Well, 4K, 60, do, do, it, do know, you announce if they, it? If they do, if PlayStation do pull that, that pin of Sunset Overdrive, which, by the way, I can say it right now, I have strong belief that they are very much considering to pull that pin. They are considering. Okay, and see, that's what I was talk talking true with you about. They not going to just I'm lay down and let this Bethesda happen without throwing shade. No, no, they won't. They, they won't. I mean, again, like, again, like, because we've seen it this 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 week. And this and, is a, this what you and, need and, to understand before you go into it. If yeah. they pull their pin, it's quicker than what Microsoft could pull. Because Scott, uh, Starfield is not ready yet. Elder Scrolls is not ready what? yet. That means you can show the might. You can show the might of an acquisition where you get a game that goes somewhere else. You could show that might. Xbox yeah. won't be able to get Deathloop or Ghostwire until next year. Next year. Um, it would be, I think, it would be I, a crazy turn of events, though. I think Starfield is coming out this year. Wait up, wait up. You think Starfield's coming out this year? Yeah. They had a perfect opportunity to give us a teaser. No, I know. I know why. Because I know how Bethesda, oper um, Todd Howard likes to operate. Yeah. I know how he likes to release his titles. And that's why I, I think mean, it's coming out this year. They Listen, been making um, a bit of time. I yeah, still, I still been, don't think, I still don't think they got the real hype behind it. Um, well, no, with the PC card, that. yes, they do. Even, they have the literally, Bethesda, Bethesda literally said, I'm surprised that we've got so much hype for a game we haven't showed nothing about. And yeah, he, and, yeah ex <laughs> trust me, Todd Howard knows what he's doing. The fact of the matter is, Todd Howard, is, when he releases his games, he normally releases the gameplay trailer of the game. Well, yeah, guess what, man? I'm going to put you on record right now. True Witty well, I mean, just, uh, just <laughs> says that the game uh, is coming out in 2021. Just, I'm just going to say, hold just, you to just, to go off, uh, just to go off right. with what just was just mentioned, right? And it kind of goes into the situation what you guys were talking about with uh, Horizon, right? We haven't, we've only seen a trailer. And it's the case of, you know, when's that game coming out, right? I can easily tell any PlayStation fan right now that just because you've seen a trailer, and obviously, you know, we've only seen one trailer, everyone's got kind of contradicting the aspect of, is that game coming out this year? Because we've only seen one thing. And we're, we're like, they, they've got, like, they ain't going to show anything, you know, whatever time, anytime soon. It's like, it ain't coming out. Like, they haven't shown nothing. It's like, well, then what about Ratchet and Clank then? They've only shown you one trailer. Yeah, that again shows you snippets of gameplay of the same fucking location over and over again. We've only seen one fucking part of that game, little part of that game. And it, mm -hmm. they, they literally have shown you the same imagery over and over again. And then they gave that extended cut, what was it, last year in August, right? At the a Jeff Keighley thing, right? Yeah. Um, that he did. And that, and that was just an extended cut of the thing that you saw in June. That's it. That's mm -hmm. all you've seen. And that game's coming out in June, and you know it's coming out in June. So when it comes to Horizon, they don't need to show you another four trailers and two bits of gameplay. All they need to do is go one day, let's say tomorrow, right? They drop, PlayStation drop a, a bit of news tomorrow, Blood Post saying, tune in to fucking... Um, uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West focused state of play like they did with Ghost and uh, Last of Us on this Thursday where we're showing you gameplay and then obviously they, you know, on that day when you watch it, you get the fucking release day. That's literally all they need to do. Show you one bit of, like, show you what? 20 minutes of gameplay? 
that will literally sell you on the game. And basically, we can't wait for you to play this in August, September this year. Thank you for watching. Bam. Done. God of War is the same thing. God of War has been in development for a bit of time now. And again, like I said, they haven't just got one or two teams. Like PlayStation Studios haven't got like one or two teams. They are bulking up to around four to five teams or three, four, five teams you know, over the course of the, uh, across the board of those teams. Because again, like I go back to, right? They are looking at the organic growth of, again, building those studios. Because like I said, when you watch, when you see a Marvel fucking Studios logo, you pay attention. When you yeah. see a Naughty Dog logo, right, you're going to pay attention. Gorilla, you're paying attention. Santa Marca, you're paying attention. And you're, and, and, and like, I'm, like, I've seen this with PlayStation fans since last year, where, again, uh, in June last year, I remember when people were like, they saw this Mars Morales game, right? And like, oh, wow, oh, we're getting a Mars Morales game. And then later on, you got a Ratchet and Clank game. It was like, holy shit, they're making two games at once. How are they doing this? Like, they only <laughs> just made, um, what was it, Spider-Man 2018, because they bulked up or these studios organically, Right to more teams to do this, and because I am, yep. I would rather see Sony do that, and then maybe add a couple smaller teams like an Ember Labs, like a team uh, Cherry who did Hollow Knight, or even a Super Giants game. Oh yeah, made forgot Kenny. about them. Yeah, oh, yeah. those. <laughs> so I I wouldn't mind Sony going for those people because they've already. I'm just saying right now to any place right, they've already got those big studios. Obviously, yes, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would like for them to get a From Software or a Bungie or a Remedy. And I think, if I'm, if I'm being honest, I think they are in talks with those people. I'm, I'm just going to be I'm going to be straight up with you. I think they are in talks with them. But again, that's just talk. They're just talking to them. They're not acquiring them. They're just talking to them. Maybe they're forming a partnership because that's how Sony operate. They're not like Microsoft. They don't buy shit upright, like up front. They will build on partnerships do that notion, and if those studios feel really confident within Sony, like they're happy with them, then maybe there will be a situation where, like, we want to be a part of the fan, and then that happens. But for now, but for now, that's not the case. Right now, it's more in the sense of let's build our studio that we already got, right? Maybe get a couple of smaller studios, you know, from there. And then you've got, you know, the partnership situation where, you know, with Square Enix, yeah, you've got them making uh, Final Fantasy, was it, 16 for PlayStation. You've then got um, Project Athia. Uh, and then so, I think there's another, there's another game that they're making for PlayStation exclusively as well, which is yet to be announced. And then you've got, again, um, these other projects that have yet to be talked about within PlayStation that they've been... Again, people seem to get PlayStation. People, journalists were talking about this last year. PlayStation were approaching every third party fucking known to man with a money bag, and we've yet <laughs> to see everything. And again, I think since that's probably been echoed within Xbox, Xbox have been a bit more bullish and be like upfront yep. buy because they know, may or may not know, shall I say, who they're talking to. And Bethesda were one of them. And look what they did. They they bought the whole cow. They bought the whole fucking cow. And now it's like, you know, it's up to them, you know, Xbox, if they want to go, hey, here's a taste PlayStation fans, but you have to pay $70. And again, That's why, like, we, buy, that's why we buy games anyways. Look, they brought the farm, <laughs> Adam. They brought yeah. the farm, not the, the cow. They brought the farm. Bethesda is the farm, <laughs> but they didn't buy the city of the gaming industry, right? Yeah. And they didn't yeah. buy the town that is Sony. Even yeah. though you got Bethesda, kids. just like what you said, our studios have more awards together. Sony Santa Monica, Naughty Dog, yeah, Gorilla. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm happy for them that they brought this old ass farm that's always been in the city. You know, we kind of almost forgot, but then they had that cow, aka Doom, that made a comeback. You know, but yeah. 
Can they keep up the pace? We'll see. But as of right now, I'm not giving Bethesda any props because everything they are talking about in that stupid-ass TED Talk was old-ass games. 20 of them. Yeah, like, that's what they could do. Oh, yeah. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they're up there saying, oh, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming. Okay, well, okay, let it come, let it come. It's all right. But if it doesn't have a release date, I don't want to hear you talk about it. But the but the focus, you see, the thing is that that whole focus, like TED Talk, right? And again, <laughs> TED Talk. Mm. Like, how do I put this? Like, there were a few people that tweeted out saying, "Was that necessary?" Like, getting the put these guys in front of the camera, kind of rubbing it in, you know, rub it in the face situation. Not really, no. But the thing is, again. The reason why they did that was to do with the situation of yes, they finalized the contract. Hey Adam, course. I just want to since you're you're being featured here, I want to get some yeah. questions out for you. Umar mm. says, "Hey Adam, do you still think the Metal Gear Solid and Silent Hill rumors yes. are true? What what rumors are those exactly?" Well, oh, they being they being they're, they're in the works. Made. That they're yeah, they're being remade. Yes. They're being well, well I mean, they're see, being remade. Yeah. These announcements being released around June's E3 area would yeah. be a much bigger thing than Bethesda in a whole. Announcing yeah. that, hey, we know that you guys didn't get your hands on Sunset Overdrive. We're giving it to you at 4K60, which is higher than what the Xbox Series X is doing. I'm you with know, the PC house. Like, I, I, and, the, and, and some of the PC. So, I mean, there are ways to make Bethesda's announcement seem not so big later on but i i would let oh. sony just let them keep talking talk for the rest of the month they can't brag about this shit forever and just start doing what you need to do talk about what you need to do in april and you'll be one yeah. month away after that until june and then you can unleash you know you got ratchet in june you got unleash Returnal in april you know we're getting well, towards the end of this month, so you're going to have to talk about the uh, stay-at-home yeah. initiative and then the next mm. wave of PlayStation Now as well as PlayStation Plus games. Plus, yeah. I'm happy. But again, like, mm. I mean, we're talking about the situation of, like, you know, Sony and Xbox, uh, like, you know, this is, like, like, from a new standpoint. And the thing is, like, to Sony, like, more specifically to Sony, just to say, like, you know, Every day on Twitter, I see it every day on Twitter, whether it's in America, whether it's in other countries, right, or in UK, you're always mm-hmm. seeing it. Back in stock, we've got some, we've got some, we've got some units. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a couple of crumbs for you. Here's, here, here, you know, here's your time, and everyone's just like, yum, 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 yum. they just fucking eat up, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, they're gone. Bye, see ya. It's like, fuck, I missed my chance. Xbox <laughs> on the hand, I saw Xbox get resupplied. And it's like, what well, I've been still there. Xbox, the ones they're still there, though. As, as, I mean, they're buying them, but they're not as quick as what some people may think. And it's like, that's interesting. Because, well, again, well, again, the reason well, why is because there is more of a reason to go for a PlayStation. Because, again, there is newer, you got those newer experiences, right? That are going to be on PlayStation 5. And, you know, going into like, you know, when Ratchet and Clank comes out. If they market that game the way they are going to do it, like, and also Horizon and God of War, like, Sony are wanting, are going to want to have the, like, a supply of units next to those games because those will fly off the fucking shelf. You know, they just will. Um, but, you know, going back to the Bethesda thing, the, te- the TED Talk situation, like, because again, like, you know, it kind of answers someone. Um, I don't, I'm just going to call you Mog, right? Mog. Um, which brings up the situation of them having a summer event, right? That's when they're going to be doing their games. That's when they're showing games. He's correct. They say that in the thing. Going back to the talk thing, though, what the reason why they did this, that whole situation, even though I kind of think that they didn't need to do it, really, they could have just did a blog post and they could have just dropped the news that they had, really. It just, this, it, they didn't really do what they did. But anyway, regardless of that, that whole situation was they, some people thought that it was because they wanted to welcome in Bethesda to the family, that sort of shit. I'm not trying to rub it in. 
it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was more to do with the situation of Game Pass. It was. It was because again, after that happened, apart from the exclusivity thing, which again was kind of vaguely like talked about, and again, let's be honest, they didn't straight up say that these games after well, they definitely been Ghostwire, right? After those games are released on PlayStation, everything's exclusive. They didn't fucking say that shit. They were very touch and go on the subject because again, Phil knows that there is a few things, like I said, the subscriber situation, right? If they reach 50 million subscribers, let's just say, by, like, let's say at the end of the year, then I could say right now that those games are going to be exclusive. Oh, but hold on, Adam. It's, it's another rumor by Umar. Uh, Umar says, Adam, do you think the rumors of Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, sorry, Red Dead Redemption 1 being remade and being bundled with Red Dead Redemption 2 are true? I didn't even hear that rumor. That's a new one for me. Not me either. What? Yeah, I, I don't. I would, I would, I would, I would say, I would say, I would say no. Because I feel oh, like. Oh no! I, I actually did hear. I actually did hear. You, you, I actually did hear about um a Red Dead, Red Dead being I mean, remastered. I mean, I maybe never heard it being patch for Red Dead Two, maybe, but not Red Dead One. So because... we got a brand new member here. His name is Authentic. He became a member of the channel earlier this week. Uh, he said, Adam, both sales fast uh, in the UK. I have been oh, yeah, trying. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not yeah. specifically talking about the UK. I mean, if I did, sorry. I, I'm not talking about just UK specifically. I'm talking about just in general. Like one of my friends who lives in Sweden, um, like he, there's a few places in Sweden that, again, like gaming places, and they still have Series S and Xs on the shelves. PlayStation, they're gone. They they, a, they can't. Series, they, they Series can't S is Series S Series S right now is still available in my area. This is what I yeah. need to understand. Call Eastwood and many other followers of the RDX group mm -hmm. said on the internet all last yeah. year that it was over for Sony because they were it's able Series to S. win the price war. Yeah. That was a lie? Well, it wasn't a lie, but it's bullshit. Because, again, like, they thought because the Series S was going to be cheaper, that was going to be the thing that people were going to be buying. No. People mm. in this world want the fucking Listen. newest thing. And it doesn't matter how much it costs. People, if it's, if it's good enough, people will spend the money, whatever it is, to get that thing. They will. They seem they seem to think that people are um people don't um don't buy um systems. They think just because it's um it's a console, they won't buy they won't buy it. They wanna they wanna buy um buy it at a cheaper um at a cheaper price just because it's cheap, they'll buy the system. That's not the case. Yeah. The thing the thing is, they think that just because a mum a mum and pop won't know what what to get, so they just gonna get the series S. And that's because it's cheaper. That's not the case. People know what I'm. People, listen. I got, I got, I got the um, I got the PS5. And before I even, before I even, what you call it, before I, I even told anyone, my mother came over. Came over. Came I'm trying over. to she figure like, out though. Like, did they, did they honestly do a good job though, promoting it? By the way, just a, uh, just to, just to tie, it, just to tie not in this situation because it was a question that was asked me earlier on about the Game Pass to come to PlayStation. Obviously, like. I've just seen someone say, like, bring up the, the quote, bringing exclusive games to wherever uh, Game Pass is, is why this is happening. Phil Spencer, right? Or again, he says that in sort of similarities. And again, when it comes to that, right, that comment that he made, right, everyone's like, kind of looked at that and think, so if that, if Game Pass comes on PlayStation, right, that will, you'll be able to play those games. Correct. That officially, yes. me that officially means Xbox has no games. It will, yeah, it would some degree, yeah, but then again, they are getting money from PlayStation fans because you're yeah. supposed to be fast. And well, again, that, yeah, that's 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 the that's, that's the that would be the biggest biggest move, yeah, because but that's the thing, that's what they want to do. Like, if, if listen, if if Phil is about that situation, like he doesn't give a fuck, he wants Game of the Big Game Pass to be on Nintendo, and again, Nintendo Switch, whether it be the Pro or the Switch, the standard version right now, like if that is on Game Pass, if Game Pass is on that, like. That is on portable devices. You then got PlayStation, which again will most likely outsell the Series S and X by a considerable margin. Again, like yep. if, if that, you know, and he knows that. And again, if, if he get that on game, if he can get game bars on PlayStation, that's a fucking win on his boat. Like him and as well as Microsoft. But again, like 
there's two things about this, right? One is, right, obviously he wants that to happen, but do PlayStation want that to happen? And the answer is that, again, PlayStation and Nintendo are doing something similar to Game Pass. They are thinking, they are talking about, they're conjuring up, they're thinking about, because as we saw last year with PlayStation Plus Collection, they are fucking considerate. You now see the recent uptick of PlayStation Plus games, what you're getting recently and how good what you're getting. And it's like, there is indication, there is like breadcrumbs to PlayStation looking to do a Game Pass situation. Maybe not day and day, like what they're doing because they no. still think that because again their games will still sell day one so like we're still wanting to you know have that little leg room there to sell our games before they do that and that's understandable from playstation same from nintendo i can see nintendo doing the exact same thing but then on the other hand what did playstation and microsoft or microsoft and sony do last year which opens your eyes to a possibility where it could happen what happened Anyone? No? No taker? Azure. PlayStation mm. went to Microsoft. Well, they didn't go to Microsoft. They both talked to one another. And they agreed in the situation of terms of the Azure um, service, right? You know, they're, 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 that, that was a thing. And then since, what was it, a few weeks before the PlayStation 5 came out? Sony did that update with the PlayStation uh, party chat and all that shit like that. And, you know, the servers, that wasn't just, you know, an update. That was them going from their servers of old to the Azure servers. And again, I'm not saying that you know, Azure was the reason why they did the whole party thing. That's not, that's not the case. Again, there was other factors. When that, when that day happened, there was a lot of things. We were like wondering, oh, what's going on with the connection and what's going on with the... The PlayStation Network and all this was because they were transferring their servers from one thing to another. They are on Azure servers now. I'm pretty sure of it now. And the fact that they are on Azure servers, they're in that situation. There is a possibility that maybe, and again, I'm not saying it is, but maybe Game Pass could be a possibility for PlayStation. It gets to go to PlayStation. And as we know, right, we see we see Shuhei, we see Herman, we see we see executives. Do you think that will be native or but? Through um through um through X Cloud. I think if they're able to again, like the situation of again, you subscribe to Game Pass, there's an application of it on PlayStation, they will do it. Yes. But again, like I go back to it, right? We've seen over the past few years how like Xbox, like I've I've seen Phil, you know, Phil and Shu talk to one another, same thing with Greenberg and also Herman and all. I've seen the Xbox and PlayStation people talk to one another. And it's a bit weird. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit fucking strange. But at the same time, it's this ca this case of they don't give a fuck about the whole console war balls. They give a fuck. Oh no, I know, I know they don't. You know, they 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 like you they like each other. They like what they do individually. Like, you know, if they Xbox like what PlayStation do, and they always congratulate them on you know, hey, Fucking awesome. You know, you, you know, no, so no, no, no. You, you notice Sony has not congratulated um, Mark's up on anything when they when they do it, but Phil's always congratulating Sony. Well, I mean, I well, I mean, you say that, but then they did congratulate him on the Series X and X launch. I mean, game wise, oh, yeah. I mean, not recently, not recently, but yeah, I mean, like Bethesda, they didn't congratulate them there, which I'm like, obviously they wouldn't do because it's like <coughs> slap like, on the I, face. I, I, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, well, it's a kind of a slap in the face, but it's also a sense of, I don't know, I don't think you need to. You just don't. But yeah, like, I mean, just tired not in that, yeah, tired not in that situation. I think it's two of things. Like, I think PlayStation, they want to make their own Game Pass, as well as Nintendo, and both of them can, because they've got the content, they've got the games, and they've got the studios to do that. And obviously, the, the model will be different to Game Pass slightly, like the day and date situation. They'll, they'll do that sort of thing. I, 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 I'm just going to put it out there. But it's also the case of, like I also said, I, it, you know, the, the Azure servers. You know, there is a possibility that that can happen, yes. And if, you know, if Phil is the guy that's like, you know, he's ready, but Sonya like, uh, we don't know yet. We don't know. We want to do something else and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then maybe they go, fuck you, we will. Uh, no, but like, yeah, like, I just want to tie not into that situation because I think that will happen. It could happen. Well, it could happen. I mean, 
again, it's just like I watched that thing. I watched the statements. I saw a lot of the Xbox fans talk about, it. oh, yeah, like, see, see, he said that they're exclusive. Well, not really, no. Like, I don't see him say every game is going to be exclusive from that point. The way he li- the way he words it is like, yeah. And it's also the case of, you know, you look at the, the statement that was made on Tuesday when they finalized it, right, with um, Pete Hines from Bethesda and then him, um, you know, Phil on the Tuesday. And then when they did that talk, the way he talked about it was a little bit different. It went from, you know, some games to legacy games. And people pointed that out. And it's like... I'm 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 in I'm in the band camp. I'm I'm in the I'm on the team of like I feel like they are exclusive. But at the same time, when I hear certain words that were mentioned in the Tuesday things as well as the thing on Thursday, I, I think I'm kind, like of, I'm kind of in a bit of a wiggle room. Like I can see maybe, like I said, there may be other contracts that have been made that maybe Microsoft are going to try and wiggle out of, which again, they can, but then there's also the case that maybe they don't, maybe they let them stand and they get, the, and again, they get some money out of it. I mean, fuck it. This, and listen, if you're putting those games out for, for seventy dollars on PlayStation, I don't see the problem. If I'm being honest. PSG yeah, 51 been... connected. Hi there, people. What? Hi there. Oh, PlayStation. Hello. Yeah. What's going on? I was uh, listening to Adam, so uh... yeah. I uh, just want to just have a look. Uh, does, uh, yep. Uh, so authentic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like I said, authentic. Authentic. Uh, yeah. I obviously you mentioned that. You know, obviously, yeah. And that's again. That was um, when we we're going to when PS Five came out. That like the whole big update that they did was to do with the server situation as well as the update. Uh, does the PlayStation owner do? Does any PlayStation owner ha- not have to access uh, another screen? Uh, why would um, Microsoft give Sony five percent when they can put an app on the same TV and pay Sony nothing. Uh, wake up, dude! You're dreaming again. No, I'm not dreaming. Phil's goal is to put that thing on every as much things as possible. I don't. I don't. I don't think these Xbox guys actually listen to what Phil Spencer actually says. I don't know about that. I mean, again, I think they do, but I think also at the same time they think that there's like a certain limit to it. There is no limit to it. If he can get that, if listen, if Phil is about, because again, we hear Phil every time, right? He's about gamers, yeah? He's about how, you know, he said how exclusives are counter, counter to game. Counterproductive. Gaming. Exactly. And what happens? If they are, if these games are exclusive, the games that are future coming out for Bethesda, great for Xbox. But again, it's a contradicting aspect, right? But then again, you say the same thing about Jim Ryan saying, we believe in generations, right? Because again, that was contradicting. Eventually, you the um, um, let me be honest. Eventually, that statement will come true because again they will move on to PlayStation Fives, of course. But right now, no, that's contradicting. Um, but yeah, like you know, um, but yeah, I mean, again, uh, to Xbox, like again, fans, like I mean, uh, you know, anyone that knows me, when it comes to my fan stuff, the only games I give a fuck about really is pretty much games that come from id machine games and arcade like i again i appreciate the fallout games i've tried them same thing with elder scrolls i appreciate them but i never really i couldn't get into them i've always been about the doom the wolfenstein the praise dishonored those things i'm gonna miss and i'm glad that i'm getting Deathloop before whatever the fuck transpires i'm happy that that is the case that game looks fucking awesome i can't wait to play a game um you know but like you know, yeah. I mean, one one game that is going to suck, really. If, like, and obviously, I will get. Uh, I've uh, I've got two minds of it, and again, I will either build a PC, but say PC. Um, I'll either build a PC because again, I, I have more usage out of PC than an Xbox, so I can use Adobe software, or I do buy a Series X and I do play the new Doom and Wolfenstein, and that's it. You know, I, I, and I will do that. Maybe I can just get a Series X, mate. I don't fucking know. I just want to play those games. But again, like, you know, you know, to the Legacy titles, funny enough, we talked about those two games, right? Um, you know, those theoretically are Legacy titles because Doom 2016, Doom Eternal is the sequel, and there will be another Doom game. 
because there's a continuation. And if you're like me, that's played the uh, the first part of the Ascent, uh, see, uh, and, and, oh, was it Ascent and Gods Part One? Part mm -hmm. Two is getting a trailer next week on Thursday, which I can't wait to see because it ended on a cliffhanger, which was fucking awesome. I wonder if Doom Three, whenever they make it, will go to PlayStation because it'd be weird to like get one, two. And then get the DLC, but then not get free. And it's like, you have to, for you to complete that story, you have to buy an Xbox or a PC. It's like, and, you know, same thing with Wolfenstein. The, the story kind of continues after two. Um, you know, um, there, yes, there's a lot of things with the whole situation of it. There really is, like, with the Bethesda thing. Like, I can see a couple of games going there, but there also are games that, that there's a lot, vast majority of games where I'm like, the app's going to be exclusive, 100%. You know but again, like, I'm, I don't know I'm all in favor of since Microsoft owns Bethesda, if they have a third or a third installment or a sequel and it works for a game that people like, I'm all in favor for Microsoft keeping that on their system, keeping that inside of their ecosystem. Why? Because maybe it'll motivate Jim Ryan and everybody else that makes the decisions to invest more into exclusives and make sure that more can be produced each year. Let's give them a pass. Mm -hmm for last year and let's give them a pass for this year let's see if the world can uh fix itself with this coronavirus vaccine shit and maybe shit is a little bit um back on track next year or towards the end of this year um i give everybody a pass this year you want to delay your shit you're not ready this year yeah, you don't want to adjust to what's going on that's cool that's cool um but next year Make sure everybody's on their ball. It's, it's, it's crazy, right? We're in the th third month of the year, in the middle of the third month of the year, and I'm up here giving developers a free pass to fucking skip the rest of the fucking year. You know? It depends on the studio. I mean, the thing is, with this situation on coronavirus and delaying games, it, it does depend on the studios and the games. Like, um, like a few games have already been delayed, right? Like, one of them being the Hogwarts Legacy game. Um, I think that game, oh, I think that game got about... delayed. I think that game got delayed because, again, they might have won a little bit more time. But if you were, if you were to ask me like that was the main reason, fuck no, I know why. Why do you think J.K. Rowling? God damn they it! Want to no, they want to know. <laughs> everyone said this shit. They want to distance themselves as far away as possible from that bullshit because they she made Harry Potter though. Yeah, I know. How I do know you that. distance again, yourself from the creator of the thing that you're still I using? I know, I know that Jay, but again, like, basically, shit that the based on the shit that she's come out with, right? A lot of people have turned their nose up at Harry Potter stuff because uh, of that. Like, Harry Potter is legendary. No, but it should be, man. I, but again, like, you know, they, they, they talk... I mean, recently they had, like, a developer, right, that was making videos, and, like, he got fired because of, like, him sticking with, like... I think he had some sort of, like... I, I really of, didn't like, expect a new Har Harry Potter game to be... Uh... I don't think any yeah, I mean, like, I mean, we knew that they were making an RPG game because it was always talked about, but we never knew when it was going to happen. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I think there are a few games that I hear. I mean, obviously, you know, I heard you guys mention about Goth Knight. I think that game is. I think that game's alright. That game's been in development for a long time. I mean, a very fucking long time. Um. Obviously, there was always was it like. Like, we we heard about this title for a long time. That they they've been calling it well. They called it Arkham Knights. They were not Arkham Knights. No, they no, they did call it Gotham Knights for so long, and it turned out to be Gotham Knights. But we thought it was like Batman was going to be in it, and he probably is. But again, it wasn't about Batman. It's, it's about you know, Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl. So yeah, I mean, I think that game's coming out this year because again, I mean, it, it just seems pretty fucking certain. It's a, it's a current and next gen game. They've been working it for a long time. You know, they're there. Obviously, Day Dying Light. They came out. Uh, obviously, recently said how they, they 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 revealed that game too early. Yes, they did. They did, and they're paying for it. Um, so you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, you know, going back to like just in general, like, you look at PlayStation Studios, you look at Xbox Studios, and you look at Nintendo Studios. I think when it comes to who's gonna be still delivering on. No, like they're delivering like you know those great games that you like and that sort of thing. I think Sony will be at the front forefront. I think Nintendo maybe will be the next, and I think Xbox will be after. Because I do believe that with Xbox, 
even though they have a fucking lot of studios, and they do have a lot of studios, and I wonder how they're going to space out that content. Because there's a lot of content that will eventually come down the line. But as of right now, apart from Halo, which presumably is coming out this year, but I will believe that when I see it. Because I do believe that game might get delayed until... If that game is not ready, they will delay that game until 2022. Because it is that when it comes to Halo, that game is in that situation of they cannot release that game if it's unfinished. They can't. They can't. They can't. They can't, but they were going to. No, I mean, listen, man. It's a damned if you do, damned if you do situation when it comes to that game. It's like if they delay that game, they're fucked. If they release that game and it's unfinished, they're fucked. What game is that? <laughs> Halo. Halo Infinite. Halo, Halo is going to be yeah. all right, Adam. <laughs> I hope so, man. Because I, I mean, again, we see it every Xbox time, fans are gonna cap for that game, and it doesn't really <laughs> matter what condition is in. I guarantee. Look, the gaming community. I've talked about this passionately we yesterday. No, 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 no. We came to their we, fucking aid two times. We told we, them that the game was fucked up, and we told them that they shouldn't increase the price of Xbox I Live mean, Gold. They weren't gonna speak yeah. up for themselves. Yeah. The gaming community did that. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, if the rest of the gaming community was not there speaking up for the bullshit that Microsoft tries to get uh, over on Xbox fans, Xbox fans would be 100% okay with it. Guaranteed. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be, they'll be that, I, that, I, that, that trailer, that, that trailer I, I, though, of the uh, Halo Infinite, it was disgusting. Yeah. It was so disgusting. Which one? Which one was that? Like, like you the, July. The one with the gameplay, one, yeah. 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 What's like, those, I mean, like those poppins in, in the. Oh my know, god, like, it was. I wouldn't, just, just, I wouldn't say it was disgusting, but it was like. The way I look at it, the, the Halo situation last year was that the thing that really didn't fucking help them, really didn't help them, was the sense of they hyped that game up for, well, the community of Xbox had that game up for so long, right? Because obviously they were in belief that that game was going to be the the you know the the you know the um, the visual showcase, right? But, but I, I'm sorry, is, is that the power of the Series X? Yeah, I the, thought yeah, they were exactly. showing. Well, I mean, the that was the power of, of a PC <laughs> that was emulated to run on the specs of the Series That's X. That's so, the big problem I mean, about that weird. announcement, man. Because again, they literally that was their fault. That was their doing because that was their own doing because. That whole week, I remember seeing them hype up Halo as a little reveal. And when that happened, that dropped. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You had people that were like, they were some, there were people that were happy with it because it was like, it looks and plays like Halo 1. Yeah. Problem is, people don't mind it playing like Halo 1, but looking like Halo 1? No, no, no. People were not happy. And again, Halo is like a Call of Duty, right? If you change too much, fan base gets pissed off. If you change too little, fan base gets pissed off. You're not going to win. You're yeah, not that, going to win. True. That's true. You're not going to win, my friend. So I go back to it, man. That's like, true. yeah, with Halo. I they was in the Halo. Up, especially with the amount of that game. You know, they put a lot of money into that Halo game, and that covers the expense of development, the delays of the development, the marketing, all the fucking monster energy drinks, the fucking packets, the adverts, you name it, all that shit's covered. And that's, that, you know, when people were like, I remember people were thinking, oh, it's not, it didn't cost them 500 million to make. Pfft, yeah, it cost them more than that. It's more, like, I think, last time I heard people talking about how it's like 700, and, 700, 750 million now. And again, that's covering every fine. cost. Every cost fine. of that game. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm sorry, but like, I I believe that. I 100% believe that. Because that game's been in development since what? That game was supposed to come out initially. Originally, it was supposed to come out for the Xbox One X. That was supposed to be a showcase for that console. But then they end up delaying it because they wanted to bring it out for the new gen console and set it up real nice. And it didn't happen. They fucked up. But, again, you know, this is their chance, right? This year, they whenever they talk about it, I don't know when, but hopefully that game looks obviously better than what it did last time. And I think it will depend on how good it looks or how well it is. I have no fucking clue. 
I don't think Halo, this is going to be the second coming of Halo, like some people think it is. I think it'll be like Gears. It'll be another Gears or not, sorry, another Halo, sorry. It will do what Halo does best and it'll, it will serve a good multiplayer. It will have a, a solid campaign and then whatever else they have. I mean, obviously, they said they're going to have a BR, but they might do. I have no clue. Obviously, we know that this game's going to be... It's not a one-and-done game. They are. There's not going to be a Halo Infinite 2 afterwards, like straight away. They are going to be building on this game for a long, long time. And yeah, I mean, based off of that, though, Halo's their only big Monarch game this year. Obviously, what's his name? Ronald has mentioned that it's unannounced games. Yes, he has. But again, those could be smaller titles. We don't know. They are. I'm talking about key, like, you know, your Forzas, your Avowed, and your Fable, and your. Um, uh, what was it? Um, what's that rare game? What's that rare game they did? Which they don't even know what they're doing in that situation or that game. I forgot. Like, Be Loved or Be Avowed? I don't fucking know. Was it uh, Avowed? Was it or? No, no, Rare's game, Rare's game. Um, fuck, oh, guys. Oh, was it Fable or something? I don't know what the fuck it was. No, it's not, no, it's not Fable. Um, you sure it's not a Valve? It, no, it's... Wait up, I know the game you talk about with the little animals and humans and shit. Yeah, Colorful. One. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, I don't know the name, yeah. I know what you're talking right, about. Yeah. Right, Everwild, there you go, there you go. My man. Yeah, there you go. Such yeah. a forgettable uh, yeah, name. So, Crazy. Yeah, obviously, you know, you mentioned, I, I see you mentioned, I always hear this, Forza Horizon 5. That's a, I, I hear a lot of people talk about that in the same way they did with um, Project Dark, in the sense where they talk about it, they say it so many times where I'm like, it could possibly be true at this point. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because Forza Motorsport, as I've said in the past, I don't think that's the reason, like, the fact they call it Forza <laughs> Motorsport makes me believe that's going to be a service game. They are going down that service game route where, again, they don't have to make another Forza game uh, for more, most more. They just make one, and they just continue to add tracks and cars. And it works out. That's a good way of going. Um, it just works out in that manner. But Forza you know, Horizon, uh, which, to be honest, my personal opinion, is the better version of Forza. It just is. I don't like Forza Motorsport. I never really cared for it. I cared more for Project Gotham Racing than fucking Forza Motorsport. Um, Horizon's are better. I would rather see them work on a Horizon game than a fucking Motorsport. I'm sorry. Like, I just do. Uh, yeah, Forza Motorsport will be out next year. Uh, Horizon, if that is true, great. If not, I mean, again, they... they I don't... Mm. I mean, I know they've, they've got a couple of teams, right? They're making Fable and they're, make, they're making something else. So obviously, I think it, it, I think that is possibly real. But if that is the case, you've got, okay, so you've got Halo and you've got Forza. Hellblade's not coming out this year, to tell you that much. Everwild's not coming out this year. Avowed's not coming out this year. State of Cage's not coming out this year. Obviously, Project Dark's not coming out this year. Fuck no. I wonder what's going to happen with that game. Because they've lost a few bits of talent. Same thing with, um, like I said, with Free for Free. We see it every couple of months. Somebody's left Free for Free, and they go, they're, they're, "Apparently, it's hunky dory." No, it's not. Hmm. There's too many people leaving the fucking studio for a reason, man. And you know, it's it's scary. To be honest, if I'm an Xbox fan, I'm fucking scared. Like if, well, if, if I'm a Halo fan, should I say I'm scared? Because I'm wondering. I know that it's kind of like this year. Maybe they're finishing their parts. Maybe, yes. But then what happens if that isn't the case? What happens if they delay that game until next year? You know? And it, again, I'm just going to put this out there as well with the, with the Bethesda thing, right? Now they own Bethesda and Cinemax. When it comes down to those games being announced, right? And, and they are exclusive to that platform. They have taken on the pressure of when those games come out, let's say Starfield comes out and it's not up to, and it's not up to scratch. It's a very rough around the edge game, which again, as we know, sometimes Bethesda games are like that. Let's be honest, they are. The blame will be put on Microsoft. It will be put on Xbox. And people will say, we thought you would give them the time. We thought you would give them the funding in X, Y, and Z. Not quite, no. 
Not quite. Again, that's the thing that I want to see. That's my perspective of this. I know that they brought loads of students. I know Phil has said that he's going to give them the time, he's given the resource and all that shit that. But when it comes to management of the Xbox One era, when they had lesser studios, I did not see that once. I saw half-baked games throughout the whole generation, apart from maybe already one and two, which again, they do not own. Horizon, the Forza series, Horizon series, and Gears, I'll give Gears 5 that pass. Apart from those games, everything else did not do that. And I go to the situation of them having now 25, 23, 25 studios now. What makes me think that if they can hand, if they can handle that many studios, what makes me think they can handle them now? And that's the reason why I think Bethesda said, we are not, we are not like, you know, we are a part of Xbox, but we're not wanting to be within the Xbox game studios or, you know, whatever it is name. We want to still be ourselves. We want to, ha- basically, we want to handle our, our shit the way we want, we want to handle our shit, which I, I think that's good. Because I think, if I, like I, I go back to, I think if I'm being honest, I think Bethesda know that that's a bit too much work for Xbox. They know that shit. That's why they said that. Because they if they went, hey, listen, you're going to have to handle us. They know they won't be able to. There'll be a lot of problems. There'll be a lot. There'll be a lot of things going into that situation. And again, if I'm if I'm an Xbox fan and I've you know I've obtained these studios, I'm I'm going to be in the I'm going to be on the side where I'm like I don't want these games to come out half baked or shit or whatever. I want them to be the Bethesda games that you remember back in the PS3 era. You no. Know, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, Skyrealm, you know, those sort of games. I want yeah. them to be like that. Even though, yes, Skyrim was buggy, but it was more in the sense of people enjoyed those bugs. You know, they enjoyed the, the, the laugh that they had. So, you know, again, yeah. I mean, the only good, I mean, personally, the only good performing games from Bethesda this year that like, got good praise was like the Doom games, Wolfenstein, uh, Dishonored, Prey, you know, um, Fallout 4, to a degree, and then Fallout 76 was, you know, near. You know, it was oh, okay. Oh, shit, no, no. And then there were some others here and there. You know, again, I, I think prior to the announcement this week, I said to a few people, when it comes to exclusivity within Bethesda, I said a lot of Xbox fans, right? Don't be pissed if those games do come to PlayStation in the future, because again, I have, I oblige a lot of Xbox fans. Go back. Three year, watch the past three years of Bethesda's conferences and tell me what their core message was in every one of their fucking shows. And the message was their community. The forefront of their shows is all about their community, right? They love their fan base, love their community, wherever you are. And when I saw them get acquired by Microsoft, I was like, that's a thing that I'm like, will Bethesda like sort of like crop themselves off entirely or will they leave enough room within that contract that's being made to wiggle? Maybe, maybe. But again, that's all the shit that I've, you know, all the stuff I've been saying, it's again in due time. And a lot of people have been saying it, like even after what Phil said this week, where it's Tuesday or within that TED talk, there is a lot of wiggle room in that, in what, in his words. And again, as we know, like I think Xbox fan. I would, I would hope Xbox fans would agree. There has been countless interviews where Phil has said one thing and it turns out mm-hmm. to be bullshit. It does. Like, he will say, like, you know, the exclusive being counter to gaming or whatever. And I know he said something additional to that, which kind of, it wasn't completely like that. But again, he said that. It's also a sense of, you know, single player games are dead, right? Look what <laughs> he's doing now. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that guy says. The next thing you know, a few years down the line, 180 or he, he, he goes back on the word or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, shit can change. Again, like, you know, when it comes to these corporations, and I, like, there is, I've seen this, like, I'm not saying every Xbox fan, but, like, I've seen some weird, fu- uh, like, we see it every year, some weird fucking fetish shit for Phil Spencer. It gets fucking creepy. Really fucking creepy. And again, this goes to PlayStation fans as well. Same exact thing. It gets fucking weird. Um, that's not healthy, bro. That's just not healthy. 
By the way, P Lot, believing in generations. Yeah, I know. Jim Ryan, I know. And again, I've con I said it earlier on. He contradicts himself as well, my friend. Again, like I'm saying, you do not believe in corporations what they fucking say. Regardless of it, even if it's fucking Phil Spencer with his fucking peacock chest on stage going, gaming. Like, <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, bro. I don't believe a fucking word he says. No one should. And again, I see it with Xbox fans and PlayStation fans. One thing I, I see Xbox and PlayStation fans agree with each other is, again, that thing. Do not believe in what the corporations say to you. Yes. Because they can always say one thing and then fuck you in the other. Like, they can just bend you over and be like, hey, you bought a console. Fuck you. <laughs> you know? Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just like, you know, it's tip for tap, bro. It's tip for tap. But, you know, so, you know, going, like, bottom line of this whole situation with the Bethesda thing, right? Like, for me personally, as much as I, I think, obviously, Microsoft are not, I mean, I don't know when they will make another acquisition and whether it will be a big one or if they, if they are done with the whole big, big thing and they go for smaller things. Because they've, they've got, they've dwarfed PlayStation Studios. And if I'm Xbox, I'm like, you've got the content for Game Pass from just Bethesda alone. You know, you can add a few more studios on top of that, but, like, you don't need to go any farther. You have... You are currently beating PlayStation by a fucking milestone, that sort of mile, that that sort of aspect. But when it comes to like you know whether the industry is talking about your games, like what they would do with Nintendo and PlayStation games, the answer is no. Yeah, people still talk about Breath of the Wild, Mario, those sort of games. Then you got Last of Us Part Two last year. Even though people say the story was, it you know. You know, this and that. You know, and again, it, it kind of gelled well with other people. Some people didn't. One thing that people have to agree with is that, again, people will talk about Last of Us Part 2 for fucking decades because of what they played with. And that was the thing about Last of Us Part 2. People spoke about that game for months and months and months, and they still speak about it right now. Like, they streamers right now that have just played it. And they're like, I've got so many fucking questions because it's like, it's a talking subject. And same with Ghost. People, and again, when I, I can go down the list, like with Gorilla and the Dismer engine, a fucking engine. People in the industry can't stop talking about the Dismer engine and how they want to use it for their future project. But the thing is, they can't just simply ask for it. They've got to go through certain fucking things to get that. Because that, that engine has been... Basically, let's just say a lot of studios have approached Gorilla asking to use that engine. And I'm going to say right now, there's a few Xbox people, Xbox studios that have asked for that Dismer engine. There's a few people that have asked for the Dismer engine. I'm not going to say who, but Xbox studios have asked for it. Because it is a good fucking engine. It is a very good engine. You know, yeah. But anyway, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Hey. Uh, P P um, yeah, they are. They, there is people talking about Last of Part Two, and again, when the anniversary of Last of Part Two comes around, we're probably most likely going to get the upgrade to the PS Five, like I would expect them to, and also uh, probably a mention of Four Factions. So they will be talking about that game sometimes. So, you know, they will be talking about that game again, or again the hype or whatever you want to call it will be talked about again sometime soon. Yes, they will. You know. So yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I, uh, no, I'm I'm I do do have some uh, bad news actually. Uh, this just came in. Um, Sony is planning on. Uh, well, it, it's it's actually confirmed. Sony confirmed that the this is bad news for the PS4 users out there. Sony confirmed that the PS4 communities will be shut down by. Uh, 20 uh, 2021 april so oh, yeah. that means knew they this. I, I knew this already uh, oh, oh okay yeah, so... yeah, they, they... yeah i learned about this while we were uh, while yeah, we were they, live. okay okay so you know <laughs> it's all no it's all right it's just like what I, I think adam was talking about well adam did not talk about this this year but i think me and adam have talked about the transition and how you get people off of other systems we know how we do this we, we yeah. basically close down shit on a previous system and get them yeah. to move to the new system. I don't feel that uh -huh. they should do it this rapidly because yeah. you don't have enough new systems to give to the consumers. 
But mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell them not to do it. It's just like, when are you going to add substitutes on a PS5? If you do want them to switch over here, we don't have like a community section over here. We don't have video mm-hmm. chatting over here. Like there are things we just don't have, have yet. Like a, huh? Do you think they should, they think they should have like a OBS or a, or a, um or something like Discord on, on the PS4? I, I, I'm open to anything. If they're comfortable doing it. I just don't want to say that they would do it because I don't know the type of Sony or PlayStation we're dealing with. It's a completely different one. Well, if you think about it, if you think about that, they kind of, I mean, the way the pies, the, the way the way the pies are kind of are at right now is it kind of acts like Discord because, again, you invite a bunch of people into the, like a group chat thing, right? Yeah. You, you, you know, text chat, and then also you can set up a pie and then they can jump in so technically it's, it's kind of like a discord already but like maybe not to like what, what you got one discord you know yeah, what to a degree, degree it is now? because you can like chat with them using your phone now you don't really have to have a playstation device you, you know what i'm dream what i've dreamed of is having uh for in the uh, playstation messages that you send videos to each other of of re- rec- recorded videos from your gameplay that you can send that in a messaging a group. Things, yeah, a lot of things we're talking about, like uh, it's kind of like going down the situation. Um, like you look at PS4, right? The way that looked at the beginning, and then what it looked like now, right? You know, yeah. with themes and how it looks, just in general. Yeah, like, it changed so much. That that changed a lot. I mean, maybe not like crazy, crazy, like an Xbox thing, right? Because an Xbox no, thing changed quite dramatically. Just, yeah. But, but like with that PlayStation, like well, you know, Jay was talking about with the community, it's like, but those sort of things. I mean, I don't. I personally don't know anybody that used those sort of. I mean, I again, I would. When I they first it. came out, I used them, but they weren't as advanced enough for me to continue to use them. Is it, yeah. Is it, so I'm seeing communities and events on here. Well, why not get rid of them? Like everything you're doing is gonna be for the benefit of the PS5, so. You're not going to use them anyway. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to use events going yeah. forward because everything's transferred. Like, it's rapid, though. Like, I, yeah. I, I have to say it's a little bit more rapid than the PS, um, PS3 um, PS transition to the PS4 transition. Yeah. I, I don't know, I, I don't know I if recently, I like it being that quick, though. Yeah, I don't I, know if I like it being that quick if they don't got enough systems ready. Yeah. I recently noticed that you cannot make any events anymore. Is it gone? Is it... I think that, uh, bro, I think it's gone. I think Damn. They, look, they going to get, look, I am hoping, I'm telling this to Adam, bro, you know, I hope you get a PS5 this year. Yeah. Th- but I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for some things to like to do. Cause like, I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, when I get a physical, I want to give this PS5 <clears throat> digital away. I don't like, I'm not a seller, you know, oh. I, I'm not a reseller. But I, I I will say one thing, it does look like they are moving quick, and I I think Adam might want to agree with me. In April, if that's the due date of things you're starting to cut off, and also August, I think for the the digital movies and shit. Between April and May, or April and August, you have to make sure you have enough PS5s out there. Yeah, like you're making that's a fair. rapid I mean, transition, is, man. Yeah, I mean the things with PlayStation Five, like the stock aspects, is that I have ordered not, one it, back it in not, de- December. I'm still waiting for my PS Five. <laughs> Why is it, it taking so damn long? It, <laughs> God when, damn, like, man! The, when it comes to PS Five, just like the 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 you know the uh, what's the word um, the demand of it, um, like it's this weird. I I I don't mm, nah, sorry. I don't know if I agree with it or not. Because again, like I can understand why they're doing it, but it's like the, this whole trickle, this whole trickle out aspect. Like you know, you see Target, Amazon, Google, no, it's on a Google um, game, and like you know, basically places in the UK, the US. Yeah, you, know, you see it on Twitter, right? You know, oh, Target have got them, GameStop have got them, you know, all that bits and bobs, right? They've got those things. Like they to get they trickle out bit by bit, but like. I wonder if I, I mean, I don't know if gamers will agree or not, but like the aspect of like, you know, maybe holding them back and bulking up, then putting them out at once. 
I don't know. I mean, again, it, it seems to obviously be working because PlayStation, you know, wherever, you know, PS5s get announced, like, hey, it's back in stock. It's like, they go within seconds, you know. Um, same thing with, you know, parts of countries in, you know, like we talk about with Xboxes. There, there are countries where, like, those things sell out, but some of them don't. Like, you know, I talked about with Sweden and other, you know, parts of Europe and stuff like that. Like, but they, they just, they're not going as quick as they should do. And it's like, why? It's a new console. It's like, maybe it's because, again, you look at the games that you're currently playing on your Xbox, X, one, one X or your Xbox One, do you really need to go and jump the gun? No, not really. But if Halo comes out this year, and even though, yes, that's you know it's going to be on all platforms, maybe that will be the incentive for like, yes, I want to buy an Xbox uh, Series S or X. I don't know. You have to wait and see on that. But, I mean, I see it every night. Like, when I go to bed, I, I'm, I, I go to bed like three or four in the morning over here. And, like, I literally see on my Twitter – in like a couple, like an hour, in an hour, we're going to have stock. And I'm like, well, that's good for me. Because if I get my money, you know, I get some money behind me, man. I'm just basically going to do that. I'm going to wait up. And as soon as that that, that fit shit goes live, I'm going to basically be here, like, in a dark room. Bam. Order. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, but, you know, um, I would say, like, going into, like, we always talked about this, right? The, the games that are coming out, like, Ratchet, I mean, I don't know obviously about Returnal because again, me personally, I'm a big fan of House Mark, but obviously, it's maybe not as popular as a Ratchet or a Horizon. But what when like you? Ratchet, when Ratchet and Horizon come out, or even Kenner, can we, you know, I'll, I'll throw Kenner in when that game comes out. I I hope PlayStation have got a fuck ton of stock behind them because those games are the ones that are going to be driving, especially Ratchet and Clank, because that's a PS5 game. And I would think Sony would want to have a stack of consoles ready for that, bundled with that game, because they will fly off the shelf. They and if they market that game the way they would do, like, you know, TV adverts, billboards, everything, right? They, they market the shit out of that game, and they, and they will. It's definitely going to be, like, you know, there. And, you know, as we know, like, what? I think AMD have talked about this, right? That the chip situation, it, uh, you know, it's slowly is slow, but it will it will speed up later on in the year. That's all we need to know. What I would like to know though about that situation is um, if AMD will. I, I'm not saying this will happen, but I do wonder if AMD will, let's say, prioritize a company over uh, over the other. Like, would AMD prioritize PlayStation um, consoles over Xbox consoles because they see them selling at a faster rate than Xbox is? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Be interesting to see that, actually, if that actually happens. Hmm. That'd be really cool. Let's have another one. Yeah, oh, no, actually, I want to know about that. Yeah, I want... Yeah, this is the... I've been hearing that Microsoft are still doing a March event, and I'm like... Okay, that's what you got. Two more weeks of March. I would have thought they would have if they announced if they if they were doing a March event. I would have thought they would announce that this week during that TED talk or that talk because they announced they said about the summer thing, right? They talked about the summer event, but they didn't talk about the March. Of, like, like that makes no sense. Why yeah. would they talk about the summer event? But then apparently there's, there's a rumored March event. But you're not going to talk about that. Like last year, they were very. I remember last year they talked about how they were doing a May event, a June event, July event, August event, September event. And look what happened with that shit. That didn't happen. They had a May, a July, was it? May, yeah, May, July, and a September event. Well, that's was it. Did it I mean, that September, wasn't September event like the announcement of the Series S. I think it was like something. Like, yeah, yeah. So I don't know about that. I'm still a bit. I'm still a bit iffy about that one. Because so I, because the original rumor was that they were going to do a Bethesda event at the end of the month. We're in the middle of the month. So that was all fucking... That was wrong. I mean, obviously, it was right that they did an event for Bethesda, but it was wrong where it was placed. And that was going to be the event that was going to be late March, but it wasn't. So I probably, wonder what that is. Probably about uh, a new update for Fallout 76. Don't know. Who knows? i tell you right now... I, I, that, I that'd, like be, know, that'd be the summer event. Yeah. Not be the E3. You know, I, I said, you know, fun enough, one thing I would like to know about, and again, it goes back to what I said about the Bethesda conferences, and again, like, with the community and them loving their community, right? I want to know 
<laughs> like, because of, again, this isn't a small studio going into Microsoft, right, where you can incorporate it into their showcase. This is a fucking publisher. So I'm wondering, and I, you know, I'm not the only one. There's Bethesda oh, fans. Oh, fuck! So, you just you just pointed fans. something out, bro. Don't doesn't Bethesda have their own event at E3? It, that's what I'm saying. Like I yeah, wonder gonna... if they. So I saw some Xbox fans saying, "Oh, well, I can't wait to see them at the showcase." And I was like, "I don't think they are going to be at place Xbox showcase because like it's like they have their they have enough things to have their own thing." So I'm in the situation of again, Xbox will do their thing, and then maybe later on that day, Bethesda will do their thing. And obviously, don't get me wrong, like, like even though they're separated and they do their own thing, I still think like you probably see like, Phil Spencer and some Xbox guys be there. Obviously, you no, know, because they, they, they own. So like, I think they're still doing their own events. If I'm being honest, I don't think they're doing. I don't think they're going to be a part of Xbox's events. Maybe they might do their event straight after Xbox. And maybe, like, if E3 was a thing this year, like, you know, it wasn't digital, they might be at the um, the, the plaza thing that they mm -hmm. do. I can yeah. see that. But not them doing their own little showcase and then, yeah. like, them together. I don't see that. Yeah, but you you got to also realize that the reason Bethesda did their own... Um, did their own showcase because they were big enough and they were massive publisher to have a, have their own showcase. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because this... you imagine if they put it together, like, that would be like a three to four hour fucking conference. I'm not about, I'm not fucking doing that shit. It's like the fucking Justice League film. I'm going to be fucking <laughs> watching that fucking whole thing. I, listen, I watched, uh, what's that film called? Um, Oh god, what was that fucking film called? Uh, da, 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 da. The The Irishman, fucking with De Niro, and that was like a nearly four hour film. I was like, fuck me, great film, but no, fuck that. I'm not <laughs> watching a four hour event or a two hour or a three hour event. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Uh, I mean, I know that films are roughly around three hours, but fuck that, no. I mean, I can, I, I'm, I'm not. I, this I, what I'm about to say is probably gonna be, it's, it's, just, it's gonna sound like fanboyish and bad, but I can I can just I can uh, I can just bear watching a two hour conference of Microsoft. I I can't watch a three hour Microsoft event. I'm sorry, like it sounds like I'm a dick, but I can't sit through a three hour fucking thing. And the same thing goes with PlayStation. Like I, I'm sorry, I, just, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to sit through that that long. It's too much. Like. It's just too much. Adam, I got an idea, bro. What's that? How about you sit on a bucket? What, shit in the bucket? Well, no, no, no. Sit on a bucket. That way, that, yeah, no. if you feel that you need to go to the restroom, you can yeah, no, still shit, yeah. watch the yeah, whole no, watch, Zack yeah. Snyder movie because it's important. Well, if that's the case, I might as well just fucking go to the toilet straight away and just sit on the toilet the whole well, time. Well, just, just download fucking... it to your tablet and then there you go. Exactly, man. Just like get the, the literally, man, go to the bathroom like like a newspaper. Right? Get the tablet, and maybe man. that's what Microsoft wants. They don't want you to yeah. detach from Game Pass. That's why they put it on cell phones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, exactly. No, you're not fucking wrong, bro. Like, toilet, newspaper. Nowadays you're on the you're on your phone taking a shit. You may play Angry Birds. Like now you can play Game Pass. You, you know what I mean? You play Game Pass. You play Game Pass. Whilst taking a shit, maybe you're playing Halo Infinite, shitting on people online, oh, taking a shit. I don't know. Like I think Phil, the way Phil looked at it was that when he when he was coming up with Game Pass and he said to he, when he's pitching to Nadella, he probably thought, "Listen, how about X Car and Game Pass?" Because what's that? He goes, how about he goes. This, you go it, 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 it's like Game Pass and X Guy because what's Game Pass? We give all our games for a certain amount, uh, like a very, very low price subscription service. But what about X Cloud? You get to play your games on tablets, phones, everything. So you might can take a shit whilst I'm playing my games. Correct. It's like, fuck yes. <laughs> That's what I want. I want to be able to take a shit whilst playing Battle Toads. And I'll be like, I'm good. And again, you could probably take it depends if you're the sole person that takes five hours to take a shit, you can again play the whole of Battletoads and take a shit and then be like, awesome. 
I'm done with the game, and then move on to the next game. This sounds amazing. Hey, Adam, can I ask you a question? When did Final Fantasy VII Remake come out? When when did it come out? I don't know. I'm just asking. No, when, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I think it was February, right? Or March? No, early March, right? Yeah. Early March. Yeah. Okay. The timed exclusivity deal is supposed to be over, so why didn't they announce it for PC and Xbox yet? I, I asked the same question. After Do you think PlayStation extended it? I'm going to say this right now. If, because I was in the situation of, again, when it comes to exclusivity deal, did they mention, like, because again, they mentioned obviously, you know, PlayStation will get it first, but did they mention who was getting it the next, basically the year after? Did they say Xbox and PC or they, did they just say PC? They didn't say any. They just said exclusive until this date. And it was a year from that date. That's all. Mm -hmm. They never said when. Maybe, in fact, in maybe, fact, fact, maybe they were talking about the PS5. You know, no, because there is no, there is no Xbox version of of that game planned. See, that's I don't I don't good. know if it's no Xbox version of that game, Truity. Yeah, I don't want to go well, that the, that route because you know how Square Xbox. Enix is. But I think yeah. if you look at PS4 and PS5, they are two different consoles. They do two different platforms. So when you see exclusive, no, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm what I'm what I mean is what I mean is like the the um the Xbox One version of Final Fantasy, what you is say? Planned, but not. I said what I'm saying is that the Xbox version is planned, but not Xbox One, but not the Xbox Series X. I'm see. Here's my problem about this situation because I do, I, and this goes into answering your question, Jay. Like they said a year, it's past a year, and PlayStation again, nothing's been mentioned about Xbox or PC. And what did PlayStation fans just get recently? It for free. And yep. then also we got confirmation of uh, the DLC. And I'm That's just cool. like, okay, uh, when is that game not going to be exclusive anymore? Or when is it going to be going to Xbox on PC? And I'm like, well, it should have been announced by now. And it hasn't. So I've made this thing of, I'm going to wait until June when the DLC comes out and when the upgrade to PS5 comes out. And if that comes out and there is no mentions of it going to Xbox and PC then or Xbox maybe maybe it does go to PC maybe um oh it hasn't passed a year was it was it April 10th let's have a look one sec April 12th that, that was not the one there uh one sec was it April 10th oh it was April 10th all right so it isn't passed it yet okay well, anyway, I'm in the situation of when June happens, when you get the PS5 uh, announcement, uh, or, you know, the, the DLC and thing, if it doesn't get announced then, I think that just like Final Fantasy XIV, like we heard recently, they snubbed the Xbox version, didn't they? I would not be surprised if they did that with Final Fantasy VII Remake. They just snubbed the Xbox. Because if they did it with the online game, I wouldn't be shocked if they did it with uh, the Xbox. Sorry, with the uh, remake. I would not be shocked. But again, we're going to have to wait. That's have to wait and see. But yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I mean, again, it's... Again, if, uh, again it is a temp. So wait then, see what happens. If nothing gets announced then... I mean, to be honest, I would have thought... I mean, oh, actually, no, I wouldn't actually, because that's a state of play. You wouldn't announce the... Yeah, you wouldn't do that. But actually, no, they did... The thing is, me saying that, they did announce those two mobile games afterwards. So, actually, no, they could have announced the Xbox version and PC version after that state of play. I don't know. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see on, on April, April 10th. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, had their own event, uh, then merged with... Uh, then Bethesda had me free uh, in July. Then Max would host Pokemon events. Yeah, again, yeah. I mean, again. So when it comes, yeah. So when it comes to Doom and Quake, they always talk, they always talk about their games at QuakeCon because that's where they can't do their gameplay situation. Um, and again, like yeah, like I, I go. I mean, to simplify that, again, they they they, they do their own events. 
And like I said, their event is always about their communities. They really, they really, I mean, Bethesda fucking care about their communities like a fucking ton. And again, like, they just, you know, Bethesda are like, you know, they're Bethesda. You know, so like I said, go just, literally, just go and watch any of their paths E3. You will literally see it within the first fucking seconds. You know, even their promotions. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy VII, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I mean, you know, Final Fantasy XVI sort of coming to Xbox. As of, yeah. See, that's what I mean, like, the one thing I find difficult in seeing is when I see Xbox fans say how Microsoft or Xbox will buy Square. When you are currently seeing them say, hey, we're not doing the online or Final Fantasy Online uh, 14 for Xbox anymore, and that they're making all these partnership and deals with Sony, and yet I do see people say, oh, they're going to buy Square. And also, PlayStation sold their shares, but then they bought back their shares this generation from uh, Square, oh. which tends to happen. So they Ooh. ain't gonna be as easy as what they may think. So again, I didn't actually know like, that. Yeah, they did, man. They, they. I mean, I thought I was in the same situation. Like people said to me, like, oh, I, should, I, I'm saying to one of these guys that actually knows his shit, like. I went, wait, they sold their shit. They go, nope, they bought them back. And I went, when the fuck did this happen? It goes, ah, well, you're going to have to look. And they looked at, you know, they gave me, again, the stocks, that sort of thing. And it was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And again, you see companies huh. offload. They, You see loads of companies offload shares, shuffle around for the time being, and then they come back to it because it's just moving around money. You know what I mean? They just do it. And again, Sony probably felt confident in doing it. Because they knew no one was going to, again, step in and go, oh, yoink, you know, like a Tencent or something like that, you know. You know, Tencent, I think, I think Tencent, um, they got some of that, actually, in the square, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now, the Zoom events, uh, that show, new Bethesda. Yeah, again, yeah, I think, I mean, well, the thing is, they use QuakeCon. Every time Doom gets announced, they always show a trailer, and then they use QuakeCon to show gameplay behind closed doors, or maybe they might show it to the public. They always do that. But yeah, uh, anyway, uh, going down, MS is not going to buy Square. I don't think they are, to us, I don't think, if I'm being, if I'm if I'm Microsoft man, you got 23 studios, you know, I, I go back to what I said, you you could barely fucking handle the studios that you had in the Xbox One era. Worst thing. Don't, if I'm, if I'm them, chill. Sit on your studios that you've got right now and let them make those games that they're making. Because the thing is, right, they bought these studios, yes, but we have yet to see evidence of, like, good evidence of those studios being a good purchase, right? Like, it. this happens with PlayStation, where, again, they purchased studios in the past and it hasn't worked out. And they end up selling them and people get pissed off with it. Same for Microsoft, right? We know that, that we know that Microsoft or Xbox, they have gotten rid of studio. They've gotten rid of IPs and projects that they've announced, right? And again, I'm not saying that like Avowed will get cancelled or Fable or whatever, but you have to keep that in the back of your mind. If you're an Xbox fan, you have to keep that in the back of your mind that some things could get cancelled. You do not know this. Anything can happen within the industry. Anything. Including including getting rid of studios. Like, I look at the studios that they obtained, right? And I think of Compulsion, Double Fine. I think of Rare. I think of, like, Ninja Fury. And I'm like, if they don't deliver on whatever marks or whatever Xbox are kind of thinking of, I do wonder if there's a situation where they do let them go. Or they do go, all right, we're get sorry, we're going to have to, like, drop you. Sorry. But this studio that we've got recently is doing some really cool shit. And it will suck. And again, this doesn't, it goes back to what I said with Bethesda, right? If their games do not deliver, right? Like they're not good, people are going to be pointing fingers at fucking Xbox. They are. Let's be honest. They will point fingers at Xbox because they own them. It's like PlayStation. Like people point fingers at, would point fingers at PlayStation if, I don't know, some, some, some studio's not doing good. I have fucking no clue. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just, yeah, like, I think Xbox right now, they've, they're good. They've got 23 studios. 
We have yet to see anything from those studios as of yet, like concrete. I'm talking gameplay, apart from Halo. So I would be sitting on those situations of like, let's see what they bring out. And if it's going hunky-dory for the next few years, then yeah, buy another studio maybe, or whatever the fuck they're going to do. But if they go ahead after Bethesda and they buy an old publisher or, uh, you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, again, at that point, you know, you're just strengthening the situation of what we mentioned earlier on, which they don't give a fuck about the games. They don't care. They care about the content that those games are delivering. As long as it's semi-par good, like a Netflix, where it's just something for you to open up and watch, that's what they give a fuck about. Which, again, to some gamers, that isn't the way. Like, they don't want that. They want quality, like, they want a quality game. Like, they want that, they want that, they want that first class shit. Not like, uh, you know, whatever. Could we see it? Wait up, did you just say X-Men first class to get in a video game? No, to first class. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I see a lot of times, when I talk about Supergiant games, right, I find it funny when somebody tells me, oh, who the fuck are they? And it's like, oh, they made Transistor, Bastion, Pyre, and fucking Hades. Like, oh, they're a shit game. I don't give a fuck about this game. Like, well, then, then clearly you don't give a fuck about games that win awards and that are talked within the industry because they are that fucking good. And it's just like, yeah. And it's just like, yeah, great taste, man, great taste. But then they will say, fuck yeah, Battle Toads, or I don't fucking know Nat guy, I fucking know. Him. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I, I like Nat, I'm not gonna lie. I do like Nat. But yeah, it's like, you know, it's what it is. Yeah. Now, apart from that, though, man, like, right now, like, Xbox, just chill. You got your little studios, you know, you got your studios. Now you just gotta prove it. You, gotta, you know, you gotta make those games. Go bring them out. Go prove to the Game Pass subscribers and the community of Xbox. You know, if they're going to buy those games up, you no, know, upright. Because again, you can still buy the games. You know, if they're if they're willing to do so. I mean, again, they spent seven point five billion dollars on those deals, yes, and obviously they spent them maybe to make them exclusive, yes. And it's also the case of again, the reason why they spent seven point five billion as well is to make them permanent. On Game Pass. Otherwise, if they didn't, they will be spending hundreds of millions of dollars to put them on Game Pass for a year, maybe a few months. Which, again, let's be honest, why would you do that? You might as well just go for the 7.5 billion and just own the thing. Makes sense. You know? It's right there. But apart from that, man, I mean, yeah, I mean... The way it looks right now is, uh, you know, Sony showed their little cards the other week, right? And then obviously, we kind of already knew this was going to happen with uh, Xbox, you know. We knew it was going to happen. We, we, we heard about the March approval. We knew it was going to happen. It happens. They basically use this TED Talk platform to basically just say, this is about Game Pass. And it's like, that was the message. It was not about the new games of Bethesda, which they'll announce and talk about in the summer. It was about Game Pass, and they nailed that. The whole of that day, literally, talked about all those games that you could play. And the FPS boost, and that was it. That was the reason why they did that. They Did they have to? No. They could have just gave us some blog post and be like, hey, they've announced that we've hey, joined Hey, True Woody, are you, are you talking, or are you talking like to somebody else? No, I'm just talking. Just talking. No, guys. not you, True Woody. Like I'm, I'm here. I'm hearing True Woody, but I'm not sure if he's like on a phone call or, or is he? No, 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 no. I'm no, no. I'm, I'm playing a game, bro. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. Well, Adam was talking to 85 walls, so I wanted to talk to Adam about the other wall. Um. Yeah, I'm done with the Bethesda thing. Anyway, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, but look, the Bethesda thing is gonna play itself out. But yeah. I get. I I let Sony do this. If you like waiting, wait. Let them let them do what they need to do this month. Let them keep the rest of the month. You move into April. You dominate April. You're already I mean, ready for June. Yes, and, and see what happens in May. You know, when it like, comes to when it comes to PlayStation, the way I look at it is that again, PlayStation can clearly see that even though it may not be bulks and bulks and bulks of consoles, as soon as those games things go on sale, they are selling. If they see that, and then, and again, they are seeing that, they. The way that indicates to them is that do we need to show 
Like, do we need to be like up? Like, do we need to like give you this and that? No, not really. But obviously, there are people that are such as yourself that have a place of five that want to see the future. And again, we all know when Xbox and PlayStation are going to do their thing. It's going to be around June, summertime, basically. We, we know it's going to happen. Mm. We know that those events are going to happen. And obviously, we you know it is now, you know, we know those events are going to happen. But, like, we want to know about... Are there going to be any other events before that? And, again, I can say right now, there will be a state of play... Uh, again, there's going to be a state of play based around uh, Pro Returnal, also Ratchet and Clank. I can definitely see them maybe doing one for... Um, un- uh, sorry, um, Last of Us Part 2. Because, again, on the, anniv- on the anniversary, you know, I feel like they will give you an upgrade for the PS5. They will talk about... When, it, when is the Last of Us Part 2 uh, um, anniversary? It's uh, late June. Like, was it June 16th, 19th? Really? That, yeah. It got pushed back that far last year? I forgot. Goddamn. Yeah, because then you remember, uh, Ghost came out in July. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, yeah. they did push it back. Okay, yeah. so this there, there, there's a pattern I wanted to look at. It was because I was watching the... Um, the documentary of raising raising Kratos. I gotta say, I know you and and Sam and Somatic been talking to me about it. I finally got down to watching it last week. Jesus. It was powerful. Yeah, it was just powerful. I want one of those for Neil Druckmann. <laughs> I don't know if they can edit all the crap out. That's what I, don't, I, I, I would like to be honest, man. I would like to see the documentary of making that game because I would love to see them. I, I don't think they would do it. The fucking turmoil or fucking leaks. And I would yes, love- I want to know the reaction to the hate hmm. of the game based yeah. off of the leaks. That I want to see that. Documentary. That would be a great documentary. I don't think they'll be able to do what Raising Kratos did. Because again, like when you look at the Raising Kratos, they overcome so much shit. With yes, that they did, bro. Like, yes, they fucking, fucking the did. Whole, like I remember when IGN posted up, like you know, Santa Monica were laying off people. They canceled the project, and I was like, "Well, that's the end of Santa Monica." Fuck. And four years later, God of War comes out, wins Game of the Year. What the fuck? What the fuck is that turnaround? <laughs> it happened. And people wonder, like, you know, why PlayStation fans talk so highly of their studios. and That's, a, that's why. Because they're the best of the best. <laughs> that's why, man. I mean, the management behind PlayStation Studios are fucking great. And you, uh, people do not, I mean, I some people say they do not give them much, enough credit. I try to give them as much credit as they can as it comes. They are so fucking good at it. And so I would do you like think we would get an update? Because this is how I feel, right? If yeah. some of the other studios can't produce a game, you could still help PlayStation have a great year by putting your game out. And I think that if Naughty Dog is working with Blue Point or somebody else to get a more advanced version of the Nathan Drake collection, they're going to release it on PC and PS5. I'm cool with that, but I'm hoping you can bring out that multiplayer. So I, I'm hoping that... I thought the multiplayer we, has to be a thing. Yeah, I would hope that the fans have waited long enough for naughty dog to share even a small detail about the multiplayer because the way they made it seem when they were delaying the multiplayer that it was still coming out at that year but it wasn't coming out with the game and then we're in the third month of the year of this new year you know and like you said it's almost a year since the game came out so i'm hoping a year after the single player came out i hope we got the like. I hope we waited long enough. Just give us one detail. I don't give a fuck what it is. When uh, it comes to that 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 whole situation, like I was always wondering to myself when they announced that, like they they brought out like, yeah, we we are bringing out the multiplayer. That is still a thing, but we're not doing it this year. We're, obviously, they kind of like you know we're not doing it at launch. But like when they mentioned it, it was like, oh, it's, um, it's more ambitious than what it originally was. I'm like, oh, okay. So like, you know, they just need more time sort of thing. Like, you know, it may, they're doing certain things. What do you like, mean by more ambitious than they um? Well, this is the thing. I thought it was like slightly a little bit more bigger than what they expected. What um, do you think? Open big, world? I, think it's, I think it's way bigger than what we think it is. You talk about I the multiplayer? 
I'm talking about the multiplayer. I think the multiplayer to factions is bigger than. I'm gonna tell you right now. Character customization is gonna be one of the things I expect to see in there. I'm talking you about ain't character gonna... customization. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about. I'm talking about everything. Jay. I'm talking about them. Because listen, right? One of the things that they got praised on was how that multiplayer worked in the situation of what when the you, fuck? Like when you went into a get. Come on, wasn't that before that multiplayer? Before we even knew there was a multiplayer in that fucking game. By the way, they kept that shit hush two two weeks before the game came out. We then heard there was multiplayer. We didn't have a clue that had multiplayer. And then they announced it. I hate the people right. that leaked out the story and then they also went out around and leaked out the multiplayer experience. It's not... I'm, I'm happy that I, I get proof that it exists. It's just like, bro... They treated Naughty Dog like some shit, bro. Naughty Dog was there for you when Crash Bandicoot came out and Jack and Daxter and Uncharted and The Last of Us. You gotta treat them... Bro, it's like... I, the reason why I want to see their documentary is like you gave so much to the gaming community and they treat you like some just evil person based off of what they think is going on with the Abby leak yeah. of the story. Do you under do you see that? Like me as a gamer, I felt hurt for them. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I get. I'm, I, I it's like it was unfair. Like, disrespectful. Yeah, it was I, disrespectful. I, I remember when um, I don't know who it was um. It was, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember. No, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, basically, Laura Bailey. I mean, it was Laura Bailey. It was. Yeah, she tweeted out because I didn't want to do this, but I have to. And she literally tweeted out someone who literally said a shit ton of bad, bad things. And part of that was, I'm going to rape your kid. Ooh, and I was that like, kind of stuff is just wrong. Yeah, that is just that wild. In the industry. Or, sorry, within the gaming community, in general, I don't give a fuck if you're an Xbox fan or you're an Nintendo fan. I don't give a fuck. That shit. Fuck. Oh. Bro, like, it's a lot of the shit that went and, on. I, I, a lot of people say it was all PlayStation fans. And, I don't know a lot of no, PlayStation no, fans yeah, dude, no. that was that no, extreme. It was just a lot of trolls, bro. It was a lot of trolls. Nah, bro. I don't know their background. I'm not going to speculate if it was PC or Xbox, but it was a lot of people that it gets confused in history, even though it just happened last year, that they say it was PlayStation fans that attacked Naughty no, Dog. Wasn't. That, that it was helped. not, bro. It was not us. That was a mix. Yeah, that was a mix, bro. And the thing is, when I remember watching the Game Awards, even though I don't really care much about the Game Awards, I was glad to see that she won that award. So I'm like, it just basically... I, it was... If I was not, if I listen, if I, except the what, I would literally. Have just, oh my I, God, I Adam! Just, I just had an epiphany. And I would have just said, "Fuck all of you, asshole." Adam, I had I an epiphany, bro. At the end of this month, we get the confirmation of the BAFTA award winners. Yeah, that's gonna be big. Yeah, that's gonna be very big, yeah. leading into April, which is. Going to be the anniversary of God of War 2018 on the 20th of April. I'm not expecting anything, but I did mark down my calendar because something April. might happen. April 20th. Um, okay. You got God. Do you? Uh, sorry. Do you have The Last of Us Part Two winning the game of the year at BAFTA? Well, yeah, I do. I mean, the one thing I'm still I'm still scratching my head about, which again, they it's kind of, I can't I can't read really, like it. It's uh how it puts like they they were nominated for the most awards right in the BAFTA so like it's like the situation of like am I gonna be a little bit pissy or like be that fucking kid that's like oh fuck you and that was um they got nominated for all those awards but the one <laughs> the one award they didn't get nominated for was narrative <laughs> but the thing was Assassin's Creed Valhalla did and I'm like really really. I played that game. There was that the based on the other games that came out this year. And again, Final Fantasy Seven wasn't even a part of that. Wasn't a part of that. Uh, or even Ori. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, okay, fuck it. Listen, like I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know, they've been nominated for a shit ton of awards, like the most awards at the battle. So yeah, you can't be too pissed off in that situation. But again, like, yeah, like you know, based on it, like I think they will. I think it's going to be, I've always said this, it's going to be between that game and Hades. I think 
if I'm going to say, I, I feel there's a part of me that feels like Hades might win game of the year, the BAFTAs. Because it's, I just, I just have a feeling of it. But then when it comes to like best voice acting, that sort of thing, I think, I definitely think Laura Bailey's going to win that. Yeah, she is. 100% she'll win that shit. Um, and obviously some of the other things that they've got announced for, which, you know, rightfully so. I'm not going to lie. They, they deserve it. But yeah, like, yeah. But I mean, going back to what you mentioned about April, I, I mean, I've said this before. April uh, April is around the time when, obviously, you know, what was it, in February, you get the financial aspects, like the, uh, you know, the financial years. Uh, April is when they most companies do, like, taxes and stuff like that, which is a good opportunity to actually announce acquisitions to studios. Oh, shit. So, it again, PlayStation could announce acquisitions to, again, But that's like, what I'm looking for, um, Adam. I'm looking for April producer. not because of the taxes, but the fact is you already talked about Bethesda in March. You know, the, probably the next time they even mention Bethesda, uh, it's probably be around E3 this summer. So mm -hmm. PlayStation has an opportunity to talk about some stuff in April outside of, uh, um, what is it, uh, Returnal. I, I'm going to yeah. tell you right now, I really want Returnal to do good for real. Yeah, I, I want do. people to support it. I want people to stream it. They're already, they're already making the next game, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But I just I just really want them to do good. I've I've always loved them. It's mm -hmm. just I'm not very good at some of their games, but I Ooh, always I'm not really go good out. At their games either, but they're nice. Yeah, their games are nice, and I always go out day one and pick their games up. Like every single house marquee game, I picked up day one, no fucking question at all. Yeah. No, like their games, they are based off of classics or of arcade games. That's what they worry a bit about. But obviously. They mentioned years ago that they want to like sort of stare. Up. They want they want to be known for more, and obviously, Returnal is that next step. And I remember when when, when uh, they did their little video thing recently, or no, it was it was a state of play. Hearing them doing a um a um a roguelike hey, you know, game. Can I where can I call you back? I'm gonna try to wrap up this stream. Okay, so I'm going to call you right back because I want to be able to focus. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, wait, he's on the phone. All right, not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'll call you right Jay's back. Not upset. Jay's yeah, not upset. Jay's not upset. Obsessed with Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah, but once again, return a lot. I was really happy to hear that they're doing like a roguelike situation where like every single time you die, you the map changes, the enemies <sighs> change. Okay, she's about to go slow. So, um, what's up? Jay is obsessed with Bethesda. I'm not. No, a, see, yeah. I, I mean, I got I got <laughs> like a written record of my Bethesda titles. Like it says that both of the Wolfenstein games I purchased, I didn't get a trophy until like 2017. So I haven't played them since 2017. I played one of the Wolfensteins yesterday. For the first time since 2017, I picked up Doom that came out in 2016, probably in 2017 or 18 uh, at a reduced price. And then I went and double dipped on a cheaper price digitally. And then I got Doom Eternal Day 1. But that's my record. I haven't beaten any Bethesda games ever. It's just not really mm -hmm. that important. What I do I want say, is I want PlayStation to have a response to what happened with Bethesda. But it doesn't necessarily mean I I care that much or I'm obsessed with Bethesda. I just want PlayStation to have a healthy, um, sharp response towards the acquisition, you know. But I'm not pushing them to say, hey, you need to make one just as big. But there are some smaller people that you might as well just pick up. Adam talked about this war chest maybe a month ago. I definitely think that you don't even have to spend all... 15 16 dollars in the war chest you can get um ember labs house marquee blue point uh and a, and a few others and you probably won't even break five million i'm seeing five billion so i think you're good you know uh i can't wait for this king of fighters though king of fighters 15 i got 14 i loved it um 
it's just it's so many games that are supposed to come out this year. I just hope they can continue to come out this year. I'm just really trying it, to pre order shit this week. So I'm hoping some games get release dates this week. Isn't to... the story in Japanese though? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm... they can change that though. I'm hoping they can make it in English. Mm. I just that's hope. that's one that's one of the reasons why I don't like some anime anime games. It's like it's all Yeah, I mean Japanese. I'm I'm the same way too, bro. Like I like I won't I won't touch any anime games now if they don't have English voice acting. Like I I'm dead serious. Like Thirteen Sentinels, if I wasn't t- I, like I would have picked it up. But I was told late that the game had uh English voice acting and by that time Sam had already got it, so I just downloaded it off of his account. But yeah, I don't touch games that don't have English voice acting, bro. You gonna bring it if you go bring it to the United States, you gotta try your hardest to get that English voice acting. Bye-bye. Um, Yo Jay. Yeah. Bro, I'm the same way with that man with English voice acting and anime games. Yeah. Bro. Let me ask you this. Did you play did you play Trials of Mana? Trials of Mana? The one that came out last year. Yes, I own that. That was day one. No okay. question. Dude, dude, the voice acting in that game is bad, though. <laughs> it's bad, but I'm glad it's there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about, you know, just a quick question. Um, so I know there's a couple of Xbox fans in here, or people are, uh, are fans that like, have an Xbox. Um, just a quick question, and I just want anyone, I just want people's opinions, because I see a lot of people posting it. Uh, what's your opinion on Kids Move uh, going from the situation of, I don't care about Bethesda games, which was like what last year or some shit like that, and then go from that to Bethesda, Bethesda games. I just wanted, I just wanted it's, to know. It's, it's, I wanted to ask you a question a though. Did you that. see? I just want to know because I'm like, it's funny, bro. Yeah, I saw the picture. That's okay. why I brought. Okay, 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 okay. I, okay. I, I, I was waiting for you to go click on Discord to view the picture. I okay. Saw that shit, bro. <laughs> so you you try to change your record after they get acquired <laughs> to make it seem that you care about them. But we can see that you just now playing them. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of a lot of people have been doing that. Even that even dude, even that that to me that to me just sounds like a spite. You're doing that shit out of spite. Uh. So yeah, Mog. So yeah, Mog. Basically, the question was: if you know this guy called Kid Smooth, right on Twitter, he basically said, I think it was last year or whatever, how he doesn't like Bethesda games, doesn't care for Bethesda games, but yet. Because of the acquisition that was made by Xbox, now it's a part of Xbox, he now somehow all of a sudden loves him. This is not on the guy it's at pa- all. It's pathetic. It's, it's pathetic. I I, I, for me, personally, I fucking hate that shit when gamers do that. Where they're like, oh, I don't love this game. And then all of a sudden, uh, they make a game for that company or whatever. And it's like, fuck yeah, I love this shit. It's like, what the hell? I right. fucking that shit. I despise that. I really do. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he asked. There you go. Oh, pose on. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a perfect example. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's a perfect example. It's, you know, but it's one of those funny things. Like, that's, yeah, that's what he said. I mostly avoid the No game. credibility. No credibility. It, like, that's the problem, right? Because here's my problem with this situation. He says, when he said that, I was like to myself, isn't Kissman the sort of gamer that loves first person shooters, those sort of games? Like, I'm not thinking, so you must like Wolfenstein and Doom and so that. And then it's like, apparently not. And then all of a sudden, it's like, nope, um, you know, uh, yeah. I just, yeah, I don't like that. I fucking despise that shit. I hate it. Like, you know, it's, I, and I think it isn't just smooth. I've seen a few Xbox people, like, kind of, they, the way they talked about Xbox, you know, they, you know, they're very, you know, and people have sort of like, you know, games for eternity. Uh, big shout out for reminding me I own this game. Yeah, <laughs> like, thank wait, you. Re- reminding you what now? <laughs> that I own this game, Trials of Mana, bro. Bro, I, I have a lot of games, bro. Like I am Game Pass. That's what they call me. <laughs> like <laughs> Game Pass, Jay. Bro, I got five hundred and eighty-eight games, people. Hey, Jay, 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 hmm? Jay. Your library is bigger, and bigger than bigger than Game Pass. I know, bro. Look, I, I, it's crazy. Grow your Game Pass, bro. Grow your Game Pass. And I got a like my library is very diverse, by the way. Like much, man. Like it's crazy. 
my my library is nowhere near as diverse. Let me go. Like let me go do something because I I was I was feeling a way about this game, but I want to do uh, um. Trials of Mana PS4 60 frames. Ooh. According to the Ooh. Reactor, 60 frames. Though. Okay, so it targets 60 frames per second on a PS4 Pro, so I'm guessing that's why it's so clear. I was just wondering because I didn't feel that it was hitting 60 frames a lot on a Pro, but it's completely different right here. I just wanted to check it out. So, yeah, that's what it was. It was struggling on a Pro, even though it shouldn't have. Uh, looking at this game, but god damn, my goodness, it's fucking beautiful. I would, you know, I would like to know this actually. You know, I've, I've just thought of something, but hold on a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious about this. What about a treasure chest? One sec. No, no, it's just, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something else. Oh, there you go. It's just yeah. weird, bro. I hope Xbox fans don't keep doing that dumb kiss move shit. Like, oh, okay, they own Bethesda. Let me go play it now. And then people check your record and they see that you played it after they were acquired. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, this is an interesting thing. Because obviously, and it's not a big thing, but like Doom Eternal, they've got DLC. They have yet to give Game Pass people that the I, I, I just thought that, that the DLC that they've got on Doom Eternal, I would think now that they would... Give it away yeah, for they, free. On, uh, yeah, that'll be on Game Pass with that. With that, like again, deals. They give them obviously the game, but the DLC obviously. I would think they would give. The, yeah, exactly. They would give all the DLCs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, uh, I this to, game I shines in sixty frames. The pop in is bad, but god damn, every, the sixty <laughs> is just so good. GT Seven got delayed, so it could be a part of. Maybe, I mean, be a part of what VR? Because I didn't read yeah, it. Yeah, VR too. I mean, I okay, guess, yeah, that makes I sense. Mean, I mean, that. I mean, I won't say entirely, but yeah, I think that could be that could be a sense. Yeah, I I can see that. But again, like GT Seven, they're, they're just the, again like guys over there. They're just notorious that shit. And the thing is, like, I remember when they. The, the thing is, I don't quite get. It, I'm baffled by it. I feel like that game is. The thing is, in my mind, and I think that it, it is a thing, right? GT7 can come out as we speak right now. I think I believe this is real. That game could launch this week. But if we're talking about, you know, what's in the game, like cars, like that, we are probably would be kind of getting the situation of like a, a sport, like a GT sport situation, maybe. Maybe they want to add more, I don't know. But it'll be interesting. Hive uh, DLC for Gears um, was the first... Okay, yeah, see, yeah, because yeah, I played the High Buses DLC, and I was like to myself, have they got, I mean, obviously, because they didn't acquire Bethesda, or it didn't finalize until this week, so I'm oh, like, fuck, I got a trophy. I also know there's not, there's a few games that is on Game Pass, yeah, well, I think, uh, Wolfenstein 2 is not on Game Pass, I think Doom 2016 is on Game Pass, That's the whole thing about I being a video that. gamer, just play your fucking games, you'll get achievements and trophies out the ass. Yeah. <laughs> just play your fucking games like you're getting excited about a, a fucking acquisition that already fucking went through go play those bethesda games just go but they're not playing them though they're not playing them though that's the thing they're not charting on they're not charting though those games aren't charting even though they're old they're not I mean, charting on game I, um, I, game pass I actually funny enough that you're talking about this right I remember I actually I had to do this. Um, Someone on Twitter retweeted, it was a couple weeks ago, I think, that Doom Eternal made 450. Oh, God, what is it again? Let me just double check this real quick. Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. I cannot uh, believe how fun this yeah, is. Combat, um, Doom, yeah, so Doom Eternal, so previous Doom Eternal has made over four hundred and fifty million dollars in revenue. It basically, uh, yeah, so in the course of a year, and an Xbox fan said, "I remember saying, oh, see, that's what happens when you put it on Game Pass." And I'm like, "Excuse me, are you fucking crazy?" Are you fucking insane? <laughs> like, I, my eyes were like, what the fuck's this guy on? And I clapped back at him saying, that shit got fucking thrown on Game Pass in October. 
do you think that game made four hundred and fifty million dollars based off of fucking like you know Game Pass alone? Or obviously we we all knew that was the case. He obviously said no, I don't believe that. And I went, how much do you think Game Pass gave that? And he actually gave me an answer. I'm like, that that is the wrong answer. That's the problem. That game made that money from people that bought that game on Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo and PC. I was like, what are you smoking? Oh, uh, Bethesda uh, would not sell another game ever again. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm gonna tell you this, man. I I do want to ask this question: Is Bethesda prepared to put a, every single game on Game Pass in the future? Yep. Yep. You yep. That, that's, that's the so case. how do they make? They how do they to, make? They they make look, how will they make money in the future off no, of that, Xbox? That, every game will be on Game Pass. I'm sorry, that, that, no, that's, that's cool. That's cool. But how do you make money off the Xbox community? That's the thing, Jay. Yes. Yes. It's yeah, not. It's not. A, listen, it's not about them making money. Microsoft is paying them, so it's not like they have to worry about that. Yeah. My member box I bought them for seven point five billion dollars. They're good. All they gotta do is the make games for Microsoft. Exactly. The Microsoft is paying is... them to make money to make yeah, games. So the, the people, the ones that the the pockets that are being burned right now are Microsoft. They are yeah. Xbox, not theirs. They're on them. They 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 could do. They can bleed fucking Microsoft or Xbox Drive. They want. <laughs> oh fuck. That's, a, that's, what, that's what I say though. Like again, like I don't they think do, people like, really want that scenario though. I said, like I said, with the, like I said, the situation of their games, right? The, if their games come out, you no know, rough, who's going to get the blame? Microsoft. Exactly. I mean, people will talk about Bethesda, obviously, yes, but Microsoft's going to be like, oh, but you acquired Microsoft. You put put seven point five billion. You you're funding them. It's like yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But like, the thing is, Microsoft can't hand even hand the ten, much less now twenty three. This no, game got a day and night cycle. This is this is this is where it comes out. Like every question within this deal of Bethesda, like every conversation that happened this week, was that we'll have to wait and see in the future because that is literally <laughs> it. Like we don't know what's going to happen in the future for this deal. We don't know if again the whole legacy common and all those those all those things that Phil said. We don't know if they mean that every game is going to be exclusive and it's going to be on Game Pass Day. I mean, obviously, I think every game is going to be on day, Game Pass Day, day and day. Like, that's just... That oh, it will. It will. That's a yeah. given, though. But when it comes to, like, games going to our systems, that's not a question. We don't know this. Xbox fans don't know this. And again, like, you go back to all the little statements that they made from the, the, the acquisition when they announced it all the way up until this point. They've been wording it differently. And again, these words have been coming from people from Bethesda, Zinemax, and Microsoft, and Xbox. And it's like, which one am I looking at? Which one is the one that's going to give me the answer, the true answer? You don't know. That's why when Phil said about a case-by-case basis, right? I think that is the case. Like, it's, it's you know, we don't, like, as of right now, like, I see exercise saying, the contractual obligation legacy games like, and and when he mentioned that he's basically saying that it's death loop and ghostwire it's like yeah of course but if it was uh, if if that was the obligated contract then it wouldn't have been simple to just say after those two contracts that's it yeah that's exactly. simple that, that's my that's one of my points they, but he said also future future yes, exactly. and i know and i know and i know death loop and i know ghostwire it hasn't come out yet, so that could be the future, but yes. Like <laughs> what else is there? Okay, yeah, Mog, Mog, I mean uh, Mog, it is it is speculative. Like yeah, that's the thing, and that's the that's that's the thing about this. Like, I remember when they had the talk, well they, they announced it on Tuesday, and people I remember seeing loads of people, like journalists, as well as people on Twitter, saying so so they say some, and it's like, like it, a lot of people, Xbox and PlayStation, like so they are getting exclusive games, but they're also going to be putting games onto other platforms. And then on Thursday, they come out and they say obligate contract, and then they say legacy games instead of some games. And it's like, that's a different way of quoting it. And it's like, so like, what is it? And again, I saw Xbox and say, oh, look, he said exclusive. He said exclusive to Game Pass. That's what I heard, and other people heard. So it's like, but what? Yeah, it could, it, like, it could, it, I think it could easily be timed, 
timed exclusive. Remember, he all he said he all he said it will be exclusive to Game Pass. Yeah, and, and you gotta remember, game, Phil game Spencer, Xbox. Phil Spencer has always used this, and majority of the time when they talk about exclusivity, if you look at the uh, Tomb Raider deals, they would always say exclusive, but they would not say timed exclusive. Ah, you know what? You bring this a funny. Uh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, oof, yeah, oof, God. I've talked to I well, I was talking to a dev friend of mine about that situation. He brought up, he brought that shit up, and that was when was wait hold on when was when was that uh wait rise of the Tomb Raider moment well, announcement because I get I like oh god like no 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 man because I remember I remember right I remember Rise of the Tomb Raider that conference yeah was that 2014 that was it. Xbox's conference, they announced Rise of the Tomb Raider, right? And then we got word that that game was going to be exclusive to Xbox, right? And everyone was like, oh, fuck, that's bullshit. What the fuck? Because we, again, PlayStation fans got the 2013 game, right? Obviously, it's a little bit of a different beast right, in some manner. But again... Basically, they had a one-year time exclusive they had a one -year time deal on yeah. every game, so, including the remaster. Yeah. Like, it was here's the crazy. Thing. Here's the thing about that, Jay. It's public knowledge that they came out, and within that year, basically when that game eventually came out to PlayStation, they said that what they did in that situ in the situation of that deal hurt the game more oh. than, than benefit. Oh, my goodness. That's illegal. Exactly. And my friend... Like, well, who I can't say his name because no one talked about the situation of, you know, a Fallout, an Elder Scrolls, that sort of thing. And again, it's a little bit different because, again, it's it, the, the, it's an acquisition sort of thing, right? And I can understand that. So, you know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, touchy, touch go subject sort of thing. But there is a sort of similarity there where, again, if let's just say, PlayStation are X amount of units in, and this is before. I was just say yeah. Let's say that, I, I'm just gonna put a number on it. So PlayStation have 50 million, 50, 50 million units, right? They've got over 50 million units. Xbox are roughly reaching the 30 million mark, maybe 25 million mark. And again, Game Pass is booming. They're getting their games, that sort of thing. Bethesda are giving them the games, that sort of aspect. But Game Pass is not growing as fast as they want it to, first of all. And secondly, they're not selling as much consoles as they think they would. It comes in that situation of whether or not Xbox or Microsoft will be thinking about those situations of, with that case-by-case -case basis of, do we, you know, do we um, cash in for that $70, you know, uh, version of the PlayStation? And that could be a case. But it's also, by the way, it's also a case that, again... If they, if uh, Bethesda, whoever is making these games, whether it's machine games, or whatever, are making those games for the uh, what's going, uh, are making those games with the PlayStation dev kit in mind, because that's another thing. Because that's what I'm thinking about, right? When it comes down to that part, right? Now they've been acquired by Beth you know, Bethesda, been acquired by Xbox. Theoretically, they don't need that. They, if they are like, going to be exclusive, that means that they don't need PlayStation dev kits, do they? Nope. And the thing is, and I'm going to say this right now: the vast majority of their companies, and again, like you know, sorry, their studios within Bethesda ordered a shit ton of PS5 dev kits. Uh oh. Knowing, and again, yep. that was around roughly the same time where, again, they knew that they, you know, they were looking to maybe get acquired by someone, that sort of thing. But they still went ahead and were going to buy dev kits for both systems. That's an interesting aspect to that. So, what are they Adam. just going to get rid of them, or are they going to keep them, or are they actually using them for other games? That's a good question. I Adam. think and no one talks question. about that, by the way. No one's talking about it. No, they're not. Um, you got a question in the chat. What's that? 
You got quick Adam, to uh, you think Resident oh, Evil 8 thing, could yeah, be well. a PSVR exclusive, which is why it doesn't support v PSVR at the moment? That's the question about Umar again with the rumors. Uh, Wait, no, no, they, they, no way. But they, they've already confirmed PSVR. I don't know. I don't pay attention to Resident Evil. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they've already confirmed PSVR. Uh... Yeah, they have confirmed PSVR. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they confirmed that shit. Yeah, PSVR headset uh, were, were undoubtedly boosted by its offering. Yeah, exactly. yeah, they did. And again, knowing them, yeah, they will probably, like, you know, re uh, with the, the new VR system, whatever it's going to entail and do, that will be, yeah, 100%. Okay, guys. I'm guessing we're done yeah. with today's <laughs> Sunday show. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just say Mog Mo just said uh, that they had no idea it was MS. It didn't, again, that's what I mean. Rallo God, God, what's going on, bro? Yeah, they. Uh, that's the. That's what I mean, Rog. They they didn't know if it was gonna be PlayStation or Xbox, but again, they bought dev kits for both systems. Like so. Listen, they you, they, you they bought know, dev right? kits. They know, they they knew. So, hold on, let me ask you one final question before Jay heads off, right? Knowing that they bought death kits, right? So many death kits for all um, all of Bethesda Studios. Are they are they going to give those death kits back now? Because here's the here's the thing. Why would you have death kits for the console you're not making anything for? Well, that's the thing. That's the, that's what Mog and I are obviously mentioning here. Because again, they didn't know who was going to acquire them. But obviously, they're looking for that situation. Now that they have got that. It is that case of like, what are you doing with the death kits? Are you just? I mean, sim the simple answer is they just again they give them back or they. I, I I would just say yeah, they just give them back, I guess. But like the, I do wonder. Like it goes back to that question. Like you know, it's speculating, it's speculating. Yes, but what if there is you no? Know, what if they are, you know, making other games besides Deathloop and Ghostwire, which uh, Mog has mentioned again? Like they obviously are using them for those games, Mog. Yes, but. I don't know how long, like, I don't know what Deathloop and Ghostwire's, like, plans are. Like, if it's just, like, they make the game and that's it, and they deliver on, uh, or they, they have got additional content afterwards. If that's the case, and they can use them for that, right? But if they haven't, and it's, like, that's it, I do wonder if, like, that's another sort of, like, feather in the cap situation where, you know, like, for instance, yeah, if, let's just say next year, right, like, the, those two games come out, there is no DLC for those games, but some let's say someone takes a picture within Bethesda, and th we see PS5 dev kits and stuff like that, and that shit's spraying all over the internet. And we all know how people love to speculate and rumors like that. Mm -hmm. If people see that, and we see maybe even a developer holding a PlayStation controller, playing the new Elder Scrolls or fucking Starfield. If you're an Xbox fan, are you not thinking to yourself, wait, is it coming out for PlayStation? <laughs> oh, fuck, it better not. And it, that that's the thing. Like, those things, as we all know, shit leaks out. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. maybe there's like a, a documentary or dev a dev video and like we see in the back, like somebody zooms into the background, they see like a dev kit or PS5 or a dev playing on a, a, a DualSense controller. It's like, and they're playing, and you can vaguely see an image of like, you know, a game that isn't supposed to be coming out for PlayStation. That's going to be going all over Reddit, all over Twitter. And people are then going to start thinking, you know, I mean, yeah, like Fallout 76 and ESO is another thing. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Again, yeah. But I mean, I do like. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, but okay, okay, here's the thing. Like, Here's the thing, Fallout, see... 7, Fallout 76 and um, Elder Souls Online, the only one who probably need a death kit is Bethesda themselves. All these other studios don't would, wouldn't need it, if that's the case. That's also true, yes. Think of it, think of it this way. Let's, 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 dumb this, let's dumb this down, Mod, right? Let's say Machine Games, right? They There's a video that goes up, and let's say that they are... It's about Indiana Jones, right? Yeah, they're talking about it or this one, and someone, like I'm saying, sc screen caps a dev in the background, clearly with a dual sense controller, playing or testing a part of the game. What does that tell you? 
That's they're, they're, working, they're working on a game for the PS5. Well, no, it's it's Indiana Jones for the PS5. I mean, obviously, the simple, the simple are. But yeah, of course, yeah, there you go. RK need it. Tango need it. Yeah, again, that's the thing. So you can rule out RK, you can rule out Tango, right? But it, Machine Games, um, Zinemax Online, obviously, you can rule out because that's the Elder Scrolls, right? Uh, Bethesda on like I think no no that's that's in Max as well I think isn't it? so again like Bethesda Studios you don't rule them out so if any if, they, if Bethesda Studios do something like that then that's an indication also yeah I mean, I'm I'm yeah Machine Games then definitely would make yeah exactly right you know but it's also the cases as well like, I'm kind of like like make it really fucking clear mug that like. If it, let's say Arcane, right, brought out a new game, like, oh no, better Tango, right? They they were bringing in um, Evil Within, right? And again, like I said, it, this, there was a person that screen grabbed it, and you can clearly see it was Evil, it, it looked like Evil Within, it, and, and and the guy was holding a dual shot, a dual sense controller. No one's going to turn and go, oh, it's Evil Within 2. That, like, no, that game came out fucking years ago. It's definitely Evil Within 3. And everyone's like, again, speculate it. Like, it happens. I see it loads of times on Reddit. Like people speculate on, like you know, like you know, dev kits in the hands of certain people, and like maybe there's like a like a tweet that goes out, and everyone's like, "What are they talking about? Ooh, what, what's this? Ooh, okay." And people just get into it. Maybe some people make up pure bullshit. Sometimes people actually have a lot of common sense with those things, and I think that's one of them. Where if I like me personally, if I see Machine Games right release a video, and I clearly see Wolfenstein look it looks like a game like Wolfenstein looks like it looks like Wolfenstein 3 it looks like Wolfenstein and the guy's playing on a dual sense I'm like well that was last generation game so it can't be dual it can't be any of the old Wolfenstein so it's gonna be Wolfenstein 3 <gasps> wait a minute you know <laughs> they're making Wolfenstein 3 for the PlayStation 5 oh shit fuck yeah I'm in but you know yeah it's it'll be interesting again it, all spec all speculation though all speculation but again yeah right any uh, or dev they that don't have known games for the PS5, then definitely would be worthy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It would be worth the conversation. So yeah, that's the thing. Like with the Bethesda thing, like I've always been the one thing I really hate about this Bethesda deal isn't the sense of Xbox getting no money for that. It's more to the situation of just like how tiresome it is of just like seeing this consistency of like just be done with it. And now that it's done, I'm like. In my mind, I'm just like, fuck yes. Now people can shut the fuck up about it. You now know the somewhat ins and outs of the you know the situation. We can move on to announcing some you know maybe some new games or playing these new games, and that was it. But the thing is, the answer to that is probably not going to be the case. <laughs> We're probably going to still hear some shit about it, and it's like, oh fuck's sake, man. And that's what I really would like. I would love Phil. Uh, uh, when that first thing happened, I just wanted Phil just to say, after Death Rip and Ghostwire, every game is exclusive to Xbox and PC. That would have been and he could, and he, awesome. And he could have been, he could have been that clear, but he didn't want. He, did, he just wanted to make things exactly. worse. I don't. And I, I, I see people talk about legal shit. I don't. You know, there, there's no legal shit. That was the reason why they had to finalize the thing. They've done it now. Oh, but the contract that they made with PlayStation—that that has nothing to fucking do with it. Nothing. Like they should be able to come out and say they are exclusive now. Exactly. Exactly. The bros, yeah, bro. The it's a, the game is enjoy yeah, exactly. That's true, man. Or Microsoft can just have Bethesda run the games coming on Xbox on the, a PlayStation dev kit uh, or or PC. Oh, hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Um, is it is it? Does he does he mean when he says exclusive to game um Game Pass like does he mean like obviously what obviously go to um PlayStation now because you if you look in PlayStation now has a lot of Bethesda games in there so does he does is he is he talking in that sense because there's a lot of Bethesda games in PlayStation now right now is he gonna like pull those games from out of PlayStation now? That's a good question because. If that's what if that's what he's talking about, then he's clear he's clearly trying to push um he's clearly only doing this just to push Game Pass. 
Because if, if that's the case, if that's the case, then you can, you can. If that's the case, hold on, hold on. If that's the case, then all he can he can easily say this like Game Pass is the only service where you can you can find um, Bethesda games from now on. It's pretty much what he's trying to say. I mean, the thing is, theory has been that is true, but as we know, Phil mentions right in that same thing. He's not going to pull anything away from where these games already existed. Otherwise, if yes, he did, but that would be no, a dick move. No, but you got to understand. you got to yeah, understand. He's not pulling it off of the system. He's only taking it from PlayStation now. Yeah, of course. That's a big that's again, different like, from pulling it from the system. If, if I mean, if that's the case, then I, that, that's fine. But if he doesn't pull it from the from PS now, then that's the interesting thing. MS were quiet. They only spoke about Bethesda when they announced it and also closing the deal. Um, wait, what are we talking about here? Um... I forgot. Yeah, I forgot, man. Um... I mean, yeah, they spoke there. They spoke about Bethesda, obviously, when they announced it last year. And obviously, yeah, they have. Because uh, that's obviously the two times that you would you would talk about them, especially. Especially now, because those of you find like stuff. But, again, like, that's kind of, the paper situation was more in this, I mean, again, it was only finalizing the deal, but it's also because Bethesda owns studios across the globe sort of thing, they kind of have to, like, cut those ties sort of thing, right, before they can, like, do everything. Uh, and now they can, so... On the contract for Microsoft to mention that they will bring Deathloop just like to the deal. Uh, part of the contract is going to be silence. Yeah. I don't know. Again, I can't see what you mean there, though. Yes, like the contracts. Again, contracts right up. Right up contracts, like, they all have those things, yeah? Uh, they have NDAs. That could be one of them. That could be. But like we mentioned with Final Fantasy, right? At April 10th, if nothing comes out prior to that... That is an Xbox version. If nothing comes out prior to April 10th, like, the, of the day, like, leading up to it, or on that day, or, like I said, in June, when the PS5 version comes out with the DLC... I'm in the book. I'm I'm in the situation of like I said, I don't. I think they snubbed the. I think they might have snubbed it. Or PlayStation they, extended they the um, the exclusivity. Again, yeah. I mean, how long did it take Microsoft to Xbox to get fucking Final Fantasy VII on their system? And again, that was the original game. It took them a long time. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I'm about, but that's what I'm saying. Microsoft is not that strong in the in Japanese markets. Well, so, say it again, but when it comes to Japanese market with Microsoft, okay. So, uh, Adam, yeah, uh, you talked to a wall for eight billion years. <laughs> it is illegal. <laughs> we will uh, almost end with this uh, little tidbit of information. April tenth. So, if nothing happens on April tenth, which is the complete year. Even if it is that, this is what's going to happen, bro. What do we got? We got, uh, so let's say tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's going to be March 15th, right? You got about 16 days after that. So tomorrow, starting tomorrow, you have 16 days until April. Now, on the anniversary of Final Fantasy VII, which is the 10th, that this is this is what's really crazy. You would have to announce Final Fantasy VII Remake for other platforms before the 10th. Because if you announce it on the 10th and it goes there afterwards, that means PlayStation get more than a year. So it will be anywhere between now and that's it. This will be the month you announce that it's going to other platforms. And then you have the chance to buy it on other platforms on the 10th. Let me go check that out for you before we continue. That's, that's, that's why I said during the state of play. I don't know if it matters. Um, the tenth is on a Saturday. May not. May not. Yeah, the tenth is I, I, the I, I anniversary is on a fucking Saturday, and I don't see them releasing Final Fantasy on a fucking Saturday for all platforms. Yeah, probably like Tuesday, the next following week. So yeah. Um, 
It's crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, again, like, it's, weird. it's one of these things of, like, you know, I never really th th even thought about Final Fantasy VII Remake getting a, a plus version of the game. I never even thought of that. I, I thought never thought of that. that. And you know what was crazy, bro? Was crazy. For them to have that in the deal. This is a PlayStation thing. For PlayStation to have it in a deal is, is literally like a F you to the Xbox community. It's like, we got the game before you. We put it on plus before you. Here. Here it is. Take what's left. And we get in the next episode or a temporary, like a little bit of the next episode with Yuffie. And it's like, it's in, we got and the enhanced version. It. And they still don't got any details of that shit. I mean... Hey, PlayStation know how to lock down that, that shit, bro. Like, people don't give them credit, but that, that, you look at this whole deal, and you got Final Fantasy 16 exclusive on your platform, not going to Xbox Day and Date. That's Same that's thing with Project mean. Athena. Like, they locked that shit down. Don't forget Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14 online. They oh my Fantasy god, I forgot about the uh, fucking beta comes out next month. No, but that's, oh, that's, shoot. That's, that, that's what I'm trying to say with the Final Fantasy 14, right? That game. They promised that it was going to Xbox, and they what was it a couple weeks ago. They said, "Oh yeah, we've stopped doing it." It's like the fact that you are looking at the, the fact they said that it's just a sense of you're seeing what they do with Final Fantasy VII remake, and then you also look at the situation of sixteen being exclusive, Athia being exclusive, right? And again, like obviously that they you know PC, you know they got PC thing up there as well. Again, like, you know what's you know what's funny? Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Eleven was um was on Xbox um three hundred and sixty. So the question you really need to ask is is Phil doing the doing the job he's supposed to? Because that was that was um that was Don Matrix deal. Well, the thing is, when it comes to Xbox in Japan, like I know that obviously Phil has done a good job in the situation of getting like games like Yakuza and those sort of games, right, onto Game Pass and stuff like that, which again, that's Sega, this is Sega. And I feel like when it comes to Japanese companies that like will be willing to go with play uh, with Xbox, like do deals, that sort of thing, Sega's definitely the strong suit one. When it comes to people like Capcom, like I would say they'll be the second really, but the thing is when it comes to Capcom, this is an interesting story. The reason why Capcom kind of um, what all good with working with Xbox, right? Is because the Xbox free when the Xbox 360 came out, right? That was the first HD console, and Capcom were looking to release, you know, Resident Evil Five and Devil May Cry Four and those sort of games. And PlayStation, they went, they they didn't know anything about, and that was the first one. And they end up going with Xbox because of that. And it was like, oh, that's understandable. But then once PlayStation got into, you know, kind of came out of that, that slowly went the other way. Like, you know, they were quite much within the PlayStation situation. There was obviously, you know, uh, Street Fighter, Resident Evil. And then last generation, the only time where I saw them at Microsoft was Devil May Cry 5. That was it. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Everything else, Resident Evil, all that. PlayStation. So, like, when it comes to Japanese companies, a lot of the, the ones that most of them are very close to PlayStation or Nintendo, whereas Microsoft, I feel like one of them recently warming up to it is like Sega and maybe Bandai Namco. Those are the two that I, I, I would say are somewhat okay with Xbox. That's it. But yeah, man, it's like. There's a lot of writing on the walls when it comes to I've just Square in general. Like, I mean, fuck you. You, you talk about Avengers, like, like Avengers doing their their little dealings with uh, PlayStation. You know. Yeah. What's it's yeah? Just, I need to. Yeah. I really want to know more about the Avengers shit because it. You know, like if you really just add all this up. They are real, real. Co I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna go crazy like other people, but I'm just saying they really cozy with Square. That's a lot of deals, ooh, ooh. bro. That's a lot of oh, deals. You mean Sony? You mean yeah, Sony? Sony is cozy with Square. Sony, yeah, not I Xbox. See that. I um, see that. a lot of deals. Project Athena, Final Fantasy Seven remake, and, and the Project future. Athena is a new IP. Yeah, it's just, um. 
Avengers, then you still got the MMO, which, you know, obviously you should be enhancing, and I'm glad they are. It's it's a lot. It's a really, it's a lot to unpack it for them to say, hey, well, for any Xbox fans to say, hey, there's a prospect or there's a possibility that Microsoft will acquire uh, Square. I don't think they want to be acquired by Microsoft. No, there's no other stretch no. right now. Like based on the just the general information you're getting right now. But I see so. Microsoft afraid that PlayStation will take advantage. That they, they did <laughs> this acquisition of Bethesda out of fear. They, Bethesda they, they is a Western now, RPG developer, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they don't want to lose that to Sony. The thing is, they're currently doing that right now without without having to acquire them. They own, <laughs> they don't own fucking Square, but. What they're getting from Square, it kind of sounds like they're owning them, don't they? You know, you're getting Final Fantasy, the next Final Fantasy game, you're getting Final, you've got Final Fantasy VII exclusive as of right now, and until the the anniversary, or like I said, in June, we'll wait and see. But then you've got like Final Fantasy XIV, they dropped the Xbox version, they're like, fuck, no, we're not making that anymore, bye. And then you've got, you know, Athia, you know, and some other thing. There's another game that they've got um, contracted for exclusive at PlayStation, whatever the fuck that is. It's like do you, if I'm a, if I'm if I'm an Xbox fan saying, "Oh, they're gonna buy Square." Like I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm sorry, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Hell no. Yeah. No. I think <laughs> I, I know Bethesda has a lot underneath their umbrella, and that's cool. But a lot of people don't play all of the games underneath of Bethesda's umbrella. You know what I'm saying? There's they're known for a, a, a lot, but not everything sells good not everything is good oh yeah so. dead rising uh yes that was an exclusive xbox wasn't it yeah, yeah. That. yeah that's true yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. that would be nice if part three came to playstation i don't i'm not saying we need it but we never got that one we got all the other ones but not that one yeah it was, it was the first one that they got uh from yeah. xbox well they first there was, was it dead rising three i think it was that they got on yeah. xbox one and then that was it you know and obviously, Sons of Overdrive, we talked about earlier on. I think, well, actually, no, we didn't mention it. If they were to do Sometimes it, like, the one other thing other with Sons of Overdrive sure. is they can make that game, but there's something about the situation of they have to, like, do a couple of things differently to remake that original game. Because there's something about Xbox. They've got something underneath it. But, yeah, like, they can do it. And I fight. There's a few things, right? Because, actually, no, we haven't discussed this shit. Okay. Go back and go, I'm just gonna go back to what I said about Insomniac, right? Insomniac currently are wrapping up Ratchet and Clank. They're also making uh, Spider-Man uh, uh, two. There also is. If they were of, working on Sunset Overdrive to bring it to PS5, saying, how long saying, would it even take them to develop that? I'm saying this right now, right? They are wrapping up Ratchet and Clank, rip the rift apart, right? Those that that team is slowly decreasing because again they're nearing that final aspect, right? You then got the other the, so that you basically got one team that's working on Spider Man right right now. So you got two teams that are working on stuff that is again starting up and already in production, right? And the two things that obviously I've always been talked about is Sunset Overdrive and Resistance. Now, yep. when it comes to Sunset sort of Drive, I find it very intriguing when I see a developer talk about how uh, <coughs> a lot of developers talk about how there's a pro you know, they talk about Project OJ. And everyone's like, what the fuck is OJ? What was in Sunset Overdrive? Uh, orange soda shit. An orange soda. That was an Overdrive drip. Uh, it's called Overdrive. And yeah. Great been hearing devs there talk about it and again there's people there they mention it on twitter and they obviously it's in their wednesday tweets and i'm just like yeah there's a point there that i can definitely see that one of those teams a smaller team because it won't, won't be needed they don't need a big team to bring that game back the other thing I being love again, one of the other things the next the next team we're going to talk about which is again a, like a full team and again, we got news this week. Was that of basically writer of Bioshock, Mafia, The Darkness, 
and one of my personal favorite games from the PS3. I love the darkness. Spec Ops, Spec Ops the Line. Awesome. Underrated game, fucking heavily underrated game. One of the best stories that I played in the generation of PlayStation 3. Walter Williams tweeted out a picture of him with an insomniac card saying, I did a thing. Oh, that's who what? that is? Yeah. Oh my god, I was wondering, like, you, I was asking single, you who that every was. Single person known to man in podcasts in that thread was asking, saying, Are you making or writing a resistance game? Because based on your fucking previous writing, it sounds like a lot like you are making a resistance game, or you might write for a resistance game. And I'm just like, Bang. They are bringing that game back. I've been saying for fucking love since last year. They're bringing that mm -hmm. game back. They're like insomnia. I can't. I can't wait. They go back on the rotations of Res no Ratchet and Clank, Spider Man, Sunset Overdrive, Resistance. They talked about Fuse from time to time, and recently just Disruptor. Which I was like, I asked one of the devs, "Would you consider making a Disruptor remake?" And again, I didn't get asked about it, but I was like, you know, if they did, I wouldn't mind that. But at the same time, man, you know, everyone keep every place it's friend that I know that I see on Twitter, or whatever, resistance, are you making it? So it's on the overdrive. Would you make a sequel or would you bring back and make a me remake? And everyone wants that game. And I say this every time. Sunset like Overdrive didn't get as much as a fucking great community behind it as it should have done. It was like a, such a great game, and I remember playing that game on the Xbox One. It was on the wrong. It was on the wrong crowd. It was on the wrong crowd, and I remember. I remember. I one of the, one of the things that I always remember when I was playing the Xbox One was jumping into a server, playing with a bunch of guys, and then two days later, I would literally go back on. I was I went, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back online and play that game again because I really am enjoying this. I went back onto that game. Match made, and I joined the same fucking server as these two guys that I played with two days ago. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I didn't ask mm -hmm. that server. I randomly found it. It's a random server, and I got grouped up with the same guys I played with two days ago. I'm like, how many people are playing this game? Because it doesn't, if that's just, it's either this is really lucky, or it's like, there isn't a lot of people that play I know really that a lot play. of them didn't support it, Adam. And I, I've yeah. always had this thought, even if it wasn't supported over there, no matter when the game makes its way to PlayStation, it will be heavily supported. And I think the announcement uh, would send big, big shockwaves because it was an Xbox exclusive. It will ruffle a few feathers. It will, that. Yeah, it will ruffle a few feathers. But <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> why. And the reason why I don't understand why anybody would be upset. Because they because, had opportunities to are... buy the game for cheap prices. They put it on Game Pass. They also put it on PC. Why would anybody be fucking pissed? You had the chance to play the game for seven years. Or close to seven years. I remember in 2019 when they when they announced the acquisition of uh, Insomniac. I remember seeing a lot of Xbox fans actually, say, you know, quote tweet their things, uh, quote tweet themselves saying that you know that this was a studio that Microsoft should have bought. And I'm like, yeah, they should have. Hundred percent. Microsoft, Microsoft would have bought them. Yeah, they should have bought Insomniac. Hundred percent. Especially the way Ted Price and fucking Phil were like, you know, they were, they were, they sound hunky dory, and. They didn't buy it. I was, I was surprised about that. Because I, I was always in this situation of, when the fuck is Sony going to buy it? Because they don't. Microsoft's going to do it. And then that one, that weird fucking Jeff Keighley thing, like, remember watching that and going, oh, by the way, fucking PlayStation just acquired and saw it. Wait, what the fuck? And you go on Twitter and it's like, oh, shit. That fucking happens. Random. And it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, see, that's the thing. See, like, uh, Mog. I played the game on Game Pass, finished it. I liked it, but wouldn't play it again. Again, I kind of said the wouldn't play a game part, like you know, especially if you're playing it on your own, because again, like I, I think when I when I played it online when it came out, it was really good with people. I fucking love the game, but it you play fun. it now, it's it's dead. It, that game is dry. Is I don't see a lot of people play that game. It is dead. Um, it is dead because Xbox One didn't support it. Yeah, I mean the Game Pass thing though, like. 
that's the thing. That game came out in what 2014, and Game Pass became a thing in what late 2015 or something like. That. like you know, I, I don't think they put on Game Pass. I don't know when they put the game on Game Pass, but it's like it was like too little, too late situation where like you know, once that game went on Game Pass, when people started clicking onto it on Game Pass, it was like you know, I think the devs would have rather had people buy that game. But again, that was like a launch. Well, it wasn't a launch title, but. It was like what the following year, basically going the following year, and it's like you yeah. know what? I'm actually kind of glad. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that some didn't actually give um sell the IP to freaking Microsoft because they wouldn't they wouldn't do the IP any justice. Ah, uh, no, that is you know. They want no. They wanted to acquire the IP instead of actually just buying it. Um, instead of just having Ted Price make a new one like he wanted to. They won the um, yeah. buy the up. Yeah, I mean, the things with Insomniac, I think a lot, the things with Insomniac, and I think this kind of gets into that situation, there's a lot of things that they what they always wanted to go back to that they wanted to make. Like Ratchet, you know, they always want, they always want to make a Ratchet Clank game. They've always wanted, they, they, there's a lot of, a lot of games that Sony, a lot of IPs Sony owned that they made. And it's like, if you're Insomniac, you kind of want to be able to make those games. And, now they are a part of them. It's like, yeah, of course. Like Spider Man. They want to make another Spider Man after Spider Man twenty eighteen. Oh yeah, they will yeah, definitely want to make another Spider Man. That was the that, that was the deal. That was the done deal situation where it's like, if we don't if we don't sign with them, sort of thing, we won't be able to make another uh, you know Spider Man game. Simple as that. They just won't. Mm -hmm. um, you know, same thing with Ratchet and Clank and Resistance. Like those games wouldn't happen. So being acquired by Sony was like, you know. It was more of like a, a more it was more of a reality than Xbox because that that's fake and that goes in that goes hand in hand with PlayStation building <laughs> partnerships. If PlayStation continue to build partnerships with devs, and it's that that sort of strength where devs can't you know again Sony owns certain IPs that they want to be a part of, and it's like they come to that situation of like that contracts in front of them. And it's like well they they've done right by us and they have. The IPs that we want to make continue to make, and it's like, fuck, and it's like you know what? Yeah, this is it, it, there's no thing, there's no question it. Like fuck it, we we'll sign this contract, and bam, <laughs> that's happened. And it, again, it goes back to what I said about the organic thing. Like Xbox, the way they do their thing, it, it, that's fine, but everyone has their own ways of acquiring studios and whatever. But the way Sony have done it, like. It's not. It's it's known within the industry that like people like that way of like this slow build partnership. It may be a bit boring and lazy, you know, like dr like drowsy. So, like, it's like come on to buy them, come on to so do this. But again, like slow building these things and then buying them eventually makes for a stronger like game in the future. Like you know, sucker punch. You know, they made. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Gorilla, they only made, like, Killzone games for fuck knows how long. And then they made Horizon, and that was, like, a slow-building partnership. Obviously, they were quiet before they made Horizon, but it was a slow-building thing before they did it. And same for Sucker Punch. Like, they made, you know, Infamous 1 and 2, and they were making Sun, you know, Sun, uh, uh, Second Sun, and then they were pitching the idea of Ghost. And that probably stimmed the aspect of, like, okay, we're going to acquire you. And then you go down the list of like Naughty Dog back in the day and, you know, Santa Monica and all those. Like, yeah. I don't mind the way Microsoft have been doing their studio things, but again, no fanboy shit, but, you know, if I one day see you no know, major layoffs at Ninja Theory or like, you know, oh, we're closing down Ninja Theory, right? Let's just say that. I'm not going to be mm -hmm. like, oh my God, no. I'm gonna be like, I can't saw that coming. <laughs> because yeah, because you gotta remember, you can't keep everybody under the same roof all the time. Like exactly. that's a lot of money to pay them. Uh, yeah, Vedger, Vedger was in here. I think you remember Vedger. He was saying that one of the reasons why PlayStation is having certain people put games on PC is because they don't want to have them on a payroll and not do anything. So them, they're giving them something to work on. And they're working on PC ports. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just thinking right now, 
what what it's you're cool. talking about, how do you keep these people busy all the time, bro? Like, do you keep paying them for projects all the time? If so, it's like, is it, are they going to make a return on these projects, on these games that they're about to put out if they're going straight to Game Pass? It's just, it's confusing, bro. Yeah, I mean, like, Donut, because Mon, Mon, Mon bring up some point, right? Again, like, that, I, I said this earlier on with, with Ninja Fury, Double Fine, and Compulsion, that, again, like, those studios, one, they were looking to get bought. And again, yes, they were struggling to keep devs and stuff like that, and that is true, especially with Ninja Fury, because they were, they made Hellblade off of, like, scraps, bro. They made that shit out of scraps. Mm. But again, like, I don't claim to be the best. When you, I, again, I... The reason why I bring Ninja Fury Double Fine that something up like in the situation of like letting the studios go, right? Is that when you have twenty three studios, you have twenty three studios, right? You have gotta balance all those studios out, right? Money, everything. I don't care if Microsoft are a trillion dollar company. Again, they give Xbox not trillions, maybe billions, right? I get I I don't know what their what their revenue budget is every year, I have no clue. But they don't get trillions of dollars. And you've got to distribute that. You've got to manage all those things that in one thing, and you've got to make sure that everything's working hunky dory. And I look at Ninja Fury, right? Ninja Fury are making Hellblade. Okay, I can see Xbox fans looking like they could, yeah, again, nin, like, you know, Hellblade 2 is going to be a game that I can see Xbox fans really liking what they're, you know, going for, right? No, Hellblade is going to be a great game. I can easily say that. But when you look at uh, the, the research and development game, and then also the. Um, the Project Mara game. What are they? Also, the sense of are those like are they? They look to me like short experiences, like basically tech. They look like tech projects. Do you think those things are going to be like they're like a money situation? The answer is no. They're not money situations. Hellblade is, but that isn't. Those are not. So at the end of the day, like would that? I'm not saying it, but like would that cost them down the line? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying it will, but maybe it will. And if it does, Microsoft will lay them off. I mean, Xbox, whatever. Yep. Again, people I, I see people think that Xbox don't lay people off or Microsoft don't lay people off. <laughs> they, they fucking lay people off. <laughs> hey, it's a rude awakening. Like, they lay people off. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, what is it? Yeah, one sec. Because they are so many studios means that they can afford to move and move. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, Mon, I mean, when it comes to the whole 23... I know, I, I saw what you meant. I saw what you talked about with the situation of 23 studios and the schedules. And I agree, like, because they have that, that they have those many studios and also within those studios, they have so many teams within them. Yeah, you're right. They have got loads of... They, can, they have so much room to, like, spread out and make these games and all that, but that's fine. But that's, that again, when it comes to development, I go back to it. Anything happens in development. And if a game isn't going well in development, do you think Xbox or Microsoft are going to drag that along or keep flooding in money if it's not improving? No, they're not. They're just not. They're going to cancel that project, get them either, they're either going to cancel the project, move on to another one, or it could get that sense of being worse where they just let them go. Like, if there's, like, for instance, right, they want these studios to make content for Game Pass, right? If that doesn't happen, right? If they don't deliver that content to Game Pass, they mm. then what is what's not to say that Microsoft or sorry Xbox will consider that situation? Obviously, I know that Phil will try not. I know that Phil Spencer will try and make sure that doesn't happen. So I know he will try and make that shit to not happen. But again, there is the possibility of it. You know. No, I think. No, I think Xbox. You know, I see a lot of times Xbox. You know, saved this company, saved that company. And they did. Yes, they did. A hundred percent. But if they didn't get bought up, then, um, you know, I think you would be seeing Epic Games. I think Epic Games would have bought Double Fine. Well, I shout out Compulsion. They would have bought up as well. Um, I also see Devolver. I can see. I can sort of Devolver buy them guys up. I'm being serious. They, there was options, but obviously Microsoft were there first. Doesn't necessarily mean that that was that, that was their only option. I don't I don't believe that shit one bit. I just don't. But you know, no. when it comes 
Now, yeah, when it comes down to, like, yeah, like, again, they got 20 for years, yes. Okay, but, guys, we really yeah. got to get up on it. We got eight yeah, we minutes. Got we got eight eight minutes until the world ends. Um, Before yeah. we go, <laughs> I got some questions from my boy Adam. How much was Bethesda or Zenimax worth? Was it worth 7.5 or they? that's what they paid? I, I would say roughly, I mean, if it was in me, I would say like 7, 6.5. That's how much they're worth. That's what, it, it, again, if they were to, let's just say, haggle, uh -huh. they could have got it down to that much. 6.5. 6.5 or 7, yes. Or just plain 7, because they paid 7.5. Well, let's go with 7 then. Yeah, let's go with okay. 7. Yeah. Okay, so uh, still a lot of money, bro. Still a lot of money, yeah. That's still like that's know. still a ton of fucking money. The reason why they bought that man is again when they make Game Pass deals, bro. That they, they, there's hundreds of millions of dollars. Depending on the game, there's hundreds of millions of dollars that they keep on there for months. Yeah, mm -hmm. that they spend. So everyone's like, why would they spend seven point five billion dollars on like Bethesda and Zenimax to the Game Pass? Like, oh no, that can't be right. It's like, well, no, it can because if they buy seven point five billion and own the whole thing. They don't have to renew a game part a contract for Game Pass on those games individually, don't they? No, no, no. They own them, so that's the seven point five billion covered, and that's not just games that we know about that are already out right now and that have been out last generation. That's for the future games as well, and the DLC. You know? Yeah, the devs said uh, so themselves that games like Bleeding Edge and Mars, Mars and the, 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 Okay, I'm seeing this from Games Radar. Take it how you guys want it. Uh, this is a quote. It says, uh, "Day, di oh, sorry, Dying Light 2 developer says it announced the sequel too early. Obviously. Yeah. Like, that's just yeah. fucking obvious. That's up. Yeah, going off of Mong's, what he said, uh, yeah, Mong, what you're saying there, man, again, like, yeah, I mean, uh, like, again, like, yes, that is very true, but what, what's happened recently with Bleeding Edge? And also, like, Grounded, right? Grounded, right now, it's, it's like, okay, but how long do you think that, how long do you think it's going to take until Grounded becomes, like, Bleeding Edge, and they just cut the cord? You know what I mean? And, that, and, that, and both those games are online aspects, right? They, those games were made to thrive off of a community, right? And they have stopped it. And I'm like, Mara is another thing, right? Mara is the, the exact same thing. And I'm like, you can make those smaller projects, yes, 100%. But, you know, it's like, if you consistently make those sort of games, and again, like, I'm not saying Xbox fans won't play them or PC people won't play them, right? Because they do. But they would they would only play them for like what five months like uh, like half a year let's just say, and then they that's it, they're gone. Like no one's playing. Like maybe they jump back on them from time to time, but they that's it. I don't see a lot of people talk about grounded. The you know, bleeding edge was one of them. Like bleeding edge came out initially, everyone's like, oh, it's such a great game. Do the Xbox fans were like K Mega and all these other guys were like, oh, it's getting so amazing, and then. Like now, like at the end of last year, I don't hear them talk about the game because they moved on. Like it's no longer a game they just give a shit about. So it's like they can continue to make those games, of course, but you're put you're again you're spending money. I don't know how much money, but you're spending money nonetheless to make those games. And well, you know, are you getting back from them? Not really. And again, I understand that you know they AMS money is giving them giving them the ability to do that, but. Microsoft isn't going to just keep giving money away. You know what I mean? Like, this is a company. You know, and don't forget, right? What does every company have? Um, a, a foot? Nope. I don't know. Shares, mark, stock shares. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, sure. People, other, other external people that, you know, invest. And if they're not happy, what's going to happen with them people? They're going to step away with their shares and they'll be like, we're taking our money somewhere else. They've got, they've got to obviously, right, make the, obviously, they've got to obviously make the games, right, that will keep Microsoft and Xbox happy. But then also they've got to keep the, you know, those people happy as well. And that goes to PlayStation, Nintendo, Google, 
Amazon. You know, you can't just make anything willy nilly, man. I mean, games, man, like they, they, as we know, man, game development costs more money now because of what they're doing within these games. It will, it will continue to go up and up and up and up and up and up. And when that happens, man, like you can't just continue to allow devs. I mean, it, again, I love that they get to make these smaller projects, of course, but you can't continue that for a long extent of the amount of time. You just can't. You know what I mean? You just can't. There's going to be a point in time where Xbox is going to be like, nope, sorry, man. Like, listen, the Bethesda are bringing us, they're giving us these games that, you know, they give us the new Doom, the new Wolfenstein, the new Elder Scrolls, and we're loving it. And uh, we're looking at you guys, you know, you're giving us some really cool, intricate, like, you know, interesting games that people would play. But, like, we want, like, we need, like, the thing that's going to make our market sharers and what the fuck ever, as well as our fans, happy for a longer extended amount of time. It's like, yeah, of course. Well, the thing is, Mon, I, I like you, man. I really do. Um, Game Pass is not making money. And we got that confirmation last year. That service not making money, man. And after, and, and again, the more content they put on that on that service, the more likely they have to increase that price of Game Pass. And so, we, we bro, I'm, I'm just guessing the, the NDI... VHU guy is an Xbox fan because you kept trying to say I cared about Bethesda and you kept just trying to start trouble. Bro, come here with facts. That shit irritates me. I'm just. There's nothing. He's not doing anything wrong. He's just, again, he's. No, I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about before. I'm just saying, bro. The only reason why you haven't been blocked is because you're, you know, Adams keep talking to you and you haven't been too fucking crazy, but, you know, I don't give a fuck if you're an Xbox fan. Just try to be on the factual side. You know? You got 20 yeah. fucking games from Bethesda on Game Pass right now. You don't have to be here on this live stream. And let me tell you one thing. These games take full attention, so don't act like you're on a fucking game and you're you're watching our live stream right now because that's fucking impossible. So, you know, enjoy those 20 games. Uh... I'm about to go talk to this chick. I'm going to be seeing y'all um, possibly tomorrow. We're going to see what the news looks like before 11. If the news is heavy enough and I got a topic to talk to, I'll be back tomorrow. Other than that, I might take a break. Good talking to you, Mark. What's going on? What's going on? That's right. Somebody. Okay. Who got an echo? It's true with it. Sorry, man. I, I, that's why I was playing the game. I'm still playing the game. Yeah, just mute your mic. I'm about to just let them know I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, let me get the link for the Discord. I'm going to do some things. It's been great talking about some silly things. Obviously, that's what Joe's about. Expo some of Fazda because. That's the talking point. This I mean, that's the talking, talking point. I'm hoping that shit can fucking pass. Like, I'm really hoping we can just let them play their 20 games on Game Pass and wait for the new Bethesda titles, and we can just move on with gaming. Um, I don't feel like PlayStation needs to talk about jack shit this week, but I do believe the week before April, don't have to they're going to have to talk the about something. Um, so... I think that right before April, you know, before the month of PlayStation Plus, the new PlayStation Plus game and the new Play at Home initiative game and the new lineup for PlayStation Now, I think they'll be talking about something the week before April. Um, you got Returnal next month. Like Adam said, you could be banking on a more in-depth state of play specifically for Returnal. Um I mean, they got months in between every big game starting in April. Uh, well, actually started this year, right? So you didn't have anything in January. You had Destruction All-Stars in February. You didn't have anything in March. You have, uh, what do you got? Uh, um, Returnal in April. You don't have anything in May. You have Ratchet and Clank in June. And then we don't know what happens past June. But we'll figure it out. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know why a lot of people trip about not having games for the next few months because we got 
everybody has backlog they need to finish. So oh, definitely. Why? I don't know why people trip, bro. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, before we get out of here, um, again, big shout out to Lucid Games. Uh, they added something that uh, people really wanted. They added the 8v8 Mayhem mode. Uh, it yeah. is up on Destruction All Stars. That means we'd just be able to run in, car, run into cars uh, on a team mode, and I think it's dope. Also, three characters have new outfits um, that completely make their character look com completely different. And I've been asking mm -hmm. for that, and a lot of other people in the community for Destruction All Stars have been asking for that, and it is finally a reality. Box top looks like a wizard. Um, Blue Fang oh. looks like a T Rex. And then you have Frego. He looks like a god from North mythology. Um, and I thought I think it was just awesome. The vehicles are changed and design and colors as well. Um, Yo, so yeah, this might be actually the gateway to them actually getting PlayStation iconic characters, man. I I'm hoping, bro. You know that's I what hope, I'm thinking I about. Hope so you know, Cause, so cause Sweet Tooth could be in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> also. Um, before I go, I've, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Just spit this in there. Hopefully nobody's fucking just even thinks about this, but, uh, Uncharted got pushed back. The movie got pushed back the next year as a promotion to the movie and make more people invested in the movie. I could definitely see that Uncharted remaster game being, um, released this year to try to get more PC people into the ecosystem, I guess, if that's their mission. I don't think they're going to make a completely new game, which is a remaster, just for them not to want to go out and get into the ecosystem. So um, we're going to see how that works. But I was just thinking, like, you bring out a remaster, your movie got pushed back the next year. You know, it might, it might be something there. It might not be nothing, but think about it. Uh, guys, yeah. I'm going to keep up with you guys on Discord. I'm going to keep up with you on Twitter. I'm going to be on a PSN, but I'm probably preoccupied for the rest of the night. So, you know, I see y'all when I see y'all. Here is the link for the Discord. Um, verify yourself by sending a screenshot of your PSN profile so we can uh, verify that you play PlayStation games. And that's how we get in. Okay. I'm out. Yeah.